What are you doing? Did you bring some snacks? Okay, good, because last recap video, we did a world tour and a recap of absolutely everything that I have done from zero days up until 2,000 days in hardcore Minecraft. And in this video, we're gonna recap everything from the most ridiculous farms to the basic builds. This is a recap of everything that I have done from 2,000 to 3,000 days in my hardcore Minecraft world. And after putting this all together, now I understand why I lost my mind. Okay, but sit back and relax. Make sure you leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. And now enjoy. Nine hours of me in this 2,000 to 3,000 day recap of my hardcore Minecraft world. Hey everyone, what's up? It's Chapman here. And on this one, I mean, well, the warden is here. Oh and he's only been here for a few days. And we're already gonna try to kidnap him. But first, I need an enclosure. And you guys seen the thumbnail. Let's get into it. And welcome back to the ancient city. Oh, I stumbled across this last episode thinking that I wasn't gonna find one and well I found one and I also had so much fun raiding it that I kind of want to go find Another one because word has it these actually aren't as rare as I thought this time I'm going unprepared though and not so skittish and the main reason that I'm doing this Well, we got four enchanted golden apples from one ancient city. That's insane And apparently like I said, these aren't as rare as I thought so word has it with these ancient cities, apparently what we're looking for is some mountains. And we need to find them preferably in an area that I've never seen before, so we need to fly to where it's not loading. Okay, so here's an area here that has a bunch of mountains around it, I mean, I guess these are mountains. This one says it's a stony peak, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and go underneath this one and see. I am going to just see. And already I can see some skulks, so maybe... Maybe the myth is true? Well, I don't know. We, <gasps> be careful. We might have to go back up and find ourselves a new stack of mountains because this one's not looking too promising. Oh, I think we can go further down though. <gasps> oh, looks like the, the whatever the tale is true because here is another ancient city, everybody. First things first, so you guys don't get mad. More torches. But here it is. Here is our second ancient city. Time to start removing some of these. Get out of here. Two. I am a running. I am a running. Three. Five. Six. Nine. Oh, he's right there. Oh, there's one. Got it. Okay, so far so good. So far so good. We haven't been hit once. We haven't even... We've been sniffed a lot. Just so uncomfortable. Oh, I'm being sniffed by everybody. There's 18. There is so many in here. No, 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 no. You can't hear us. You can't hear me. You can't hear me. Oh. I don't know how, but he heard me. Oh, I see one above me. Oh, I hit the bottom one first. That was an idiot move by me. That's 24 though so far. Here's 25. What's that, 31? Okay, this is one of the last ones I think that's gonna be around here. Um. Oh, that's a wall. Dang. But there we go. There is ancient city number two, all cleared and ready. Now what I'm gonna do is, do we have a clear inventory? Yep, inventory is pretty clear. Let's start to go crack open all of the chests that are in here. I'm sure we're still gonna run into one or two, but I'm not afraid. Let's start in this back corner right here and we'll make sure we torch these. Actually, better yet, let's just crack them. Respiration one. Uh, we're gonna have to come back to it. Okay, not bad, not bad. I'm starting to get a little worried. No enchanted golden apples. Oh, protection for leggings though. I thought this was the place of enchanted golden apples. There they are, enchanted golden apple. Only one, but I'll take it. Looting too, not bad. Swiftnik three, there it is. Oh, 
Oh, look at this chest, though. It is just full. Okay, last chest, other than maybe one or two that might be up on the high ground. That's some crazy loot that you get out of here, and I haven't even started collecting the diamonds that you get. And, well, so far, not a bad haul. The only... I just wish we got more enchanted golden apples from this, but I, I guess we should be lucky that we even got one. So that looks like this is number two all cleared. Okay, well, let's see if we can get inside. Oh, I heard it. Let's go. It is that little section. And we're in... They should add in a little bit more loot down here. This almost feels like you're being cheated. Okay, well, that is number two. All cleared and ready to go. Was this the way I came out? I can't remember the way I came out. I might just have to make a portal and portal my way out. What are you doing down here, sir? Look at this villager hanging out all the way down here. I wish I could bring you back. Oh, but this was definitely not my way out. And that is definitely not how you get out of a tight situation. Oh, we made it out and the first thing we get is to be attacked by these guys, yay. Hello there. Oh, and what do you know? It's a snow fox. Hmm. But now it's home time and safely because I don't have... I don't have my totem box with me. This is, a uh, this is risky. But it's home time because I have an idea. I have an idea. And now before I do anything... Thank you. And all in all, for loot from that place, not bad. Considering the fact that I didn't even take all the armor and all the hose. Now it's time for us to add in something into the zoo here. I mean, I've been waiting so long for this. We've got the end. We've got the nether. Now it's time for us to add in the deep, deep dark. And fitting with the theme around here, this is going to be another giant one. So I'm just going to, I'm going to get to digging. Okay, and so far, this is what I've got so far. It's a big hole, but it's not done yet because, well, I mean, look at my pickaxe. And I did it again. I did it again, you guys. I broke another netherite pickaxe. Slick pick is gone. Slick pick is gone. I'm an idiot. So I've got to make another one. And what I've got to do is i got to get this one repaired. And then we need to keep digging, believe it or not. We used two full shulker boxes of gunpowder in order to blow all of that up. Did you see how much explosions that was? That was like nine stacks of TNT. It was insane. And so far in this world, we have tore down a bastion, a full bastion, a full end city. And with that, I think it's only fitting that we go and try. Well, I need a whole bunch of deep slate. So I think one of the only ways and one of the best ways that we're going to do this is first I need to bring a beacon along with me. I blew up an entire box of iron blocks, everybody. And like four beacons. So wherever I go now, all I have is four beacons left. And I, uh, I'm going to have to use my emerald blocks in order for me to, yeah. Okay, but it's repair time. I missed. But now what I need for this is I am going to need a whole bunch of deep slate. And considering the fact that we've torn down both an end city and a bastion, I think it's only fitting that we go back. And yeah, because I need a whole bunch of deep slate. So I'm grabbing a few shulker boxes, more than a few. I'm bringing four with me and we're back. And now here's what I am going to do. 
Okay, mark down the coordinates of this beacon. And there we go. Our beacon is set. We have our haste two ready to go. And now it's official. We can start farming some deep slate. I mean, I wouldn't really call this farming, but I mean, it's just... Uh, oh crap, wait, first, I need to go make a pit stop. Okay, boys, we have collected a lot of deep slate and a lot of skulk too as well. And I was flying around looking for some dripstone and I found some. But you want to know what else I found just now too? Well, I was spamming fireworks trying to get back to the surface. Look at this cave. But also, we got another city. We have another one. I'm going to raid it. I wonder how fast we can get this done this time too. I don't have any night vision with this one. So, and I know, oh, they've got a chant golden apple already. And so for that, I am so sorry. You just shut your mouth. They're everywhere. They're literally everywhere. Okay, and bingo, that time it literally took like, I think that took less than five minutes and we were pretty much all clear. The only problem is I ran out of torches. But we are all clear. The only problem is, is I need more. I need so much more room in order to store stuff and I don't know if I'm gonna have enough. So I'm only taking the good stuff with me. Okay, chest number one, piercing, we don't need it. Chest number two, I'm gonna take all of these books and maybe the two swift sneaks? I don't know, I don't know. What do we get in chest number three? Swift sneak three, we can get rid of these ones. Okay, here's chest number four. We got an enchanted golden apple. Chest number six, we've got another swift sneak three. Chest number 14, oh, still, we're, get, we're slacking on this one. Is it because I raided it too fast that it just doesn't wanna give me any more enchanted golden apples? Flame book. Are we really... We're really giving out flame books way down here? Okay, and that's 14 chests so far. I honestly was not expecting to get that many. I'm not gonna lie, one enchanted golden apple? That is kind of lame. Okay, but now, now I need to try and find my way. I was gonna say find my way out, but... I found it! I can't believe those are usually that exposed. This is how lost I got underground. I, I have no idea where I came from. Okay, there's where... So it's gotta be this way. There it is! I can't believe I got that lost. I was... Look at how far over. Okay, we are back. I am back here because I need to fill up my inventory with as much cobbled deep slate as possible. With what I have in mind, I don't even know if I'm gonna have enough. The ender chest is looking fantastic, but that is not gonna be... I don't think that's gonna be enough for what we have planned. So on to collecting. Oh, diamonds. All right, is there a faster way to collect deep slate? Because there's no way that is the way. There's no way that this is the way. But I have it. Look at all the deep slate. Cobbled deep slate too. But let's just go back to the base and see all that we have. I might be back, Beacon, so we're leaving you there. Why do I have two ender chests up? Bruh. And we're back at the hole. I seriously, I don't think that's big enough for what I have. That just looks, just looks way too small, everybody. Okay, now that I've got all the deep slate, now what I need is I need nothing but gray sheep. Gray. Which one's over here? See, this guy, we don't need. No. Okay, and after a little bit of reorganizing, other than needing another, we just need an extra shulker box full of the cobbled deep slate right there. I know, it's nuts. We're actually sitting pretty good. We've got enough materials that we need in order to convert into other stuff that we need. And we have plenty of skulk right now, but I think, I don't know, I think we might need more because uh, per usual, I underestimated the project. My hole here is about half the size that it needs to be. To put it into perspective, it needs to be about the size of the end island. So, I got a lot of digging to do.
Okay, well, the digging is done. I have a big hole that kind of looks like a swimming pool with a shallow end and a deep end. And what I started to do kind of is terraform a little bit around here, but all of this down here, I have something that I want to try and do with it. Well, you'll see. I basically want it to be all covered in skulk, but I don't want to have to place a whole bunch of skulk. So I'm going to try something. I'm going to take this skulk catalyst and I am basically just going to do this. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. Look at this. What? It's going to take forever. Okay, so we're not doing it that way. Looks like what I'm going to have to do is manually place a whole bunch of skulk. Ah! Oh, unless, unless, unless. It didn't even spread anything. Huh? Nope. Okay, it took seven hours to make this hole. Seven hours to make this hole and 20 minutes to do all of that. And that is two and three quarters worth. Oh, that is going to look so sick. But can you guys see them? We have intruders and there's only one thing to do to intruders in 1.19. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> What am I, what am I doing wrong here? I mean, we have mob spawning, so I don't quite, how am I going to get the warden here if I can't spawn him in the, oh, this is going to be, oh, oh no, I have no idea. But now, as you can see, I need, I need more skulk. I need lots more. This shulker box was full. This one was full except for the shears. Oh my, I'm just going to go and collect so much more. And I'm going to start back here. I'm going to collect until the hoe can collect no more. Oh, this, this, she's getting close, boys. She's getting close. But we're so close to three. We're so close to three full shulker boxes. I think she could do it. Come on. Oh, I overdid it. I, uh, <laughs> I overdid it, but that's okay. Our trusty hoe almost got us three full shulker boxes full of loot. Look at that. But now we can take all of this and we can go back to the base and we can see how much ground we can cover with all of this skulk block. I also found nine diamond deep slate ore, which is nice. Okay. And there is what almost three shulker boxes looks like on the ground. Actually, in total, that's almost six. That is almost six shulker boxes right there. That's crazy. And I was just about to go around and start lighting all this place up, but then I got to thinking. I got to thinking, you know, torch spam this. But now there's frog lights. We need to get our hands on some frog lights, but that's going to be next episode, I think, because I have so much. I have so much I want to get done. And we're already on 2,000. Oh, my goodness. And that right there, there's going to be... Remember like Star Wars and the little pit that they used to fall into with the spikes? That's what that's going to be right there. So this is going to be pretty crazy. But as of right now, it is building time. I don't have quite enough of the cobbled deep slate that I am going to need in order to get this done. I'm about half a shulker box full, but that's okay. I'll deal with it when I get to it because as of right now, <laughs> it's builder mode time.
Okay, boys, we're almost there. We are almost there. The only thing I need now is a little bit more skulk and believe it or not, some more deep slate. I am completely out. And this is after three trips of going and getting more. So this is insane how much. I mean, look at what day it is. And I have in total two more stairs that I got to put in place and a bunch of little light fixtures and some more decorative stuff. So I've got to go and quickly grab some more deep slate because yeah, I'm running out of days here before 2100. And I'm still going to figure out a way in order to get the warden here because I guess, I don't know, I'm just assuming that you can't spawn the warden anywhere but other than the deep dark. So I'm going to have to find the deep dark that is close to here. And yeah, this is how many shulker boxes so far of stuff that I have gone through. Eight nine shulker boxes and a half oh my god these had stuff in them too we've we're done like we're down to like 12 we're like 12 shulker boxes full of materials here boys but we've got a couple more features that we need to do in here and stop the vines from growing so tall because yeah these are these are kind of crazy i gotta go get some deep slate though don't do it don't oh you did it oh look at what i just stumbled across Okay, and if my estimates are right, this should be enough right here. Okay, hopefully this is enough. This is so much deep slate. I mean, look at the hole I'm in. And look at all of the clay I got. I know, right? Whatever. Oh my god, look at that hole. That is... Is there not an easier way to get deep slate? This is ridiculous. But I am going to park all of these here for now. And what I am also going to do is I am going to go now and grab... The last little bit of skulk that we got, and then we've got one final push. One final push. We've got 10 days left, and I've got to try and get a warden here, which is going to be... I mean, we're going to need speed potions. I haven't, like, cleaned this place out of skulk, though. There's almost no skulk anywhere on the grounds. That is a lie. I found some. Okay, and we've got a full... Hold on. Oh my goodness, I almost left this here. A uh, full shulker box full. That is just ridiculous. Okay, but we've got a full shulker box full of skulk. Look at that. And a full inventory. And I took a bunch of... Look at that, candles. There's so many candles here. Whoa, Jake! Okay, bud. Okay, boys, and all the stairs, all the stairs are done. Look at this. We got a nice, nice pathway down. I got to finish my light still and a little bit of wool. And for in here, well, you guys will see. You'll see what we're putting in here. The only thing left that I got to do now is I need to just go around and finish a couple of little decorative things. Uh-huh. Like that right there. And we need to place some vines in these little open sections just to give it... And bingo, there we go. Okay, we've got all the flames going. We have all of our little vines that are in place. We still got to do a lot of decorating down here underneath. And a little bit of despawning too. But look at that place. I've got to try and terraform all of this together. And into the zoo with like pathways and all this crazy stuff. It's going to be so fun. One thing I need to do though is I need to go around. And I need to kind of candle this place up with all the candles that I took from the thing. And then all of these little outside areas here. Uh oh. These are going to be for all of the rare and like kind of decorative stuff that we can get from all of the ancient cities that we're going to raid. I mean, there's so much loot down there. But now, other than candle spam everything and wait for some rich loot, here's another thing that we're going to do here to make this place. We're going to dress this place up a little bit. Oh, before we build the archway for this, I'm going to put a little bit of a decorative thing in here. We are going to go. How should we do this? Oh, oh I'm burning myself to death. One with our obsidian and then our crystal. Okay, we're in dangerous territory right now. And with that out of the way, we can place down this. And is it centered? It looks like it's centered. It is centered, look it. Oh! Look at that, we just can't go anywhere near that thing in case he tries to sonic boom us while we're down there. But look at that! Okay, I'm pumped and excited. And with that, I kind of have an idea for what I want to do for the archways out here. Because right here, centered on this thing, we this is where the entrance is going to be for the zoo. We're going to have the entrance come here, and then all of the paths and everything kind of go around and block you out. But right there, we need to build an entrance. And hopefully this doesn't take too long, because we still need to go 
I don't know, maybe we'll have to do a little short video of bringing the warden here because... <laughs> I have a feeling this is gonna be a nightmare. Okay, but for this entrance, what I am thinking, I am thinking all... I'm thinking all tile, boys. All tile. And a few more end crystals, so we better hope that we have two... I hope we have two gas tiers around here. Okay, last final touches going in right here and this is now the entrance oh that's the entrance to the zoo everybody we just need two end crystals one there and one there and luckily while i was digging around i found one gas tier and while i was overlooking i found another one in one of these chests right here right there so we have just enough in order to make the two end crystals for the entrance of the zoo and now we can go and try and get a warden this is gonna be I don't even know how I'm gonna do this. And crystal here. That goes there, and we hold up. Let's do the other side before we look at it. And let's see. Oh, there it is. That's the entrance for the warden pit here. This is <laughs> okay, but you know what? We're gonna have to move the warden next episode because I don't think you can spawn the guy here way up in the overworld. So we're gonna have to bring him in here. I've just got a lot more. I mean, all that skulk is literally gonna take four days to do. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to get some more. The warden, there he is. He's the most dangerous mob in Minecraft. This could be the end of us. Oh, and I'm I'm gonna make him my pet. So for 2200 days, we have one mission Well, we've got a few missions But the main one to try and capture and kidnap a warden and place him right here in this tiny little Circle area so that way we can all just stand here and stare at him. Oh, where is he? I'd like to look at him Now for the warden we need one thing in order to spawn him here I guess we need a naturally spawned Shrieker and that means we've either got to drag a warden out from down in the depths or I don't know We're gonna have to try another method and hopefully maybe drop him in place either way This is gonna be dangerous in one way or another we need to get the belligerent sniffer here But before we go on to that I've got a few things that I need to do and one of them is finish this place here I have already gone out and spent the last four days collecting all the skulk that I need but like I need to get the sarlacc pit done we need to get some frog lights going so we can light this place up and I plan on putting like a shrieker tree either right here or somewhere back here I'm not quite sure but we need to build a shrieker tree but that is the main goal for this episode and as well like I said getting the sniffer here and fixing up a few minor little holes that we left around in the last episode that was a lot of work but one thing I need before we go and get back into this it is so dark. It is so dark in the deep dark. And honestly, I am tired of it too as well. So what I'm gonna- Oh my god. I forgot to move the mouse down. So one thing that I need to set up here is I need to set up some sort of- I need a brewing station. So I think what we're gonna do is somewhere down here, we're gonna set ourselves up one of those little manual auto brewer things. Because yeah, night vision. We need night vision. And if we're gonna go and have the warden chase us around, we're gonna need speed potions too. So right here where I kind of put all of this stuff in for like a little filler, this is gonna be our auto brewer. But in order to set this up, I am going to need all of my redstone and maybe a little bit more, like some builder blocks. Okay, it's almost done. I just screwed up my redstone a little bit. We're gonna have to put repeaters here and I don't even know why. Okay, and here it is. Here is the auto brewer. I gotta go and grab all of the items now and we need a couple more decorative stuff in here. So we've gotta make three trips. We got an entire shopping list of stuff that we need in order to put inside of these droppers right here. And we're also gonna need some more quartz because I am completely out of quartz and a few more end rods. I can maybe steal some from around somewhere, but I really don't want to. Okay, first trip, since we're right here, I'm just gonna go to the nether, and we're gonna grab some quartz. There's 10 already. This stuff is so easy. I am just flying. Look at me. Where are you, quartz? We have two stacks of quartz. That should be enough for us in order to finish. So that right there is item one 
off of the shopping list. Nice. We also managed to find ourselves a bastion and yeah, get a couple of, pff, well, it's right here. But we didn't really find anything in here. The only thing I did find was a lodestone. Hmm. So that is item one right there off of the list. Now what we need to do is we can start this massive shopping list. We have so many items that we have to go get. I don't even know. And I don't even know where to start. This old hunk of junk. The old raid farm. We're starting at the old raid farm. But from here, I need so much. We're going to take a little bit of this gunpowder. Already have all the glowstone. Redstone, we're hurting on. Sugar, I'm definitely going to need. Spider eyes are a definite yes. And that is all we need from here. Now we need to go down to this mushroom island. But we need some of those right there. We need a lot of those mushrooms. Okay, and with those, we are almost set. The only thing we have to do now, I mean, the next thing is pretty much criminal. We need to find a desert. I'm so sorry for this. No! Okay, well, I have pretty much all devastated these desert lands here of every rabbit that is around. And all we got for it was eight rabbit, like so many. It's a little ridiculous. Okay, but after reducing the bunny population to absolutely zero around here, that is another item off the shopping list. The only thing now that we need are some specialty items like... Some gas tears. We're gonna need a handful of magma cream too, but we don't need too much of this because we're gonna have a farm. We just need some blaze powder. A few handfuls of our golden bamboo here. A bit of nether wart, glistering melons, and last but not least, if I can find them, we have one left. And now we can start filling all of these. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the nether wart. And then going down the list, we are going to go sugar, spider eyes, golden bamboo, some blaze powder, then healing, then regen, then our fire resistance, slow falling, then our water breathing, we need the rabbit's foot, and then the spider eyes, then we can go with our activators, gunpowder, in order to turn them into splash potions, and then we will finish off with our turtle master, which we do not have. Now I just need some mangrove and some buttons. Okay, here it is. I didn't have it all. I didn't have a lot of mangrove, but we put some in. Mangrove is a mangrove is a cozy looking block. But here is the brewing area all set up and done. So now all we need to do is basically just press a button. I mean, you can see I've already been making some potions. See ya, boys. But we are officially done. And another thing that I went ahead and did, I mean, this took so many days just to do i can't believe this look at the book i got going here so we've got the index with 14 potions going in here so we've got swiftness night vision strength i mean all you gotta do is look at the number and then go to the page so if we want to make like an invis potion i've already made a bunch all you gotta do is just look it up go to that page so to make this all we're gonna need to do is nether wart rabbit foot glowstone nether wart rabbit foot glowstone we're gonna turn it into a splash potion. And once we've done that, all our items should be sitting. Oh, I screwed it up. I had the brew thing on. It's supposed to be off, but one way or the other, once it starts brewing, we have a little mechanism right there that turns on a little bubble elevator and it lets you know when it's brewing. I was gonna do like a big giant one, but I just wanted to test it out first. So I might honestly remove that, get rid of these guys right here that are, they're already invisible. And I'm thinking of hooking that brewer up to like two giant little bubble things so that when we're brewing something, it starts bubbling and letting you know. And then when that stops bubbling, that's when we know our potion is ready. And it stopped bubbling. So our potion should pretty much be ready. And it's almost there. So that's why I want to put it over here somewhere so we can put like a pulse extender on it so it goes a little bit longer because as you can see, the bubbles stop a little bit early. All it's doing is reading the output from that hopper right there, which is the one above the brewer, and it extends some soul soil. It's pretty neat, but that is the brewer. And just like that, we already have... Oh my God, look at us. Whee! 
Boing! But the brewer is done. So with that, we can actually go and get a warden. We need a warden here. And look at how particle-y this place is from one thing and the ender rods. Look at this. Look at how good it looks with shaders on. Oh, we're lagging because of the particles. It is so bright. It is so, so bright. Okay, but it is time. We need to make a whole bunch of night vision potions. So we're going to need some nether wart, some golden bamboo, and then some redstone and some swiftness. So let's turn off the brewer. So no brew. The reason we have that is so that everything lines up correctly in the hopper. And let's make some swiftness potions. So we need nether wart, sugar, glowstone, gunpowder. All our items are lined up in the hopper. We can hit the brew button. And we are brewing. So I'm going to make a bunch of these. And then we're also going to do a whole bunch of swiftness ones too. So that way we can run faster. And with that, we are set. Oh, I'm actually pumped for this. The night vision especially. Because we don't have to jack up the gamma now in order to, yeah, allow you guys to see. We can just night vision. And we are good to go. I also scattered candles around this place. And it looks like I forgot to light a bunch of them. Nope, they're lit. And I just realized something by putting this lever right here, which I might switch over to that side while this is brewing, it allows us to queue up another thing to brew. So we can almost do to brew almost, almost settle down. There's 24 minutes of night vision right there. And we've got more queued up. Let's let them free. And we're brewing. This is amazing. Look at that night vision. Look at this. Look at the night vision in here. Holy. Nilly, look at you. You are the brightest. You're the brightest dog on the block. Holy. Even without shaders on, it is freaking bright in here. You know what I just thought of while making all these barrels to slide in here for a little bit more decor and ease? They need to make barrels color coordinated to the wood. Imagine having a mangrove barrel. Imagine how sick that would look. Okay, sweet. Now that we've got these barrels down here, we can actually store the potions underneath the main ingredients that is here. And once I get some more mangrove, I can label all of these too as well. But I'm pretty sure I think we're going to get the hang of it, especially since I did the book. But there we go. We've got a whole bunch of potions now all queued up and ready to go for our little bit of an adventure. So now it is time. Now I think what we go and do is we try to find a warden and we try to portal him or get him to chase us down in, in this area where all we have to do is just lock him in with some glass. And yeah, he'll basically be our little pet, our zoo feature. So before we do this, we need to get one thing. We need a name tag. Wikipedia says that they don't disappear if you name tag them. So I got a name tag and we're naming him Chuck. Um... Now, other than some potions, we are going to need a few things in order to get the warden here. And that is going to be some portals. Because there is no way I am trying to spawn a Skulk Shrieker. Apparently, there's only like a 1% chance that one of those things is going to spawn anyways. So rather than trying to like set up some sort of form and make a whatever, yeah. I think it'll just be faster to go get them. And then we can finish doing the decor around here. But that stuff is just so monotonous. Just placing... But wait till you guys see my skulk tree. Okay, let's go. We need to get ourselves Mr. Wardino. First, I need a portal. Can I hit this? I did! Yeah, I think I made that big enough for the warden to come through. I just gotta put a backer on it. So that way he comes through. The right... Oh, hopefully he doesn't land down in the... Oh, well. Okay, portal one is set. Now we need to go and make... Three more, because if you guys know how portals work, you can use them to turn long distances into short distances. My only question is, is I hope, I hope so bad that wardens can go through the portal. Because if they can't, then I am pretty much screwed. But I'm grabbing all of my night potions, and then let's just go in, I mean, let's go and find, let's go find an ancient city. I'm in the middle of an ocean. There's literally all... But there's nothing. There's literally nothing. Not exactly what we're looking for, but definitely worthy of a night vision potion. Okay, let's just keep making our way down. We have found an opening. I don't see any skulk. I don't think there's going to be one underneath this mountain. Oh, that scared me. Nope, this high ground is a dead end. I have to try and find my way back to the... Oh, diamonds. 
Okay, portal location number two in the nether. I just went a little bit farther down and we're already looking. There's a jungle. I like this. I like this. It's one of them high jungles too. Oh, there's probably going to be. Oh, we have a way down. I'm going down. No, oh, we've got another way down. More things also. We've got to be careful. But it's not looking like there's a city. I don't see a city. Oh. oh. What is that though? What the heck is this? I don't even have words. Is this? Is this what I think it is? Did I come so far out? It is. Here is a library. Oh my gosh. I just found an end portal. What are these even called? I can't even remember what these are called. I'm in such a top. I need to be careful. I don't want to spawn a warden down here. I just found. Yeah, here are the stairs to go up. What? I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. If there's an end portal here. <gasps> oh. Ender pearl. This is crazy. I have never, ever stumbled across one of these before. What is the, what is even this game? But how do I find the end portal? I don't even think I brought all my stuff with me to go to the end. So even if we find it, it's like whatever. Hmm. Cray cray. Iron and horse armor. Look at all that paper. And silk touch plus piercing. That doesn't even make sense. Okay, library number two, though. More paper. Oh, what's down here? It's a spawner with Smite 3 inside of it. But there's no spawner. What is this? What is that? What? Cat? Is that the new cat disc? Is there a new cat? Another gold? Ooh. I just sang to you. Get over it. But how is this spawner? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, that's what that sound is. I forgot they have spawners here. Get away from me. Yeah. We found it. A second. I can't believe I just stumbled across a second end portal. This is nuts. Screenshot. Maybe that's why there is no... I have no idea. All I know is that this is absolutely... Can I have those eyes? I didn't bring anything. We need to mark the coordinates of this. This is nuts. I can't believe I just randomly stumbled across a stronghold. That's a, yeah, that's the name of a stronghold. I stumbled across a freaking stronghold while looking for an ancient city. What are the odds of that? Okay, I was trying to find my way back to the portal and look at what I found. Another couple of mountains. These ones are messy ones. I'm gonna try underneath these ones because I mean, in my tutorial, there was some underneath here, so I'm gonna try these ones. And maybe, hopefully, because this is like mountain number whatever. I have been recording for literally almost three hours now, just looking for an ancient city. I am almost out of night pigeons. I can't even speak. I'm being attacked by water. So I'm going in a different, and did you see that? What is this? Doing all the way underneath here. Oh my god, and it has an enchanted golden apple just sitting in it. Just sitting in it. Man, I am just on a finder's spree right now. The only thing I can't find is the, f hey. the thing I'm looking for. It's like when you're trying to find the remote. Okay, and I know this is a little dark for you guys, but I'm saving it. I've only got one left, and we gotta see if we can find. <gasps> we gotta be careful. We need to be quiet. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's been two hours! It hasn't really been that long, but look at I mean, what day did we leave on? This took forever to find. Okay, but it's time to start getting to clearing right now because we have so many that we gotta get through. And that is so loud. And there is Mr. Warden right there. I'm raiding this place. Get out of here. Hi, Warden. Hi, bud. He's sniffing me. He's sniffing me. Okay, well, and I know it's a little dark for you guys, but we have officially cleared this place. Less than 15 minutes and it is all ours. I think the guy up here has despawned. No, he's still up there. Okay, chest one though. Officially, we don't have 
anything really that good. Chest number two, we've got a bunch of Echo Shards and some Discs. Chest number three, again, Death O. Oh my god, I take that back. We got a good hole again. Chest number four. Meh. Taking all of these candles again this time, though, too, because, you know, candles are just... These are great. There's so many of them here. Chest number 11, still no more enchanted golden apples. 12, same thing, nothing yet. Oh, a mending book. 15, same deal. A whole lot of nothing. Break this one. Break that one. Get the heck out of here. Oh, no. Get that. Check where's chest 18. There's a golden enchanted apple in chest number 18, and I have to get out of here. I grabbed it, though. I hit a wall, but I grabbed it. I know, you guys can't see nothing right now. I'm so sorry, but we got two enchanted golden apples from this area. I did a terrible job at clearing this place. That's why it went by so fast, because I did a terrible job. Another, that's three enchanted golden apples and some diamond horse armor. We got to start putting some armor on some horses. I have so much diamond horse armor, and I am quickly running out of room in all of my shulker boxes, because that is like 22 boxes already that I have opened, which is crazy. 23, and then it's another, no, I thought it was another Swift Sneak 3. Frostwalker, another mending book. This, so far, might be the most successful Ancient City raid so far, out of all of them. Three from one, and there's been over like 20 chests. This is nuts. I have lost count. Another, that's four enchanted golden apples from one ancient city. This is crazy. Oh my god, look at that chest. I was just about to say, I think I am done with the chests. And then I find this. What's this one going to be? What? Protection four, mending, unbreaking three, on some diamond leggings, just sitting in oh what i don't even have room okay i already have the cat music discs so i can okay there i could take those pants those might have been the two craziest chests i mean other than the fact that i have found four golden enchanted golden apples what did i just say that might have been one of the more successful wow. finds swift Neek three again mending unbreaking we got another chest right here with two enchanted golden apples in it. This is nuts. If it didn't take so long to find these ancient cities, I would do one of these at the beginning of every single episode. I see another chest. I see another chest. Oh, I'm breaking three and mending though. Oh my God. This is seriously one of the best raids that I've had so far in one of these little, I think that does it though. I think I have done the whole loop-de-loop. -loop. We're gonna have to check these little areas though here in between. But that looks to be, oh no, that looks to be it. That is over 25. That was over 25 chests of loot. <gasps> 20, I don't even know what we're at. I can't even say a number because I've lost count, you guys. I'm flying around, I don't see any more. So I think we might have actually got them all now. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. There's one right here. No, we got it. Okay. Okay, and here is a recap of everything that we got from there. Three Swift Sneak 3s, two Mending Books, a Channeling, an Infinity, a Sweeping Edge 3, Silk Touch plus Piercing, 27 Disc Fragments, the Echo Shards, look at the coal, pretty much the same leggings, but look at... Look at those ones. Three different discs, the books, but most importantly, six, six enchanted golden apples right there in the inventory from one city. I wish I brought more night visions with me. Okay, but now it is candle time. I am taking all of these candles with me. This is so much easier than making them. Okay, but now it is planning time because we need to get one of those guys through a portal where is he we need to get him or one of his friends through a portal up into the nether roof and all the way back to the warden pen this is going to be an adventure so first thing that i need to do is well i've got to go and link it up 
to one of the portals that I'm going to put literally right there. So this is the one that I'm going to drag. I mean, he spawns right back there. So we've got to get him, name tag him. And I mean, hopefully, I have no idea. I mean, if wardens don't go through portals, I'm pretty much screwed. This is going to be the longest run ever. I'm going to have to go on literally like a Forrest Gump non-stop run with a warden chasing me, which is not going to be ideal. So let's hope that this works, everybody. Yeah, and there, I'm, I'm just saying this right now. There ain't no way I'm dragging that warden 14,000 blocks home. Nope. We'll have to find a closer one if this doesn't work. Okay, now to just find my way back to the surface. This isn't the hole. I got to try and find the one that I came in. Whoa! Really? Where's my portal? Does anybody see a portal anywhere? Because this is the jungle right where I came through. And there's a panda! There's another panda! Hello, my brethren! How are you? Yes, I know. Here you go. I will shower you. Okay, do you guys see it? Do you guys see what I see? This is one of the most satisfying things in Minecraft. Oh, so satisfying. It's just so satisfying. There you go, good sir. Now, do you by any chance, have you seen a portal around here? Oh, I thought I spotted it, but it's not. It's just a boring old broken down one that might have. Oh, I just, I missed the chest and fired myself. Here, oh, there it is, right there. Oh, we found it. Okay, this makes, uh, this makes going, this is gonna be so easy now, actually. Okay, so here's the plan. We have the portal over where Mr. Wardino is, AKA, where's my name tag? Chuck. And right here is Chuck's portal. Now all we gotta do is get Chuck all the way through here. Hopefully they can go through portals. And then 1,700 blocks this direction away which is kind of insane but as you can see that this is we are quite the distance all the way to the gold farm and now some of you guys have suggested or made some very good suggestions but honestly i think just getting him to chase us with speed potions and his heart beating because he runs so fast right like he's the warden he's so fast i think we just get him to chase us it would be really cool to set up some sort of piston pusher all the way here, but 1,700 blocks worth of piston pushers? Well, I don't think so. And this portal right here, this is temporary, but hopefully if I've done my math correctly, this right here should bring us right over top of the warden's den. Hopefully, are we here? And we're here. Okay, I've done my math correctly. Let's grab a couple more potions, and let's go and get the warden. Let's go and get him. I got so much on my inventory right now. Okay, I will sort all of this stuff when we get back because that was so much of it. Where is my... Where did I put my enchanted golden apples? There they are! Okay, I'm gonna brew up some Swiftness 1 potions right now just to see. Maybe maybe these ones are gonna be enough because, man, 130? That's gonna be a lot of potions to carry with us. Okay, there's our speed 8s right there. Now we'll brew a whole bunch more night visions and then we can go and get the warden into place. This is going to be so exciting. We are probably going to die. I should bring along 37 extra totems with me. 37 in total. You shut your mouth. 
Okay, we've got our speed potions. We've got all of our night vision. Look at how it was six of them. We have Wardino now too, just in case Chuck tries to pull something and we've got to, we got to take him out. But other than that, let's go. It's time. Let's go wrangle up a warden. Oh, wait, first. And we want to make sure that we get him in the right spot. So we're just going to move this over a little bit. And there it is. That is the portal. Hopefully wardens can go through portals. Or all of that was going to, it's, it's literally for nothing. But it's time, everybody. Let's go wrangle up a warden. Why is there a zombie with a gold sword sitting out here? I have no idea. Okay. I got that portal in the wrong spot. Supposed to be negative 177. Where did I put this? Positive 177. I'm an idiot. Okay, that's the right portal. Now it is time. Um, don't mess around, Chuck. Okay, there he is. Huh! 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 It's not letting me name tag him. Come on down. Oh, his heart is beating. Are you coming? It was at this moment that he knew. Oh no, this could be the end of us. Oh, boys. Hang on. Hang on. Wardino's over here doing things that I didn't think were possible. I'm just realizing now that I only brought this one extra totem with me. I should bring along 37 extra totems with me. This is going to be a nightmare. Okay, well, round two with this guy. I can't believe it. The other, the utter disrespect. Where are you going to spawn? There he is. He's named. Okay, we got to get away from him now. Oh, he's already mad. I'm pretty sure because we have him name tagged. He's not going to despawn and he almost shot me while we were midair. But this should be good. Now we just let him calm down. And then we'll use the arrow. Oh, my bow is almost dead. And you guys know me with bows. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, 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 okay. Does he go through the portal? Go through the portal. Go through the portal. He's gone. Okay, he went through the portal. We have a warden over in the nether right now. This is... What now? I gotta go through this portal. This is... I didn't, I didn't think this through. Three, two, one. Run! 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 Oh my god, we have a warden in the nether, everybody. Okay, now what we... I mean, what do we do now? Now I guess we just gotta lure him. Here, friend. We gotta lure him 1,700 blocks. We gotta lure him... Okay. The real question is, am I faster than him with speed twos? Yeah. Okay, he's chasing us. We can't see anything because of the dark. We are. Look at this. We are faster than him with speed twos. I just gotta keep my inventory loaded. Oh, this is so awesome. This is so, so this is how you do it. Get yourself some speed twos. And just let the Whistler Warden... Oh, God. Don't let him get too close, though. That was not a good idea. See, but listen, I can outrun him with speed, too. This is... This is awesome, you guys. Ha-ha, <laughs> Mr. Warden. Come on. Come on. We're just nowhere near there yet. Please tell me I'm going the right direction. Oh, no, I've lost my speed. Okay, this is just speed one potions. And speed one potions, apparently, we can keep ahead of them as well. Oh, this is fantastic. Yeah, come on, keep up. Keep up, Mr. Warden. Because we are almost there. This isn't going to take long at all, everybody. Oh, there's the broken portal. Okay, we need to move over this way. Ooh! Wait for him to catch up a little bit. Oh! Okay, this is... When he gets a little close, he hits hard, but we're doing it, everybody. We are wrangling a warden. Look at this guy. What is? What am I up to? Come on, Chuck. 
Oh, I can outrun him just running backwards. Awesome. With speed potions. Speed potions are the way. Here, Chuck. There's the gold farm. Oh, we're getting so close. No, Chuck. Stay with me, Chuck. I feel bad for any mobs that are around here that get in the way of Chuck. Like, I wonder what happens when he tries to take on a ghast. I don't know. Oh boy, we're gonna put a, we're gonna put a few wardens to the test. Nope, Chuck, you're supposed to stay with me. Fire consecutively, consecutive fires. We have three minutes of speed left. This hasn't taken long at all. Oh boy, I let Chuck get a little too close there. But look at this, we're so close, Chuck. All we gotta do is get you to that portal. We just gotta get you to that portal right there, Chuck. You think we can do it? Get away from, don't even try it. Don't even try it, bud. Okay, Chuck, and now's your chance. Come and get me, bud. I'm right here. I'm right here, Chuck. Come on, Chuck. <gasps> I have no words. You, you jerk. I'm trying to celebrate. Oh. Okay, let's go and see. Chuck. There's Chuck. He just fell. And he's locked in place. Oh, the plan worked flawlessly, ladies and gentlemen. The plan has worked. We're... Get out. We're in business. Chuck is locked in place. And... All we gotta do now is just fly away and let him calm down. We're gonna let him calm down. I gotta get, let myself calm down. You shut your mouth. I'll sick Chuck on you. You too, mister. You think you're so bad? Oh. I'll wheel you down to Chuck. Okay, and so far, so good. So far, Chuck is still here. I think he senses us. We don't want him to shoot. Because if he blows that, then, I mean, the whole gig is up. Oh, you think you're quick. And there we go. Portal is all cleaned up. And Chuck is a... Look at this. We officially have a warden in place. Now, here is the thing with this. I mean, we got to put signs up everywhere because when we do the world download for this, okay... This is, this is a whole part of the feature. This is a part of the feature. You get to go down here. You get to enter the deep dark. See, watch, he'll start to sniff us out. But because we've got wool, he can't hear us. So maybe I should change these outer carpet over them. But here we go. Oh, I think I miscalculated. I think I miscalculated. Can he not shoot us? Oh. <gasps> We may have just found a glitch in the system. He's super angry. Oh, never mind. It um, it wasn't working before, but it's worked now. Yeah, it's definitely. I don't know. We, there was something going on before. Okay, chill. Hey, just. I'm a terrible lander. Oh, and that's what's happening. He's shooting at all of the mobs below us. <laughs> The guy's a savage. Well, whatever. Doesn't matter because we have Chuck here. We've it's official. We've got a warden as our pet in the overworld. I love it. And I love how he's just a savage. Let's see what he does. Oh my god, this guy's got a, a heat seeker. Oh man. He is insane. Yes, bring it on. The man's an absolute savage. He's a savage. We have a savage for a pet. Okay, time for me to start sprucing this place up though and get it all finished because uh, my guy definitely deserves it. He's my favorite so far. I thought the ghast and the... Oh, oh, I am falling. Help me. Oh, I mean, I thought these two guys were a trip getting them here to the nether. I mean, for some of you that don't know, I already have a blaze as a pet sitting right there. And a gas too as well. I mean, we made a ghast. We locked the ghast inside a ghast cage. Can you see that? It looks a lot better with connected textures. I gotta get my connected textures back on. 
And we also got a shulker too as well. That's what started this whole He's the guy that started the whole shulker farm ordeal thing. But the warden is definitely by far my favorite. He is by far my favorite. Hey. Second favorite, second favorite. I'll take that back, pay him in, please. Have some bamboo. I take that back. I'm sorry. Accept my offering. Accept my offering. Thank you. I am safe. I survived 2200 days in Minecraft, and in the process, I finished my Warden Pit, which is where I trapped the Warden, which has now become my second best bud. And I tried to build a frog light farm in order to give me unlimited frog lights in my hardcore Minecraft world. Can I do it? I don't know. I also get a little surprise for Chuck at the end of this video. <laughs> oh gosh, this was not the plan at all. But first, say hi, Chuck. <laughs> And now I didn't want to spoil too much on the intro because I have been, I have been a busy little panda. I have been a busy little panda. I mean, look at, see them? See the roots? Look at it! I have built some trees. I have built some trees. These stupid things took an entire shulker box plus full of endstone. And now I, in order for me to finish the island, I am going to have to go, I'm going to have to go back and re-farm the entire end now because of these trees. But that's okay because it is looking... It is looking pretty fantastic in here. I wish I had more so I could do two more smaller trees, but you know what? The warden pit is 99% of the way done. The only thing I have left to do now is I've got to release a little waterfall that I've got going on over there. So yeah, time to go under here and release all of this water. We gotta let all of this out. And hopefully that covers, oh, it doesn't even cover half of it. We need to release more. And there we go. But in order to decorate that, I am going to need... I need more frog lights. I used up all the frog lights. Well, I built a frog farm, but I used all the frog lights up that I got from that in order, yeah, to light up this little thing. But the only problem with this farm is I don't want to AFK for too long. I hate AFKing. It just scares me. And I'm going to need stacks of frog lights for some upcoming projects that I have, including finishing off this one here. So we are going to... We are going to upgrade this farm right here. Plus, I need more than three... I need more than three frogs for what I have planned. And I foolishly made this thing too low. I mean, look at the storage <laughs> no, system that no, I set up. No, no, no. It is just, this is the definition of chaos right here. But this thing rips. It does like 7,400 drops per hour. It's pretty insane. And we're going to upgrade it. So first things first is this thing just has to, what's the fastest way to move these? There is no fast tool. This is so lame. Now you nine, you nine have to stay here, but you three, actually, you know what, you three? There's four of you. You stay here. I need to go and get some builder blocks. I need more. I need glass and I need some sort of base block. So you guys, you protect the squad. I'll be back. Change of plans. I need me, I need a gravel mountain. I need to make some lime concrete, but I can't tell, I can't tell what is what with this shader on. Gravel. I found it. Okay, we got a decent amount of gravel. Now we just need to... We need some sand to go with it. Oh my god, my fingertips. But we have our base. We have everything that we need for our base. The only thing that we need now is we need more gold. I forgot. Oh, I forgot. Pumpkins. Because we need five, four, and three for this entire farm. And that is, uh, 12. We need 12. We need 12 iron golems. And we already have four here. So that means we need to go out and get... We need eight. 
We've got to go get eight pumpkins. And glass. I forgot a whole bunch of glass. Oh, I'm an idiot. All right, our glass is a check. We just need pumpkins now. Where can we get pumpkins? Does the village have pumpkins? And the village does have pumpkins. One. How many did we need again? We hit the jackpot there. We almost got all of them just from one little thing. That's a nice bed. Okay, and other than a few more frogs, we officially have everything. And I wasn't planning on building this thing above the nether roof, but you know what? This thing rips and it's so fast. It's kind of like a one and done type of farm. I'm literally just going to run this for like an hour and then never come back to it. So we're just putting this one up here really quickly. But now what I've got to try and do, I have to try and build myself a lily pad. I honestly have no idea how this is going to turn out. And actually, not too bad. Not too bad at all. I just got to wing that, and I think I actually maybe rounded out one more. Um, I'm leaving it like that. It looks like a lily pad. Good enough for me. All right, collection system is done and in place. I was gonna fill the entire thing in, the entire lily pad in. Oh my god, it actually almost looks like, like, I just double liked. But it actually almost looks like an animal's hoof. It looks like a hoof print more than it looks like, oh, I don't even care anymore. We'll round it out. But that is the collection pit and the little area down here where I'm gonna be standing all done. I'm gonna fill all of this in with the green frog lights. But now it's time, and hopefully this works, because I'm gonna do this little platform thing here for all three layers. I'm doing three lily pads stacked on top of each other, and I am going to farm magma with them. Okay, I ran out of materials, and as you can see, I had to improvise a little bit, but we're almost done. The only thing that I need to do is get off this platform so it doesn't blow it up. I need to go and get some more glass so I can put some roof on that thing, but look at it already just raining in. I need to get the frogs in there. We could already be frog light rich if I could just give me all these leads. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Do I have everybody? Look at all of the magma cubes that are in here. What? Oh, this could be death. This could be death to me. Go, froggies, go. Oh, I'm gonna die. I cannot do that. Okay, ready, set, go. Come on, froggies. Get in here with me. I gotta try and get them all off of their leads. I can't do it, but they're already eating everybody, and I'm gonna die. I gotta get out of here. No, Froggy, you're going the wrong way. Get back in here. Look at the frog lights I already have inside my inventory. Let's go. Am I missing anybody? Wow, they literally made light work out of- Hey, you! And okay, Froggies are in place, other than I just need more glass now. But that was ridiculous. And just like that, we already got that many. I need to go, I don't even know, do I even need more frogs? I'm just gonna go get some more glass. I'll be right back. I'm back. And oh boy, I gotta put a roof on this thing before I start getting some gas spawns. And bingo, these guys are officially contained, sort of. Oh! I just need to put a roof on now, so that way these gas, we don't want gas. Roof is officially complete. Now, before I go ahead and go and go and get some frogs, because those guys literally take it, they, they take like hours, it takes so long, it's ridiculous. Just get in the bucket. What, why you do this? I'm actually going to just let this thing run because right now it is 1.30 in the morning. So what I am going to do is I am going to go all the way up here 
And this is going to be definitely a little bit offset because of where I had it before. And I am going to do a little bit of an AFK session, but I have a feeling that just by judging by what I am looking at here, we might need some more frogs. It has been six hours. It has been six hours, and I am still here. I had to go down once already, and well, you guys will see. Let's go. Tricked you. Oh boy. I believe the system is full. It is full. The outside ones are full, but the inside one is not. Look at all the frog lights we've got sitting around in there. And the little piggies too, because I am an idiot and I put this in the wrong spot. Okay, but wow. I'm actually wondering how many have actually despawned in here because after just 45 minutes, I came down to check and this is what we had in 45 minutes. That plus that plus that and a little bit more too as well so i mean this farm is crazy i think i pr i think i have enough frog lights to last me forever we have so many i need more chests okay i have a double chest a double chest of yellow a double chest a double chest of purple a double chest a double chest of the greens a little bit extra we have more in these boxes here and I am pretty sure that all of these hoppers back here are still completely full I have enough frog lights to last me I don't even know but this farm is like the obsidian farm you make it you run it and then you're done with it because I need to go and get some shulker boxes but oh my the camel toe or uh, I mean the lily pad this thing absolutely rips one of my even favorite farms I think like look at listen they're already coming in And all we get is the little guys down here at the bottom. And there we go. Three full shulker boxes. Oh, frog lights. This is insane. I thought these would be kind of difficult to come across. But um, as it turns out, especially since I only have three frogs each in there. But three frogs have done just fine. We need a bunch of frog lights placed around in here somewhere. I don't know where and I don't know how, though. I haven't really thought of it. One thing I have thought about, though, is this waterfall right here. Hello, Chuck. I need all yellow right here because behind this waterfall, what I'm going to do is I'm going to light up the whole thing. Okay, the waterfall is glowing. Clearly, I missed a little bit of skulk, but you guys, shh. And you over there too. Keep it down, please. Don't worry. I have a surprise for you coming here, sir. Next up, all I need are some buckets. Probably not that many buckets, but you can never have too many buckets. We're all good. And now I am going to fill in this entire... I've got to try and fill this entire thing here with water. Okay, and there we go. The waterfall is done. Now, my only question is... Well, I got more skulk to put in. But my only question is... Is I can't see. Where's the skull? Oh my gosh! Can we grow seagrass? We can grow seagrass on top of the lights underneath the water. This is amazing. I gotta stop flying underneath, Chuck. It's just so that I can see what I'm doing here. This is what... The, oh my god, those are grand crystals. Okay, it's looking a little good with some green in there, but I think what we need is a little bit more. We need a little bit more green takeover. So I'm grabbing some moss. Okay, now that's looking a little bit better already. Just time to finish up the skulk and decor down here a little bit more. He's about to blast somebody into oblivion. Oh my gosh. Let's see him do it again. Oh, you died. Get this guy, Chuck. Chuck, get this guy. Chuck. Get this guy, Chuck. I'm relying on you, Chuck. I need you. That's what I thought. You stay away from me. Idiot. Well done, Chuck. Well done. Don't tell anybody, but here you go. Here's your... Here's your payment for your service. You're so welcome. Okay, but now that we got a lot of the decor done, and we've got some lights too... Oh yeah, that's what I mainly needed, the frog. I forgot. I upgraded the frog light farm to turn... 
my hanging fruit here back into the regular color because I ran out. These are supposed to be yellow hanging fruits. Can I hit it? Oh. You suck. But there we go. Okay. The warden pit, other than a little bit more skulk. Okay, we're just going to ignore the little corner over there because you can't really see it right now. But the warden pit is done. This has taken over a hundred days to do. Look at, we're at 2204. 2204. This has taken well over a hundred days to complete. I mean, this thing is a hundred blocks across. And like what? I don't even know. 30 blocks deep. It's crazy. But we're almost done. A little bit more skulk. A little bit more skulk. You guys be quiet or I will sick chuck on you. But since I've got to go back, ow. But since I've got to go back all the way to the deep dark one more time just to get one last round of skulk, here's what we're going to do. I am grabbing some obsidian because this whole thing with the wardens, I am so amused by this. We're filling in all of the holes and then I am quite literally... I am bringing a whole crew of wardens back to hang out down here. It is going to be loud. It is going to be chaotic, but it is going to be so amusing. I think we're set. Let's just see and make sure that this portal does go back through to... And it does. Okay, let's go capture 19 more wardens. Has anybody else's world just started to leave giant holes and cracks all the way down into the overworld from the above roof? It's almost like... The people from Minecraft want you to play above the roof. I mean, look at this. We are straight down and into the nether now. All from a simple little hole up in the roof. Which you can spot very easily just by looking straight up. And they are everywhere. Look at this. Watch this. There's one. Okay, there's two more behind me. Three, four. And we can just keep going. More. There's more over there. There's a whole bunch of them up and over that direction. What the? There's another one. There's another one. I have flown this way for like 3,000 blocks and they just don't stop. See? They keep going and then they keep going and then they just keep going. I'm not going though because I am going to get... Chuck needs some friends and we've got to name every single one of them. Okay, there's Wardino. So we've already got one name tag check. Hopefully I came here with more. We can bring back five wardens. Why did I not come back here with more? Why did I not come back here with more? I'll be right back. 24. Do we need 24 wardens? Oh my God. Um. Now, what are the most Chad Warden names that you can think of? I need ideas here because I am terrible. As you can tell, I am terrible at names. Okay, here, Warden. Wherever you are, it's right here. Oh, I forgot night vision potions. I'm so sorry. Actually, you know what? I need some night visions. Mr. Warden's scary. Okay, let's do this. Oh, Wardino, where are you? Please spawn. There he is. Okay. You need to fall down here. Can you fall down here, please? He fell down here. I don't have a name tag yet, but we're going to get this guy through to the nether to get him to calm down. Just a little bit. Here, bud. Oh, gosh. That was not the plan. Oh, gosh, this was not the plan at all. Okay, so far, plan has backfired on us simply because we couldn't name tag him. Why did I name tag him? I had to get him to come down, and now he's just blasting me into oblivion. Somebody please help. And did they increase his, like, shooting time and shooting range now? Because this man right here, he is pure chaos. Okay, come back this way. Okay, you came back this way. Now come back this way. Yes, 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 yes. Get over to the nether and just calm down, please. Oh my good lord. We are going to have to rethink the strategy here because I need to be able to name tag them if this is the way we are going to be doing it. Okay, Wardino, we actually got him name tag this time. 
Please follow me. So this one's not going to despawn. Um, am I already out of no Oh yeah, he boomed me. I'm so sorry, guys. I forgot. Yes, 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 yes. No! How could you? Please just go through the nether. Please just go through the nether. Please just go through the nether! Oh, jeez. Can you guys tell I haven't played in a month? We're already... We're two totems down. <laughs> and... I can't seem to get this guy. Look at how fast he wants to shoot. What did they do? Did they upgrade these guys? They gave these guys an upgrade, didn't they? I've never, I've never seen him try to shoot that fast before. And he's just demolishing my night visions. I thought I brought enough, but I did not. Are you like trapped? What the frig? What the frig? That's another night? No, it's not. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. I don't know if this was a good idea, you guys. Trying to wrangle up a whole bunch of wardens. Okay, who's next, though? Um, let's do Thordino next. Oh, I got him. 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 Don't mind if I do. Thank you. Oh, Thordino. Oh, you're coming for me? I didn't do anything. Why? I didn't do anything. It was my arrows. Buddy, yeah, we need you to come around, yeah, and then we need you to come back this way, and then we need you to just quietly and peacefully go through the portal. Oh, you didn't go through the portal. We have a nice portal set up for you. Go through the portal. He went through the portal. Okay, that's Thordino. That is three. Maybe not, because I don't know if the other guy has despawned. Let's go through and see. Are you guys ready to just die? Are you ready to die? I'm ready to die. Are you ready to die? I'm ready to die. Don't die, 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 die, don't die, don't die. Oh, we got wardens over in the nether. Oh no, did one just go back through? Oh, you idiot. He either went back through or he despawned. I'm not sure. But we've got two so far. We've got two. But I didn't calculate this correctly because these guys, they're literally, look at them just are coming back through the portals, which is not what we want. Right now there is an angry portal or there is an angry warden on the other side of this portal. And I'm scared for my life. And is he name tagged? You get Keanu. Why do they skip the portal like that? These guys are so slick. They just fit through that one by one So easily come on come on come on come on come on come on come on. Thank you Okay, that's three three angry wardens in the nether I'm sure you can make a nursery rhyme about that. Let's go for number four and his name is Chad Eno Let's go Chad You coming? Let's go Chad Hey, Chad. Let's go, bro. Let's go, bro. We got stuff to do, bro. You would shoot me in the back, bro. Oh, did you hurt yourself, bro? Come on, Chad. Hey, Chad. You coming, Chad? Hey, Chad. See you later, Chad. Okay, what's the next guy's name? Because that's five... Is that five or is that four? I don't even know. My math is is beyond elementary. Okay, well, you guys are gonna have to do without any night vision from here on out because I am not going all the way back to the base without bringing these wardens back. Where is he? What's your name? Hello, Ricky. Here, yeah, Ricky. See you later, Ricky. Where's the next guy? Bubs. Let's go, bub. Okay, and it took me a few times, but we've got this down to a nice little strategy here. We get him angry. He starts to chase after us. All we do is get him around the corner, and he's like... No, no, no. You, you know I'm right here. Yeah. And we do that. And then all of a sudden, he goes through the portal. Do you see how easy that is? 
We're down to 19 name tags. Frederick. Hello, Frederick. Come on, Frederick. I know you guys can't see, but here comes Frederick right here. He does the same. He did the same thing as the other guy. Now we just need to go this way. And... Whoa! He did a little hop skip up over the wall. You guys are not going to be able to see that, but he did a hop skip literally over the wall. Instead of going around the wall and through the portal, this guy's got some brains. See if he's got enough to go around him this time. Nope. He is in the nether. Okay. Is everybody ready? Because we have, I think, six, maybe seven. I'm not... Hey! You're not supposed to come back through. That is against the rules. Illegal play. <whistles> illegal play on the field. Literally an illegal play on the field. That's right. You get back in the nether. That was an illegal play by you to come back through to the end. Like, what? Illegal play. I'm calling it. Football season's coming. Are you guys ready? This might be the death of us. There's six wardens here. Every single one of us, every single one of them hates me. We can't see a single one, but I need to make sure that all of them are chasing me right now. And they are all chasing me, but two. Okay, we gotta get them mad. Get angry, you two. Okay, and there they all are. The only problem is, is I forgot my speed potions, and it looks like we're forgetting one guy. So I'm just gonna have to get him super mad. Okay, don't do that. Don't ever punch the warden because he will just absolutely. But look at this. Oh, he's gonna, I knew it was coming. I need my speed potions. And I need to make sure that I'm going the right direction because right now I am pretty sure I'm going the wrong direction. Yeah, the broken portal's way over there. I am going the way the wrong direction. Way the wrong direction, but come on everybody. We are just gonna have to do a little bit of a hop skip and then keep doing it this way because as of right now, you guys are catching up to me and quick. Look at the little waddle these guys got going on. Oh, Chuck is gonna be so happy. He's gonna have so many friends. He's gonna have so many friends and they're all just as angry and bitter as he is Trailing behind there, buddy. I don't even know which one you are, but you are trailing behind. Uh oh, we lost one. Oh, why couldn't I just bring speed potions? Oh, why couldn't I just bring speed potions? I should have just brought speed potions everybody The warden pit is gonna be so noisy Oh my gosh, it is gonna be so noisy. It is gonna be pure chaos down there, everybody. This is, it is gonna be pure chaos. Yep. Nice try. Oh my gosh. I can't, I, I don't even have time to stop and pull out another toad. Yes, I do. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. How many shots do I have left? Four. I have eight shots left on my bow. No! Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This here is pretty close, and we are completely out of the range of any portals. I'm going to get some speed potions, everybody. We're so close. Look at it. We're so close. And I'm pulling out 17 more totems because this box was full when we started this endeavor, and it is now half full. Okay, we have our speed potions. And all of the wardens are still here. Okay, you know what we're gonna do too? Because I completely forgot. I need some skulk. So we're just gonna leave them there to just kind of have a party and do their own thing. And I'm going to grab a shulker box full of skulk. And then we're coming back. Okay, inventory is full. Hopefully this is going to be enough because I have quite literally collected and placed almost 20,000 skulk blocks just for this project alone, which is insane. You still remember me, do you? Okay, good, but I'll be back. I gotta go fill in two holes so that you guys don't just fall in like idiots because that's what you'll do, fall in like idiots. All right, just a little bit more to do on that wall right there, but it looks like all the holes are filled. So Chuck, are you ready? Are you ready, Chuck? Because we are about to bring you 
back some friends. I'd be excited too, friend. I would be super excited too. I'm sure all of you guys are gonna have a blast together. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Stop it. Shut it. You just shut. You just shut, you shut it. Shut your mouth. Okay, let's go get them. Oh, wardens. I need all of you mad at me. Okay, we got them all coming. All, I don't even know. There's like five or six of them. I can't even remember. But we've got them all after us now. Everybody's just got to stay mad. Oh, we're so close. Come on, everybody. We're so close. It's right here. Come on. Chuck is going to have some friends. Come on. Listen to those little heartbeats just a-rumbling. Sounds like a stampede. Okay, 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 one, two, three, four. Please, please, skeleton, did you mess everything up? Doesn't sound like you did. Now it's time we need to not break that portal. We need to go and <laughs> see all of our little warden friends. And hopefully all of them just stay. Because I need to break that portal down there. So that way they don't go back through the nether. Okay, but let's go and see. And... It's pure chaos down there. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus Chuck. We have eight wardens. And this guy is still mad at me. Okay, we gotta go let these guys calm down though so I can remove that portal because... Okay, let's go. Looks like everybody's calm. I just gotta break it. I don't even care to remove it. I just need to break it. Just let me break it. <laughs> Did you hear how loud it is down there? I have got to get away from this for a second because it is literally so loud. I can still hear them. I'm so far away and I can still hear them. List. Oh my god. You can hear them nearly halfway across the zoo. I don't know if this was a good idea, everybody. Warden one. Who's this guy? Let's go see who this guy is. Ricky! Hi, Ricky. I wish I could, like, color them and do something so that I could see them and see who's who's better, but... Whoa! <laughs> okay. The whole warden pit has just become a danger zone. I love it. I told you it was going to be pure chaos. And it absolutely is pure chaos. Thordino. Hi, Thordino. I really wish you could display their name tags. Well, there you go. Are you happy, Chuck? You have some friends and you now don't have to take care of all of the bad guys yourself. You have help. Are you happy about that? I can't hear a single word that you're saying, Chuck. I am so sorry. But I am staying away from there for the next little bit. <laughs> so the warden pit is finally done. Complete with a couple of roundabouts, some trees, and a few extra wardens to help old Chuck out with his duties. The whole crew is a bunch of savages, and it looks like we have an escapee. So we're going to have to deal with that right away. I have no... How the heck would he have gotten up here? I have no idea, but somehow he made it to the top. Who is this? I wonder who this is, too. Who are you? Frederick! Frederick, what are you doing all the way up here? You should be down in the hole doing your duties. But it took me a whole 109 days in order to get this place done. And after almost ending the series, trying to get all of these guys in place and now realizing that we have a way for them to escape somehow. I think it's time we move on to something a little bit less dangerous. Because there is... There are many of them in here. There's one there. Oh! Listen, spider. We're not friends. And you're not friends with him either. Thanks, Chad. But yeah, after almost ending the series, getting a bunch of these guys in place, I think it is time... Oh, he's... I th is he mad at me? Oh, they're mad at me. Ah! It's time we move on to something a little less dangerous. Sort of. I have mob volume, so... So, yes, there you go. Get down there. Okay, I have no idea how he got out, but... He's back in place. Okay. I thought they would have been not mad at me anymore, but apparently they're still... Must give them more time. 
Now, I have been building a building for so long since I made the raid farm that I am literally, quite literally, completely out of redstone. I mean, we built the guardian farm. We've built the big giant tree farm, the bee farm, the massive, absolutely massive light suppressor up here. We've built the EOL farm, upgraded the shulker farm, um, the obsidian farm. We built the obsidian farm. I built so many farms, and I am literally completely... Oh, I thought I could top gun it. Not completely, but I am running extremely low on redstone. This is all I have right here. And that may look like a lot, but that is not a lot. That'll be gone in one form. And this is my reserve right here. And we are almost completely out of reserve redstone as well, too. So I need to top up on my redstone. And there are a number of ways in order to get redstone, but only a handful of ways in order to get it nice and fast. And I want my redstone fast. So what we're going to do, and I'm thinking, so we're now going to be doing an upgrade to this farm right here. We're going to be retiring the old classic raid farm. This thing right here, this is absolutely glorious, but it is upgrade time. Now, where was that giant mooshroom island that I found? Oh! Oh, I think I, I found it. I think I found it. Okay, everybody, look at the size of this mushroom biome. This is going to be the home. Look at it. It's even got a village. This is the safest village in Minecraft. Look at this iron golem. He's perfectly fine. Look at him. He's never had a day of combat in his life. He's just here, just wandering around, stomping crops, probably. Life is good. They've probably never heard that bell rung before. And I'm sure all of these villagers have never been spooked a day in their life. But unfortunately for these guys, um, the only thing that they are not safe from is me. Because I'll be taking almost every villager. Look at one, two, three, four, five. Five of them are right there. We don't need the green shirt guy, but I'm not going to kill him now because... Yeah. These poor guys here are literally going from one of the, like, safest, most peaceful lives into one of the most terrifying and hostile environments that you could ever create for them. It's going to be devastating. But look at the size of this mushroom biome. I am, I am literally shocked at how enormous this is. It just goes on this way for a little bit, and then it goes on back this way for a little bit. And then all the way, all the way, all the way over here, there's a little, whatever you want to call it in the center, a lake, and there's the end. But it is, it is absolutely enormous. And this is where we're going to build our raid farm, right there in the center of that hole. But I'm actually a turd. I am actually a turd and flew all this way <laughs> without my portal <laughs> box and without my glass box. This is going to be a long flight home. Oh, no. My elytra is definitely not going to make it. Oh, we got a gal head. Okay, well, that should get us home. Look at, look at, it's nighttime. And there's not a single mob, not one. This place is just safe. Okay, we got our glass, but I am officially out of emeralds. But that is okay, because we should literally be drowning in emeralds and redstone by the end of this episode, drowning in them. Okay, and according to math, right here should be where the island is. What? My math is terrible. This is terrible. We... I'm way down in the depths of, and this guy's got full leather armor. Look out. Okay, well, why a portal put us 9,000 feet underground? I have no idea, but I have found grass. Oh. Oh. I literally thought that would be the exit right there. What the? And, oh no, run. And we're back. Okay, I got all the glass that I need. Now I just need to create a platform for me to build on right here. Easy butter, I'll come take that trident from you. I have good luck with tridents, I'll come take it from you. Okay, you're not gonna stop. I'm coming for your trident. Ow. Oh, see, told you I have great luck with tridents and I got his head. If only I could grab all, if only I could grab every single one of those. So, I mean, look at them all. Idiot.
Okay, we got the platform complete and we went ahead and we've got the storage done and the little section here where I am basically just going to be standing right here. Chop, chop. This is an entire row right here of two times speed item sorters. And then beside it, we have double six speed shulker loaders. So these things right here just literally suck in every single emerald that just goes by. I might still put another row in here. I don't know if I'm gonna need it. We're gonna see how many items we pull in because not many items make it past this one row. This just pulls in so many items. But over here, what I need to do is I need to build, look at how fast that piston is. You see that? I need to build an instant redstone line right here, all the way up to like sky limit. All the way up there, it's gotta go, I don't even know, so high. All the way, way, oh, this is gonna be a nightmare. I, I think I need to go get some scaffolding. And you guys thought that lava costing, you guys thought that lava costing was ugly? Oh, wait till you see how ugly this thing is. <laughs> it is so ugly. This thing is so ugly. But it's done. And look at look at we got the killing chamber all done down here. We've got the spawning platform done. And check this out. Instant redstone wire. That allows us to be able to cycle the bad omen that we're gonna get from this farm all the way up to the top and just get unlimited raids. But there's the raid farm, all done and complete. So we are ready to just start pulling in 207,000 items per hour. I have another version that does 400,000 items, 437,000 items per hour, but my PC can't handle it. So we're sticking with this one. The only thing I need to do now is I need to make a couple of, what do I need to do? I need some armor stands because I need to put one armor stand right there and another one right there. Yep, that's it. The only thing I need to do is just go around and make sure because I can already tell. Oh, no, wait. No, there is glass above these ones. I need glass above every single solo block that you can see around this farm because if not, a raid will spawn on top of it. But it looks like I have covered. Yep, I've covered everything. Okay, I just need to clean all of this up and then we need to go and get ourselves. Bad Omen, we got to get Bad Omen. We're not coming back here without it. And then, oh, ladies and gentlemen, 207,000. Oh, and we got to load these suckers up with empty shulker boxes, too. I almost forgot about that. Look at, I know you hate me, but, um, I hope we see each other again, okay? Okay, Chuck and the boys, I'm about to embark on something. I know. I hope I see you again, sir. Can you guys even hear me right now? Probably not. I'm just taking a quick walk around and a quick look at everything because... <laughs> but let's go. I'm pretty sure I've got everything all done and ready. Let's go get some bad omen. Actually, first... Let's stop here at the guardian farm. Okay, that's enough that we can officially... They're not even getting fancy names anymore. This one's just named bow number three. Come here, banner guy. Oh, we're gonna get Bad Omen right away this time too, because there goes a banner guy. And there's our Bad Omen. There's our Bad Omen too. Okay, I came out of there with 
Bad Omen 5. The only thing, that means the only thing we're doing now is running the raid farm. That's the only thing we're doing from this point out. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. You don't even scare me. Looks like we're running this at nighttime, everybody, or unless I'm gonna stand here and wait. You know what? I'm gonna stand here and wait. Oh man, you scared me. What are you doing way out here? You guys come out this far? You're like the local pizza delivery. Oh, oh. Oh. If you could just stay there, that would be great, sir. Thank you. All right, the sun's beginning to rise. I think it's time. I'm excited and nervous all at the same time. Okay, I'm still standing down here because I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous, but we're going for it. 200,000 items per hour. Here we <laughs> come. Okay, I don't know what happened, but the raids didn't start. I think it's because I have frog lights up there on the base where they spawn, see right there, instead of like stone. So I am just gonna trade those out really quickly to see if it has a difference. Okay, well, since the raid didn't start, that gives us a chance to actually do one simple thing here. I am going to make myself a runway. Right here, I made myself a little runway. So now the second I step off of this platform, I think it's right here. One, two, three, four. I'm not even gonna count it. I'm pretty sure it's right here. Either way, the second that I step off this runway right now, we are going to activate the raids. So now what I'm gonna do, hopefully I got this right. We're gonna go get Bad Omen one more time and hopefully this works. Hopefully I got this in the right spot. Okay, there's our bad omen. Now let's get this thing activated. Hopefully it's nighttime again. Of course it is. Yep, there's our raid activating. We're not gonna hit the button this time. We're gonna let it rack up a little bit and then slice. Okay, and I can hear the thing going. I can hear raid members. Oh buddy, it might be working. Believe it or not, I can actually look up and run this farm too, so we're gonna see. Oh, I hear it. Oh, I see them. Everything seems to be working. Out, run for your life. Run for your life, I've got my timings wrong somewhere. Vex, my nemesis, we meet again. We had a hundred of you spawn on the last one and we've got a number of you again on this one. But look it. It's working. Look at all of the stacked raid members up there. Try me, try me. Watch this. We're gonna cycle them all down. Here they come. There they are. Look at them all. Nice try. You wish you could hit me. We need to cycle them again. Cause I gotta get rid of these guys in order to adjust my timings. Cause this is sad. Look at, we've got, it happened again. Look at them all. Why does this, why does this happen to me? Look at them all. Everybody just go away. Whoa. One of them set me ablaze. Okay, everybody down here has been cleaned up. What a nightmare. Somewhere, I don't even know. I'm gonna have to go and check. Somewhere, I've got my timing set off wrong. Okay, well, good to know that the farm works. Um, I just have to go check my timings. I'll be right back. Um. Uh... This one right here, that's supposed to be on the first one. There's my screw up. Okay, we're going to get Bad Omen again for the third time. Third time's a charm. I double checked all my blocks to make sure that nothing could spawn on them, but I didn't double check my redstone timings. I'm an idiot. Okay, there's our Bad Omen. Hopefully Hero of the Village doesn't interfere with it. Okay, and as the sun rises, third time's a charm. Let's go. Yep, I hear the raid starting. Everything looks smooth and flawless. Wait for the second wave. It takes a couple of waves to build. Yep, I'm pretty sure we got the timings right.
Oh yeah, look at those waves coming down. I've got my timings right. 202 to 207,000 items per hour. Here we come. Oh no, everybody. Look it. I screwed up. I forgot to put ice right here. And literally every item in the game is just building up. Okay, but now that we know that it works, and look at how many mobs that we spawn in here. I mean, I'm getting a total of 13 frames per second. I mean, seriously. Look at how many mobs. are just sitting in here. <gasps> I almost ended the series. I almost ended the series. I almost ended the series. I'm just sitting in here. <gasps> I almost ended the series. Idiot. Okay, but now that I've run it forward just a little bit, and it works, and I'm perfectly safe. I mean, I'm using it with an elytra and no beacon. Now what I need to do is... <laughs> I have to set up item sorters. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of each of the items that I am going to try and sort here. And I have gotta get these item sorters set up and ready to go here. Okay, now that only took an hour and 20 minutes, but the storage system is finally all sorted out and ready. We also have all of our shulker boxes here in place. There's the dispenser down underneath there that has more. Now it is officially Tom. We've done the preliminary test to see if the farm even works and it does. Now it's officially time to run this and see how many emeralds we get in a short amount of time. But most importantly, how much redstone we get. I am just, I'm literally only here for the redstone. That's it. And hopefully we're drowning in it after this. So, okay, and we're here to get bad omen. One last time and let's do this. I'm not stopping this form until I'm drowning in emeralds and redstone. And I'm missing a looting three book, so I'm literally... The Snitherite sword I just made for this farm is completely useless. Let's go. Oh, buddy, we've been we've been at this for literally about five and a half minutes and we are about to breeze by a hundred levels Look at this thing incoming Ninety nine here it comes here it comes A hundred levels like nothing. Oh my goodness Okay, it's only been 10 minutes, but I had to, I have to stop for a second and just check and see. Look at this. <laughs> 10 frames per second. Oh no. And something went wrong with my storage system. Every hopper and every chest is just filled with a little bit of everything. It was working for a little bit. Oh my god, even the 6x shulker loader is just full. Oh no. Oh no. The farm works just fine. But I completely... I completely screwed up my storage system. I'm just gonna hang out down here in my little cave and cry for a little bit. It's all gotta go. All of it. I can barely see. It's like three frames per second. Well, that only took two hours, but uh, we at least have everything 
completely sorted. No. And I decided to add on a little bit more storage because I forgot that. <laughs> We're collecting mob heads in the game, so I need a little bit more storage in order to add them in here too as well. But basically, we're good to go. I've already tested it too to make sure that everything is running pretty much flawlessly and look at the amount of emeralds that I already have. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous already. And as you can tell by that little clip, I had to burn some, but we are ready. We can officially go. Oh, <laughs> we I amended my little screw up, but we can go and get Bad Omen now one last time. And this thing is good to run. Okay, there's our bad omen, and let's do this. My little screw up costed me a bunch of time. I mean, I'm not tracking the days on this one, but we're on, oh my God, 2,246, ladies and gentlemen. But now it is time, it is officially time. It is officially, officially, officially time. Storage system is completely done. We've got our bad omen. I'm just gonna rip this for about an hour, and we're gonna see. We are going to see. Okay, the only thing I'm at risk of dying from is hunger, but buddy, we are so close to 200 levels. Look at this. We're so close. And it hasn't even been an hour yet. Okay, 199. Can we breach 200 before we get to hunger? Oh, so close. We're about to take some hunger damage. No! 200. 200 levels, everybody. Amazing. Okay, but with the 200, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna fly away because it has just about been an hour. And look at my inventory. Oh, look at my inventory. I can't wait to see what the chest looks like. Okay, everybody's all clear. Let's just flush the system a couple of times. System has been flushed. I need to figure out where these saddles are springing out from because there's a couple back here too as well. So that means that I missed a block and... Oh, wow, there's way too much there. But let's just see. Okay, down here, hopefully. Okay, phew. I don't know what happened, but the 6x shulker loader, um, something screwed up. And it is full of emeralds instead of shulker boxes full of emeralds. But that's okay. That was okay. I don't care much about that. Oh, my goodness. But how much? Oh, yes. Look at how much redstone I have. This is amazing. That is how much redstone was in there in literally only like 50 minutes of AFK time. That is insane. And look at all the sugar that we have. Look at all the extra gunpowder that we have. Look at the glowstone. Look at the spider eyes for brewing. Even more emeralds. But let's just see. Oh my god, look at how many evoker heads that we have. Look at how many vindicator heads that we have. And hopefully, because I didn't hook up any redstone down here... Yes. Look at all the totems. And it's pretty obvious going through here that I think I need another item sorter for spider eyes, gunpowder, and that's it. Because some of those are sneaking through the system, but oh buddy. I'm pretty sure I got a hopper feeding into the wrong direction on both of these things, but it doesn't really matter because look at this. Are you guys ready for this? That's what I got from this farm in literally less than an hour. And combine that with what I managed to actually capture from earlier. Look at we are literally, we're drowning in redstone blocks and emerald blocks now. Okay, we got our beacon all in place and a check. So now we can pretty much just run this thing. 
forever. I could just run this thing until I am so rich. Because if you actually thought that I was just going to come for this much redstone and then call it a quits, you're crazy. I want at least a shulker box full of redstone block. But there it is. This is one of the greatest farms I've ever built in Minecraft. Shout out to the, the stacking raid farm community. Bad Omen is a check, and we officially got our regen. I, <laughs> the next time you guys see me, I'm gonna be so rich. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be just so rich. That's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. <laughs> nope. And oh my god, I think I have finally- I think I did it. I think I did it. So last episode, <laughs> if you guys- <laughs> Look at them all. Everybody just go away. Whoa! I put together this incredible piece of engineering. And I set out on one mission. The mission was to have a full shulker box full of redstone by the end of this thing. And I mean, Fight. all of this is emeralds right here. Every single one of these things is just completely full <laughs> of emeralds. This farm is crazy. It is absolutely crazy. But now it is time because the original mission for this farm was to set out and try to get a full shulker box full of redstone block. And I have only run this farm for about 50 minutes. I mean, it was running so smoothly that I even had the confidence to just... I walked away. I walked away. Okay, I am leaving. I am... I am leaving. Please don't die. Stay alive. But I've only been running this thing for about another 52 minutes and it's time to start putting together some redstone because I have... Uh... Okay, that was a lot of redstone, but look at this. I've done it! I have officially done it. I have a full shulker box full of redstone block. And while this is great, this is fantastic, I now have, I mean... Ah! I now have the daunting task of turning every single one of these emerald boxes here into emerald blocks too as well. Because there's no way I'm just gonna allow these emeralds to just occupy this many shulker boxes, even though I have unlimited of these too. Actually, you know what? They're staying just like that. But this is great. I finally have enough access to redstone that it's almost like going into the creative mode menu. It's just... And if I need more, it's quite literally just... It's three minutes. Watch this. I'm doing this for all you people that are new here this episode. If you guys missed last episode, go back and check it out. All we do is fly back here. Pop on over to the Bad Omen Farm, which is just a three flyer work fly. Grab ourselves one thing of Bad Omen. Fly back this direction. And no joke, just like this, we are farming even more redstone. So if we ever run out, I'm pretty confident we're never going to run out of emeralds, but if we ever run out of redstone, it is quite literally this simple. And here they come. It's quite literally that simple to be pulling in even more emeralds and redstone. So if we ever run out, it's like, I lied, that was like 45 seconds to get this thing started. But look at all of those items just flowing through back there. I absolutely love this farm, but my computer absolutely hates it, and so does... Uh, I mean, just look at that. That's insane. But there's one thing about redstone. There's one simple thing about redstone, is that it is almost nearly useless to you, unless you have some quartz. So here's what we're doing for this episode. You see this thing right here? This thing that looks like it's like straight out of a Star Wars movie? We are going to be upgrading this farm because something has happened to it where it has gone from literally like this thing used to pull in so much gold to now I don't even know what it does. See, look at they kind of like stop and even when I start to kill them, I'm not sure what happened, but this thing used to rip. So what we're going to be doing is we are going to be upgrading this stupid farm right here. 20 layers, 20 layers. There's 20 layers here that it's and it's just one of those, it's, it's, a, it's suddenly one of the slowest farms. It's one of the slowest farms in my hardcore world. 20 layers. So we're upgrading this. And 
this stupid little bartering farm right here. I shouldn't say stupid because just four or five of these guys pump out so much materials. So we're giving all of this, we're giving all of that an upgrade. 20 layers. 20 layers. And it's like one of the weakest producing farms in my hardcore world. <laughs> I should be getting 90,000 items per hour from that farm, no matter what, and it is not giving me 90,000 items per hour at all. There is just none. Okay, but hello, villagers. I know, you guys are excited because guess what I brought you? Your paychecks. I brought you your paychecks, boys. Each one of you gets a shulker box full of emeralds right here. Thank you so much, yes. Yes, thank you so much for your quality workmanship. Yes. Your work is phenomenal, and your glass, your glass output has been absolutely endless. I thank you for your service. Pan man. Huh. Apparently my bamboo is not good enough. Huh. And you wonder why. Hello, Chuck. Oh my- Chuck, 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 Chuck. I thought we talked about this. You and your buddies. Hmm? What the- wait! Hmm. Um, gentlemen, the point is to be staying inside the zoo. So if you could please maybe just... Yeah, fall back down in your hole, thank you. I need to figure out where these guys are escaping from. Chuck's friends somehow manage to escape from the enclosure in the zoo. This is ridiculous. Let's see what this guy's doing. Is he going for the cow? He's going for the cow. They're trying to kill the cow. Okay, but for this one, luckily enough for me, um, a lot of the materials, in fact, all of the materials are already right here. But for me to truly have unlimited redstone, which has been my goal for the last two episodes, this dumb thing needs a complete overhaul. So for now, I gotta start. Right here, we're tearing this stupid thing down. Oh my god, this is gonna be... Maybe I should get a beacon going. No, we'll be alright. I should probably go get my Frostwalker boots. Frostwalker! Tear down time. Okay, honestly, this glass, um, all of that is taking way too painfully slow to try and remove right now. So, here's what we're gonna do, everybody. More. I need more. Oh my god, it looks weird coming through that portal in the big giant gold farm not being there. Oh, with the amount of gunpowder I have, I should just make a sand duper and just do this for friggin' everything. Keep her going, TNT. Keep her going. Don't stop. Don't stop. Oh, you would. Go, oh my. It's gone. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. This is so much easier than using a beacon to take. Look, why glass? Why does glass have to be like this? But I'm not going to lie. I'm to the point, too, in this game where... We basically have sacrificial. We have sacrificial beacons. Our emerald count in this game is unreal. So we now have sacrificial beacons. Ah! No! No! This is my one this is gonna be one of my biggest explosions yet, and you are not going to ruin this for me. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um I don't feel bad at all. Please get all of the glass. And it did get all of the glass. I am literally never Oh, I don't know if I should do this. Whatever. Oh, I shouldn't have done it. Oh, I shouldn't have done it. Oh. 
Oh. Okay, and that's all the glass. That is absolutely everything from the gold farm. Torn down and ready. Now the only thing that I have to do is I have to cross my fingers. Is I need to do a little math and I need to see if this, all of this, I need to see if this, because we need to turn that and convert that into the 100k per hour bartering farm. I mean, it just rips. But I need to do some math and see if this thing is definitely going to be low enough in order for us to fit 19. We need 19 layers. Um, math time. And it's not going to fit. I forgot I built this thing up so high that I'm only going to be able to get five, maybe six layers on this gold farm. Which is not enough for what we need. So we're doing a redo. I'm gonna have to redo this whole thing. I kinda wish I just left it as a monument now. I'm an idiot. Now the first thing we need before we start this is some name tags. So if you guys could kindly please earn your paychecks. 40 name tags honestly should do. I think that's gonna be enough piglins for our farm. Because we gotta name tag a lot of piglins for the bartering farm just so that way they don't disappear. And now before I, um, but now that I got these name tags, I need to now build up another bartering farm. And then what I got to do is you see those guys, you see like him right back there, just wandering around like an idiot. I need to get as many of them into the 100k an hour bartering farm as possible. I don't care how many there is, even if we got to do 40, but hold on. I'm acting like I'm going to build that thing right now and I don't even have the materials ready and I'm completely under attack. Save me. You're too kind. But now that I've got some materials, okay, it's time for me to start building. And you guys know me when it comes to farms. <laughs> I go, there's two ways I go about this. I either underbuild and try to make literally the simplest farms in Minecraft, or I overbuild and make the most complicated farms in Minecraft. This one is, this falls into category number two. And you, my friend, you're gonna be the first member of the bartering farm, Steve. Come on, Steve. <laughs> okay, and here it is. It, may, it honestly, it looks a lot more complicated than it is. It really does. But that is it right there. That's what we got for a hundred. I mean, hopefully we can get a hundred out of it. I don't know. I don't even know if the gold farm can keep up with that thing so that it can produce a hundred cams per hour. But we're going to find out. Now what I got to do is you got Steve. We got Steve here. Steve, we need to get him and we need to get a whole bunch of his friends up and into that thing right up there. Literally right down there in this little two by two hole. So what I need to do is I need to one, I need to make a little runway like this. And this is where hopefully we can get them to spawn. And then we could just come down and name tag them. <coughs> Stupid piggies. And here is the plan. I am simply going to fly up, fly, fly up. I am literally just gonna fly up, maybe hover for like a little bit. I don't know. But see, there's one. We did this before and it literally took me like 15 minutes just to get three piggies. So I am anticipating this to take not very long at all because we already have one, two, let's go. Guys, am I wearing gold? I'm not wearing gold. Guys, I'm right here. Jeff, Carl, quit talking with each other. Why is he, what is going on here? Oh, oh, we're, we're having a race now. Ow! Okay, see, he's not wearing. And why are you going up there? What have I done? Come on. Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. I forgot to put trap doors down here. Hang on. Look at me. I have just, I have already begun this. And already, it is chaos. This is literally my life. Well, now this isn't good. We have two named piggies. Where did they go? Did they really die from just that one little fall? Oh my goodness. Come on. No, no, just another step. Yes, thank you. Okay, Karen. Who's next? Hello. Thank you. Well, that's two down. <laughs> 35 more to go. Okay, we've got 18. 
18 left to go. Oh my god, we hit the jackpot on this one. Look at them all. Oh no, how am I gonna name tag this many? I don't even know how I'm gonna do this. We're gonna see. One. Oh, this is... Hi. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. And oh, oh no, I've done it. One. Let's go. Two. Let's go. Let's go. No, no, no. Name tag. Guys. No, no, no. I didn't name tag you. Oh, we almost died. Oh, come on. Please follow me. Did I get you yet? No, I didn't name tag that guy. It's okay. We lost a few of them. Whoo. But oh my, we already have. I don't even know. How many name tags did I have? Because I have this, and then I had to kill two. Where am I? Oh, no. Because we had this many name tags. We had that many name tags, and only two have dropped. So, I honestly, I wonder if that's going to be enough. There is a lot of them in there. Okay, I can't seem to get anybody else to spawn. This is starting to get annoying. I think I have way too many. I think I have way too many in the system already. Because ain't nobody spawning. Literally not a soul will spawn over there. Yes, this is rather annoying. Okay, I have 12 name tags left. 12 minus 40, or however many I had. I don't even know. All I know is that there is a good number of piggies in there. Okay, but now that these guys are in place, it is time to go on mission compress mode. I need to get some glass on top of these guys, and then I need to get it pressed down over their heads to kind of stop them from... See how they're like wiggling around and doing all that right there? We need to stop them from doing that. And that is literally as simple as that right there. Okay, and with those guys all compressed in place, now we have one final thing that I need to do. Clear all the glass out from this little area here. We need a gold pressure plate right there. Another couple of blocks and we are officially ready. So that right there, that is the 100k items or 100k thousand, whatever. I just said that. So now what's going to happen is basically the gold farm is going to go above this. All of the items are going to drop down into this little two by one section right here. Get sent across this way. Get sent across this way. Across this section right here. These two double speed item sorters right here are going to pull in every single gold ingot that goes by and then feed it into the piggies. And the rest is going to drop down here and get filtered basically back through and into the item sorter system. It looks complicated. It's not really, but it kind of is. I need a piece of string here and here in front of this guy. But other than that, oh, it's time to rip this gold farm. And do you guys remember last episode when I said that I would pretty much be out of redstone in one farm? Well, I'm out of redstone. I have, I think, enough. I might have enough repeaters to finish the gold farm. We're going to have to see. Okay, the gold farm is officially done. It is done. But I'm back here. I'm making up some fire resistant potions here to take back to the nether. Because in order to get this thing to run, I mean, most of you guys know. But I just built a gold farm that is going to require me to do a massive amount of despawning. So I'm grabbing some fire resistant potions. I've got some wood in order to make buttons. Wood buttons don't burn in the nether, do they? But I've got my buttons and I'm going to bring along a whole bunch of buckets. Because that is quite literally the easiest thing to use to despawn a large flat surface.
And as you can see, I've already got a little started. This is why I went back and got all of my fire potions because this I mean, I already I already killed myself once doing this. That never happened. So good to go. Now I just gotta look quite literally, like I said, I need lava for all the big giant large see like look at that. Why does lava do that? There we go. Lava for all the large giant flat surfaces. And then I gotta put all these buttons on here. I highly doubt that I highly doubt that that's even gonna be enough buttons. You know what else I should have brought with me? Speed potions. We'll do that when I have to go refill. Pickaxe is almost dead. Elytra. Elytra is almost dead. And that little time lapse, I mean, I've, I've been here three hours. This has been two separate trips in order to get this thing done. But look it. It looks like, literally, it looks like scorched earth down here. Look at this. It's kind of crazy. So all I'm doing now is just going around and basically, excuse you, do not. How dare you. And other than getting like a little few, a couple little spots like this, I have gone through <laughs> 22, 22 fire resistant potions in order to do this. I just have a few stupid little spots like this in order to clean up because lava, lava is just so weird. Ah, ah! Three totems and 22, three totems <laughs> and 22 fire resistant potions. This has been, this was a ridiculous, Despawning is ridiculous, but we're almost there. We are all we're so close. Look at there's a couple spots that I just got to get The trick is landing in these spots without burning to death. Oh Here goes another totem Stop it. We are almost done. I am certain I am 100% certain that there's like a cave or something that I missed somewhere because obviously I can't get like inside the walls, but uh, but there's like a little nether. I think it's right here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. What did I do to you? Did I look at you? Ah! I must have looked at him. See, I missed a whole bunch down here. That I need to get and I think there's a bunch over there that I missed too But we're so close to being out of wooden buttons, and I don't want to do another trip back. They don't spawn on the trees do they? You know what? I'm covering the trees anyways Okay, but you know what I'm calling it at that I think that might be hopefully we've done enough if not whatever I'll have to spend another hour just going around But I think this might be good. We're gonna have to go and see We're gonna have to go and see. I'm really scratching my head right now Wondering if I've done enough or if I should just go back to despawning gold farm because the real question is <laughs> Are those the rates when I'm standing right here? And those are the rates when I'm standing right here Honestly, that doesn't look like it's max Potential for gold, but you know what? I think I gotta leave it at that. It should be a little bit more consistent than that, but honestly, I think that's gonna be enough to keep up with the bartering farm. So now what I need to do, what do I have to do now? The only thing I have left to do now is, oh wait, before we run this thing, I'm an idiot. I've run out of wood and hoppers. I need to finish the storage system here really quickly. And then we should be good in order to start just ripping this thing and seeing all the emeralds come out. Clearly I have a few issues with spawning too, so I need to go and grab some leaf blocks. Oh, you just blew up so many items. I am so mad at you. 
Okay, storage system is all done. I even extended it a few here because I think, I don't know, we're not to see. But these here are two times speed item sorters, so these should be able to keep up with a lot of the items that do come through here. So I'm only gonna do two for nuggets. If we need more, we need more. Okay, all the item sorters are set up and ready to go. I've got all the items in here. I mean, we are collecting everything pretty much except for like the, the useless bottles and what else? Obsidian, because I have so, I have so much obsidian. Look, we're not even gonna capture any from this. Get out of the way! Steve. But for now, I gotta go and get myself a leaf block. One single leaf block. And then I am gonna run this farm until I am so rich on gold. As rich on gold as I am on emeralds and redstone. And then I'm gonna use all this gold to build something, something so sick. Something so sick that is so, it is so deserving. And there, everything should still function perfectly fine with that, hopefully. If not, what, you know what? Let's do this. I can't even speak. I'm so excited right now. Look at them just dropping in. We are going to do a test of the system. Okay, we did a little test on the system and everything seems to be working as it should. So now the only thing I need to do is just run this thing and see if it's fast enough. I mean, look at those rates though. I think this thing's going to be fast enough. I need a lever right here though. I just realized that. And that is so that I can turn this thing into a one-hit kill. Look at them all. Hello. Oh, it works wonderfully. Oh my gosh, I thought I maybe had put that in the wrong spot, but it works wonderfully. My elytra's already repaired. Time for us to do the pickaxe. Okay, but I gotta turn everything on. Um... Lever number one. I need to put all this on a one lever system, but that just makes it even more complicated. Lever number two. Activate the bartering farm. Okay, everything is working wonderfully here. And last but not least, the pusher system for the item sorters. Oh, look at the items go. Okay, but with everything working, I've got one mission and one mission alone right now. Time for me to AFK here and make myself entirely, oh, just get so, I'm gonna get so rich with gold and quartz. I mean, let's not forget the main reason that I'm here for is quartz for the unlimited redstone. Hey everybody, what's up? It's Chapman here. And on this episode, actually, you know what? I'm not even gonna do that because this one, it's taken me three. It's taken three whole episodes to get here. And honestly, this entire episode has been a disaster. So 50 or whatever, the 70, oh I just started a raid over top of my villager breeder. I've just got to get to editing, but look it, I did it. One, two. I know, buddy, look at where I am. I'm over at the EOL farm. I'm doing some upgrades to the filter system on the gold farm because I'm getting a little bit of a backup. So I decided to come here to grab some amethyst shards. And now I'm sad that I came here to grab some amethyst shards. I still can't believe that this thing doesn't work anymore. So much work for such a small circle. And unfortunately for these things, the portals themselves are putting out a light level of 11. So there's no way for me, there's no way for me to be able to fix this. I mean, I'll try later, but I came here to grab some amethyst shards. Because these guys are coming in so fast that I gotta do a little bit of an upgrade. There's so much backup. So I've gotta put in a system here that could get rid of all of the items that these guys produce. It does not help at all either that I collect mob heads. It just creates more. <laughs> what is happening right now? Why are you doing this to me?
Okay, I got the upgrades done and I also ran the gold farm for a little bit and it actually works pretty good. I also know that I did very well on my despawning because after about an hour, I had some insane backup and this little system right here, that little layout, that thing, apparently that setup right there, that is spitting out 87,000. Where am I? 87,000 items per hour. So that is how I know that my despawning mission was a success. Okay, but I'm not spending any more time there because I have spent so much I mean, I'm coming back with two full shulker boxes full of quartz, two full shulker boxes full of blackstone, that much leather, that much string, that much whatever it is, but most importantly, the first wave of gold. I need so much gold for my gold project. I need these, but now on to mission number one. This episode's like a massive upgrade episode. We've got to go over, we already did the gold farm, but now what I need to do is I need to go over and I need to upgrade the raid farm. I literally just built it. Where am I? But I need to shuffle a couple of villagers around because right now I am only getting 200,000 items per hour. And if I just shuffle the villagers around a little bit, I can get it all the way up to 250. So I need to check all of the positions of these villagers and see where they are exactly. It's mainly that guy right there. We might have to move him two or three blocks over. Okay, I need to move him over to here. So I got to push him two blocks this way and then two blocks this way. And this should be easy enough. I just don't want this guy to escape at all. Okay. No! Okay, Composer is in the right place. Now we just need to get Buddy in the right place. Come on, Buddy. Yes. 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 First the mine cards and now you. And he's in there. Get in, stay. That guy's a jerk. Okay, but we got the villager in place. Now I just need to go down and quickly check all the other guys because hopefully, I mean, I don't think they matter too much. All I know is that that guy right there, once I got him into the very specific position, man, this thing just started pumping out the items. And I'm not really even going to be able to tell if I am getting any faster rates on this thing because I can't hook up any, like, thing to track items. So I'm just going to have to pay attention to see if I'm actually burning items away. And if I'm burning more emeralds than I'm taking in, then I've definitely increased the rates of the farm. But I definitely have to. I have to reload this right here because these things are out and I can just hear it right now. When this thing runs out of shulker boxes, a nightmare begins. But seriously, I have like 16 shulker boxes full of emeralds. And look at how many emerald blocks I have. This, this farm was already insane. Why did I just do that? I don't know, but I'm going to get Bad Omen. Actually, I'm going to get 17 more shulker boxes. And then I'm going to get Bad Omen. Okay, but our shulker boxes are full. Now it's time for... Go grab Bad Omen and let's see. Honestly, there's 42 shulker boxes inside that system right now. If I get 42 shulker boxes full of emeralds, we might just have to start a new world. Oh, another thing that I want to do over there. I want to throw a whole bunch of villagers beside me and see if they will throw me items while the stacking raid farm is working. But if we can get all the hero of the village items as well as the emeralds and the redstone and everything, I mean, man, all of that combined, we're like literally unlimited items. Oh, sorry guys, is my lava setting you guys on fire? Bad omen. Okay, moment of truth. Did I upgrade it? Or did I break it? Something tells me I probably broke it. Let's go. I don't know, that started pretty early. Something tells me I broke it. Oh, I hear raid members. Oh, we got more waves. I think I did it. Now I am just going to literally just run this for like another hour and I'm going to see. Hopefully, I mean, look at them coming down. I think we upgraded it. Okay, I can tell by the time lapse. I was definitely burning some emeralds. So what I did is I went ahead and look at we added one, two, and look at how many emeralds were slipping by the system. So, uh, yeah, we definitely increased the rates of this farm. And in that little bit of time, we managed to capture, look at this, that much redstone. Like, that was literally, like, four and a half, five minutes. But look it. There's six of them in that one. 
We got 10 full chakra boxes. We got 10 full chakra boxes of emeralds. In literally like four and a half, five minutes, maybe six minutes. This thing, this farm is insane. I have to flush it now. It's my favorite thing. And man, you guys got a much cleaner and much simpler design than what I gave myself. But now that I know that that works, I need to go and find another village now. I raided every villager from the safest village in Minecraft, and now it is the most deserted village in Minecraft. There is nobody around but an iron golem. And it seems like they have even wandered off to try and find out where all of their friends went, and let's just hope they don't make it all the way to the lake, or I'm a dead man. I need to go find a new village though. Nice, and I found one. But an ocean monument stands between us and our destination. This is not, this is not ideal. Get away from us. Villager number one, we're gonna turn this guy and another person into a villager breeder. And we are gonna park 30 villagers in the raid farm and we're gonna see how many items we get from them. And there is villager one. Let's go get villager two. He really shut that door behind him on the way out. Villager 2. Okay, and there is Villager 2. Now I just need to go and grab some crop items in order to turn them. Well, I want this to be automatic, so... Okay, we got our crops. Oh, I made it in and out. Now I just gotta set these villagers up and we are good to go. There is the field part all done. As ugly as it may be, I really don't care right now. Because it's only been like five minutes and I have got myself a villager breeder. Actually, where's the sun? Ten minutes. It's been ten minutes and I have a villager breeder. Beds, please. Everybody, anybody, please. Buddy, you are trapped. Let me, let me let you out. And then I am going to take your pee bed. Don't panic, don't panic. I just hit the wrong button. I'm sorry, everybody. Beds have been acquired. Beds are in place. I just need some trap doors now, and then we are pretty much in business. Now, first things first to get these guys in place, we need trap doors there. And then I'm just going to place one bed right here in the corner, and another one right here in the corner. Okay, and now hopefully, these guys should just pass by into the beds up there, and then go and take a nap. Get up there. I see you. What are you doing? And I think, no joke, other than throwing these guys some food, that's it for the villager breeder. Bed one, bed two, bed three, and there, in a matter of 15, 20 minutes, we've got ourselves a villager breeder. And they're already throwing items to each other, which is absolutely fantastic. So we are going to have new villagers here. I mean, I can already hear, oh my gosh, I can already hear. Literally by the next morning, we have villagers. Yep, we've already got brand new villagers. Okay, we gotta let all these crops grow up. And I just threw them together with a simple little dispenser system now. Carrots are in, but I'm not waiting around for that. I'm gonna go raiding until I have 900 villagers, or at least enough to give me so many, all the items. I want all the items. And then I am jumping over to see, and I'm crossing my fingers, if that EOL farm still works. If the EOL farm still works, you know how happy I'm gonna be? Whatever. I'm going to farm until I got at least 10 villagers over there. And if we're only getting one a day, that means 10 days of raid farming. I'm gonna be so rich. I wonder how many levels I'll have by the end of this.
550. 550 levels now. This is actually kind of insane. Oh, there they are. Run for your life. Never double swipe. Never double swipe. Because the whole crew will just come after you now. <laughs> Miss me. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, let's go over here and see. Do I have Bad Omen right now? No, I don't have Bad Omen. But let's see how many villagers we have inside the thing. We should be like, oh my gosh, I still gotta just run. I just gotta run. You guys wanna battle? Fine, we'll battle. Ooh, let's go. Oh, you give up that easy, do you? Okay, fine. How many villagers do I have? Oh my gosh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There might be 15 plus villagers in there. I have no idea. This is insane. Because I can see ones jumping inside other ones and... Impressive. Impressive. Yeah, throw me all the items in the world. See, this is exactly why I want villagers over there with me at the farm. If it'll even work. Because I have no idea. They're literally right there with the raid and I'm right there. Oh, but I didn't actually even think this through. I didn't even think this through. The plan was to literally stick them right... Why is my inventory full? But I wonder if having these villagers right here is actually going to mess with the raid farm and how it starts and how it runs. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to bring one villager over right now and then run it and we are going to have to see. But I got to show you guys something, okay? I don't even know how long that time lapse was. It was a long time. But look at this. Remember how I said that the system breaks when you run out of, well, I've run out of shulker boxes and the entire system is filled with emeralds. This is on both sides. This is on both sides, but not only that, look at the amount of shulker boxes full of emeralds that I have. I'm literally okay with never having to collect any more emeralds ever again. And the system's full, and I have like 18 shulker boxes full of emeralds over at the thing already. We definitely upgraded this farm. It is a little, it might just be a little too fast now. Because look at all the redstone. I am just good to go. I am good to go. Spider eyes are filled to the top. Glowstone's filled to the top. Gunpowder's filled to the top. Sugar is filled in both of them. I have two and a half stacks of witch heads, which are the hard ones. Those are the hard ones to get. I mean, look at how many evoker heads I have and look at how many vindicator heads I have. But I only have two and a half stacks, not even two and a half stacks of witch heads. I don't understand it. I'm getting one of these villagers over here and in place. This is going to be the test. Is any of this going to work at all? Or does having these guys here screw up the farm? Hopefully it doesn't. If this villager would just cooperate, where are you going? There is literally land right here, you idiot. Now you're going the opposite direction? Listen, kid. You're literally about to get executed for treason. You're getting me angry and I'm gonna have to push the boundaries. You're gonna make me push the boundaries to what is socially acceptable in video games. Don't throw me your flowers now. It's too late for that. Get up here. No. What is that? You're swimming? I've never seen a villager swim before. That kid just swam. You might be the most frustrating villager I've ever come across in Minecraft. This is all I'm saying. You might literally... You might be... You might be the one... Okay, whatever though. The kid's in place. Now we just need to, I guess, just wait for him to grow up. Okay, my emerald game is seriously on point. That's a shulker box full of emerald blocks right there. I'm pretty, I'm pretty pumped about that. And I still have this. Look at that. And this one. This is literally, <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> this is insane. But it is so fun. And hey, wait a minute. It's about time, bud. It's about time you showed up. Where did my trapdoor just go? It's gone. Wait a minute, what is... It's back. Bounce up a little higher. What the heck? Good enough. 
Take your mason's trade. I have emeralds that I can give you for that. Thank you. Okay, you're locked in now. And yoink. Finally, that only took literally 20 minutes. Okay, cross your fingers, everybody. Cross your fingers. Because with this works, with the raid farm at 250, the gold farm at at least 87, so we're doing 90,000. That's 340. If we can get like the 50 or whatever, the 70, oh sh I am an idiot. I just started a raid over top of my villager breeder. Why did I do this? Oh, are you trapped down there? Sorry to hear that, bud. Give me your head though. I can't believe I did that. I just wasted a raid. Awesome thing is though, look at I've got another Ravager head to go with the collection though, so. Okay, but let's see if this villager affects the way this farm runs at all. See, look at the raid has already started. I think, I don't think my plan's gonna work. No, see, it's this guy. And that pushes the raid spawn all the way out to there. There's like seven mobs in one thing right there. Buddy, you gotta, oh. <laughs> I just got myself a Mason's villager head. This is disgusting. Okay, well that was literally an entire day and night, like real time and an entire villager breeders waste of time. I don't know why I didn't think about that before I went on this adventure. Well, at least I got some mob heads out of the deal. I'm not gonna lie, that kind of sucks. I was actually, I was actually really looking forward to that. Look at, look at, three. One, two, three Ravager heads. I'm sure there's more, four. Four Ravager heads. Okay, well that was all a disaster. I'm even jumping way ahead here. I've gone all the way over. I've been over to the EOL farm. I'm trying to put a roof on that thing to see if I can try to, it's just, <laughs> oh my God, these guys are ridiculous. It's all been a disaster. The villager, the EOL farm, it has been an absolute disaster. Even my upgrade to the gold farm is barely capable of keeping up with my thing this whole episode. But you know what's not a disaster? My inventory is definitely a disaster. And oh my God, I can't believe it. I left it over there. I, like, I gotta go back to the, I gotta go back to the raid farm. I can't believe I left it over there. I am a disaster. This. At least this is not a disaster. One box of redstone. Two box of redstone. And almost three boxes of redstone. This right here has been a three episode mission for me, but I finally have it. Unlimited redstone. And in this episode, I build one of the greatest storage systems that you can absolutely build in Minecraft. Capable of storing up to every single item in the game. It has over 5,400 filter items in it in order to get those items where they need to go. And it's insane. But honestly, we're not quite there yet. We're not quite there yet. I mean, we're, we're right about right here. And I have a problem. I have a bit of a problem. I have a bit of a problem. Not only do I have an insane, an insane problem starting with shulker boxes, I don't quite yet have a chest monster growing, but I do not want one. But I'm around here doing the rounds, and <laughs> you're never gonna believe it. Oh! We have, look at, there's one right there. We have a whole bunch of escapees. This guy, I don't even know what he is doing, but he is getting dangerously close to the villager breeder and all of our little villagers over there. Look at him, he's about to jump up. I have so many wardens that I have escaped and I need to fix this problem and find out where they are getting, where they are escaping from. And honestly, I didn't even realize, I just realizing right now, I have a shader on. Nice. But I gotta figure out where these guys are getting out and I gotta fix this problem because there's no wildlife left around here. But honestly, like, look at this guy. He's over here. Oh. He's making an, he's made an ink farm for me. Really? This guy's over here collecting black ink for me. What a nice guy. But I gotta solve this problem because yeah, I can't have these guys running around. I mean, oh my God. We can't have this end. We can't, the series, we can't have the series ending like this. Chuck, I thought I told you and your friends to quit messing around around here. Oh God, I'm gonna get what, they're all mad at me. We talked about this, pal. Oh God. I'm out. I'm out. I'm not. I'm not coming back. I'm never coming back here again. I'm leaving. I'm starting a new world, a new base. We talked about this, Chuck. Pan Man is back to being the favorite. Okay, but we gotta fix this problem. We got one guy right here. 
that we've got to try and get inside the thing. And it almost sounds like there's another guy trapped somewhere. Hello. Come on, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, I'm gonna let those guys cool down, and then I have to fix that problem. It looks like it's right there. It looks like they keep getting up right there. I don't know how they're jumping up. Oh, stepping up and then up. I can see it. Why? Why? I'm just trying to contain you. Okay, hopefully that little bit fixes it. Because honestly, you guys are becoming- yeah, you, you. Bubs, you guys are becoming a nuisance. Wow. Okay, well, I am done trying to... I think that's good enough. Okay, well, hopefully that was enough to contain him. But I have another issue now. My shulker box pile, it is slowly... It is slowly starting to grow. And it's getting to the point where I'm just leaving random ones around full of materials. Like, there's one over there, there's another one here, and there. And honestly, as nice and as decent as this storage system has been for me so far, it's just, it's... I can't even remember what I had planned for on the upper side over there. But honestly, it's just way too far. It's way too far away. Like, look at what do I got this for? I don't even know. But it's way too far away from where I mingle and where I do all of my things to even justify having it here right now. Like, we even have, like, a shulker box unloader system underneath the ground right here. But it's just too far away from everything. Like, look at I've even started to build up. I'm just leaving shulker boxes in here. I'm not even putting items away anymore. So what I need to do is I need to definitely 100% upgrade my storage situation right now because I am... Uh, we're going to run into an issue really, really soon. And I don't want no chest monsters. I don't want no shulker box monsters. And I don't want to go back and forwards anymore. Like, I thought I was out of skulk block and I have multiple stacks of skulk block right there. So I need to solve this problem and I need to do it now, especially since I have so much redstone and I don't know where I placed them, but I got two more shulker boxes full. This is what I mean. But I've got two shulker boxes full of quartz somewhere. And I've misplaced them. So I think it's time we start, I think it's time we get ourselves an official storage system. This was the plan for the lower jaw right here. But in order for me to start this, um, yeah. I got a little bit of decorating and a little bit of layout to do. But first... Oh my god, I had a shulker box full of stone and I have no idea where I placed it. I can't live like this anymore! Okay, and honestly, I just went through, um, nearly two shulker boxes full of stone. I'm gonna need a cobblestone and a stone generator just to keep up with the amount of redstone that I'm trying to produce right now. This is... <laughs> insanity. It's pure insanity. I have barely touched my redstone. I've barely touched the redstone reserves and the quartz reserves. I mean, we used up a little... We used up only, like, half a box. And look at the redstone. But that's not all, because I refilled my redstone boxes. The only thing I'm lacking on is some dispensers, because who wants to... Hey, bow and arrows, really? Nah. But we're good. Look at I even got this all ready. So we... Oh, I am so, so high. I'm finally... We are ready. And I've already parked some materials down here in order for me to get started on this. I just need some more coal block. I may have to AFK the Wither Skeleton Farm, but it is painfully slow. So I might just have to upgrade it. But it is time. It's time for me to finally... Storage facility. But first... I need to decorate. Okay, I cleared out a little bit and I got a little bit of the floor done. I haven't quite finished. I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do for the, de the decoration. I need a little bit of bordering and stuff around here. But this is what I've done so far. Not much. I've just cleared a little bit of an area. But now what I need to do is I need to start to set up the storage system. And I think I'm going to have to remove a little bit more plus some trees. But basically the storage system is going to go here. And I need, I need 500, no more. I need almost, I need almost 1500, right? I need about 1500 chests and... That means I'm gonna need... I literally... This is kind of crazy. This is actually crazy. But the plan here is to have one of those giant categorized reloaders that is gonna go right here. We're gonna have a glass floor and then... 
actually, I don't, I don't really want to spoil it. I don't want to spoil it at all. But one thing that I am going to need for this, other than the 1,000 chests, I need like 2,000 filler blocks. I need like 2,000 filler blocks, and I have no idea. I mean, I could use sugarcane. <gasps> I have my filler blocks. But now the plan is we're doing two layers. We're doing two layers. We're going to have an upstairs and we're going to have a basement to this. But other than that, I got to go over here and I need to bring... What is this shulker box? Oh my gosh. And I got to rip this tree farm for a minute because I know that I am going to run out of wood. Okay, we've gathered up all of our wood. I've got four barrels over there that are full, plus the shulker blocks here and half of this one. I've gathered up a whole bunch of glass, plus I've got all our redstone just ready to go. But now I have some, uh, this is probably, this is literally probably going to take like four. I don't even know. This is going to take hours. But I have one main categorized reloader going right here, a big bad boy. And then below me, I've got to dig all of this out. And then I'm putting in another wall of a categorized reloader. I'm actually doing three of them. So I've got a big main categorized reloader and then three, yeah. Redstone like crazy. These are by this guy right here. I'll put them. That's who these things are by. But wish me luck because knowing the way I screw things up, this is... I'm probably going to be here all week. Okay, there is the first set of chests. This is ridiculous. I went through. I went to oh, 20 stacks of logs. 20 stacks of lo logs. Logs for that. Insanity. But now what I got to do is I've got to set myself up a beacon. And then I've got to delete this whole underside right here. Clear myself out of basement. And then I've got to put in two giant walls here along the side. And one back here at the back for all of my rares and everything else that's going to be coming in here. It is absolutely ridiculous. I wasn't lying when I said I'm, I'm going to be... I'm going to be here for a week. <laughs> categorized reloader done and i'm clearing out the basement here so that i can get the rest of it done and look at what just spawned that guy is fully enchanted with a fully enchanted bow Bruh. let's go okay he's still here okay we got him i named him billy and i don't even know why but Look at that fully enchanted with a fully enchanted bow. You just follow me Okay, we got him fully enchanted skeleton with fully enchanted bow What is the what is the rarity on that sucker? I don't even know but he is staying there for now because For one, for one, my storage system is looking sick. Look at all those chests. I am going to be able to sort literally 
every single item, every single item in Minecraft. And because of this thing, I have passed 2,400 days on the world. Look at this, 2,401, 2,401 days. This is madness. But look at this, we almost 2,400 days and we've almost got a proper storage system. <laughs> Seven. See all those chests? We're not even done. Look at, we've put some hoppers in. Seven. Seven barrels full of logs. Seven barrels full of logs. And like seven stacks. Seven stacks. Maybe eight. Possibly nine. Of comparators. This is ridiculous. And I know what you're thinking. Isn't that a little overkill? And the answer to that is there's no such thing. But I'm going to farm some more wood. This is my fourth trip to this farm. Okay, and I legitimately hope that that is the last round. That, that is the last round of chests that I have to make. I gotta turn half of these into hoppers. Now I gotta turn half of these into hoppers. And hopefully that is enough. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to go back underground and tear up another one of my ancient giant beacons. No, I still got this much to go in another... All right, we're going to tear up an ancient iron beacon. Not many of these survived the great reset of 1.19, but there's at least one left, right? Oh my God, what the lag? What is way out of the lag? I have such a beast pussy. Hey. What was that word I just said? Okay, there's no way. I only have the one left. There's absolutely no way. Nope, I see one more beacon way down there, boys. Oh, one iron beacon left. If this thing, if honestly, if this storage system needs any more iron, I am going to upgrade to a 37 pod iron farm because obviously six is not enough okay and other than a couple of hopper chains to connect the outputs to the inputs i'm done and i've got two i've got two stacks and 40 left of hoppers this is yes the only thing left we have now to do other than decorate we got to decorate this place i'm not leaving it like this Time for me to fill all of these large chests with our filters. So each one of these needs literally three, three shears each, and then 55, 55 item filters. So that's 21 times 50 for that one right there. And then 21 times 50, I mean, what have I got myself into? Okay, well, there's the first set of filters. <laughs> Actually, surprised the anvil lasted that long. Help me. Help me, please, help me. Help me. Help me. It has been nine Minecraft days, nine. Nine whole days. But these filters, these filters have been literally, they're like gonna be. But these filters. These filters have been a nightmare. Not only did I accidentally rename half of them the wrong letter, so I had to come back and redo a lot of them. See how they're Emerald F? I accidentally named over half of them Emerald D, which was ridiculous, and then I had to go back and I don't even want to talk about it anymore. But oh my, every filter, every filter. I mean, I've been over to the desert to get some dead bushes, but every filter is ready to go and set up. So we've got all these ones here, all of these ones over here, Everything is primed and ready and if you guys don't know how these item sorters and how these categories reloaders work I don't know either Okay, but basically you put whatever items you want to sort inside one of these chests like that Just one of them you can even do two you can do like one of anything even if they stack to 16 But basically the minecart is gonna pass by this thing notice that it is in that chest and then somehow they end up in the chest down here below you. But I don't even know. This, this is redstone wizardry. Like, look at, look at all this. This is, all of this. All of this is just redstone, redstone wizardry. But oh, buddy, look at this. We have the ability now to, I'm not even joking, store every single item in Minecraft individually, even if we want to in their own chests. Some of them anyways. And I'm not even done with the storage yet. But basically, with everything all done, this is how this system is going to work. So we have four input systems here. There's three of them down in the basement. One below us here, two over there, and then the main one up here. This one here controls basically everything. So I'm going to be able to come in here 
and put a shulker box in here and it is going to empty. You can even do individual items and then they are going to get emptied. Everything from them is going to get sorted and whatever doesn't get sorted in these upper walls right here is going to end up in this back chest. I think it's these last two chests. Nope, but just this last one. And all three of these walls that are below us here are basically the exact same as that system right there. So we can input all of the items get sorted and then whatever's not involved in that sorter is going to end up at the last sorter thing down at the wall there. So what I need to do now is I need to connect basically the last chest that you see in every single thing up to the input chest that you see in every single thing here. Now, as you see, I did a little bit of a boo-boo here and I put the input chest on the wrong side. So that's going to be quite a long run from the end of that chest all the way down to there, but that is okay. That is okay because I'm not doing those right now anyways. Because I am bored. I have literally been doing redstone for almost a hundred. It's got to be a hundred days now. And I notice none of you guys seem to be able to escape anymore. Yeah, it looks like I solved the problem. Kiss my butt. Okay, but it is decor time. I've got to make the theme of this sucker right here blend in with the rest of everything around here. So, white, purple, gold. So if you could please, gentlemen, stock me back up on some glass. And now I'm grabbing my beacon box and I'm grabbing a couple of empty shulker boxes. And I, I gotta kill this guy right here. And let's just see, there's been some scary tales though. Actually, hang on, I'm going to make a backup. Because word has it that, I don't know, 1.19 and these portals are a little funny. Wish me luck. Oh no. Oh boy, am I ever glad that I killed them with her because this is taking 19 years to load. Oh, we got that F3 menu up. Look at zero FPS. Zero. Zero FPS. Oh. Please. Oh. <gasps> I can't shoot arrows. Okay, the game is parsley loaded it what has happened to my end island where's my end island there's my end island what see this is why I made a backup I was scared that something was gonna happen people said that stuff would happen I need to be careful because the game is still not low I am just f floating we might be in we might be in. That took like an hour. I've been sitting here for an hour, scared to death to move because I moved and I didn't want to end up down in the void. But we have arrows flying. Okay. Fireworks are flying. Let's go see if we can make it onto the island. And we did. We're here. That was terrifying. I didn't think... I honestly, I didn't think we were gonna... Oh my. I didn't think we were going to make it through. I thought I was going to have to load the backup and I did not want to have to load the backup. What is down here? <gasps> I'm not going to lie. I forgot this thing existed. Okay, but that's not why we're here. We're going, what's my, okay, we're good. Freedom 2 is good. We are going this direction and you know what? I am terrified. Excuse me while I just fly over the void over top of my dirt path here. But this is why I came all the way to the end or why I wanted to come back here. I need some purr purr. Okay, I got myself some purr purr. That is the second tower that I have torn down. I had to take it down all the way this time. Okay, just spent about an hour over at the gold farm, and now I am officially ready, I think. I've got my purper. I've got a little bit of quartz. I turned most of them into slabs because I just need it for the floor. But now it is time. Now it is time for me. I, I have to try and turn. I have to try and turn this, this, this mess here, this entire mess into a functional, functional mess. And I hardly build. We're pretty bare on builds. But if I can keep this theme going here and how many end crystals do I have left? I wonder how many actually, you know what? That's a storage area. I'm not going to use a crystal down there. That might be. But it is time. It's time for me. Look at this. Look at all this mess. Look at this mess. And I've already tried to clean some of it up. But it's time for us to give all of these shulker boxes a home. That one there behind me a home. That shulker box a home. These three or four a home. And, and, pretty much every item that you see here 
needs a home. And then we're coming back here and we're nuking this place. We're absolutely nuking this place. Wait a second. Oh, that's better. That's better. That's better. We're nuking this place right here. We're absolutely, we're nuking it. 100 plus FPS with shaders on. 80 FPS with shaders on. 100 FPS with shaders on. 80 FPS with shaders on. And it gets worse when we move. I don't know if you guys can even see it, but... Like, look at There were 60. This whole place has got to go. I think it's time I upgraded my map wall, too. We don't even have the... We don't even have the skull on the map. New map wall. But first, time for me to go into builder mode. Okay, full, full time left build on this one, everybody, because look it, I am 30, 30 plus days into just the decorating of this build. This, I am already 100 plus days into this episode alone. But look it, maps in place. I'm still undecided if I'm going to put, uh, if I even want those there. Look at my pillars. Look at my pillars. We're four trips to the gold farm. We've been four trips to the desert in order to get sand for enough of the white around here. And I've almost killed Slick Pick twice. But yeah, um... <laughs> Okay, storage system is officially, it is officially done. Not really, but almost. The only thing I have to start doing now is putting the items inside each of the chests to actually sort those all out. So, I mean, like, well, you can see. See all the lights? See how they're flashing? That is because I put some items in here and they are just shuffling their way around the entire system until they get to the final chest down there. So everything is connected. Everything is good to go. The only thing we have to do now is, like I said, I need to decide which items are going to go where. 
So like if I want my stone to come out, we'll say this chest right here. All we have to do is load one of each item like this inside one of these chests. And then all of those items that are right there will get filtered down into this chest right here below it. So let's say I want stone there. And then I want, we'll say diorite right here. We'll do polished iron. We just literally have to just do that right there. And we can throw any of these stone variants in here now. And all of them are going to get sorted into the two chests that we put over there. And then whatever else isn't in there. So like that's not in there. The quartz isn't in there. All of that is going to get filtered down through the system and then end up at the very end of the chain down there. And then whatever is in this back chest right here, this is what's going to let us know if we need to add it into the filter system. So you can see the lights going across right now. That is the first of the items that are going through in order to get sorted. And it should stop somewhere around here. Yep. So that means that we have diorite coming through. And we do, we have 11 diorite in there already. And now that system is just literally going to repeat itself until all of the items get sorted. And now I don't have anything in there right now because that's like another four hours worth of work, but the storage system is officially done. The only thing I need to do now is I need to literally sort every, every single item in Minecraft. But that's next episode, and I am over 100 days into this episode alone. So, uh, yeah. Ooh, spooky. Well, at least we've recovered. Whoa! Oh, never mind. We have not recovered. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. We're all, we almost ended the series. Okay, no baby zombies yet, but we... We have a... Hey, what's up? It's Chapman here, and I'm here at the storage system collecting... Well, I'm trying to collect every single item in Minecraft, but that's a whole nother video. But you guys know what today is, and it's nighttime. Let's go see if we can find ourselves a jackal. Look at it. Is there one right there? Nope, he's got a leather helmet. Hey, Chuck, what's up? But let's go see if we can find ourselves a couple of jack-o'-lantern guys. Silly me, forgot to bring a bunch of name tags along with me. But for those of you that don't know, on Halloween, when Halloween comes, you can actually get your hands on a few rare mobs in Minecraft, and I... Ah, well, let's go see if we can find them. Okay. I have so much terraforming I need to do around here. I have been in this world for so long, I gotta stop farming. Okay, but let's go see. Here is the plains. This is probably our best bet in order to try and find some... What the... What was that? Oh my gosh. Let's not let that happen again. And what is that guy? Oh, he's gold, but he's not enchanted gold. But let's see if we can spawn a couple of these guys in here. The old fashioned way and try to get our hands on some of these guys because- Oh, I see one already! Because believe it or not, in a couple of episodes here, we are going on a mission where we need to collect a bunch of these guys. We're going to be collecting every mob in Minecraft and it looks like everybody, we've got all of them. Except for one right here. So we need to name tag. Stop shooting each other. Stop shooting each other, please. Why? Why are you guys after me right now? This is not a good time. A skeleton just murdered one of my zombies with a thing on his head. Okay, Halloweeners. Ow. I need to trap this guy. I can't believe this guy's even got gold enchanted shoes on right now. Here, buddy. Here, buddy. Yes. Okay, that guy's in the hole. Now we need to murder one of these guys because he just shot him right in the face. And bingo. Already, we're right into it. And we have got ourselves a skeleton with golden shoes and a pumpkin on his head. His eyes aren't lit up, though, so this is kind of lame. And what do you know? There's another, there's another zombie. Oh, my God. This is happening so fast. I should probably just be live streaming this. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, well, and there is two of them. Did I name tag this guy? I sure did. Well, this didn't, this got chaotic fast, but well, at least we've recovered. Whoa! Oh, never mind. We have not recovered. We have, we are not recovering. Whoa! Here, jack o' lantern guys. Okay, oh my god, look at them all. They are everywhere. I need the ones with the lit up eyes, though. How do we get the ones with the lit up eyes? Like that guy right there. Look at how terrifying he is. And you know what? Actually, I am going to... Boing! Run away from you. And that is... no. Nope, never mind. I thought he had a pumpkin on his head. Okay, but we need this guy right here. Come on, sir. I'm being attacked by everything. I can't hit nothing. Please help me. 
No! Okay, well, there is a named zombie with lit up eyeballs. The only thing we need now is a skeleton with lit up eyeballs. Jack o' lanterns. Do you have jack o' lantern? Do you? Nope. Well, this sucks. Okay. Um, but now what I need to do is I think I need to cover these guys because daytime is coming and I don't want my mobs to die. See ya. Okay, well, that was easy enough. We've got ourselves a jack o' lantern guy. Now we need. Now we need to just get this guy and the other two naturally spawned pumpkin heads here. Back to the base. How are we going to do that? I guess minecarts. I mean, these guys aren't burning when they go in the sun, so I'm assuming that they're safe because the pumpkins are on their head. No! You just go away, sir. Okay, while we wait for nighttime in order to get ourselves a skeleton with a jack-o'-lantern on his head, I am going to build these guys a little place for... I gotta, these guys need a home. The only problem is, is I'm not quite sure where. Um, I have plans for there. I have plans for there. You know what? I guess I can go right here. But I need to grab myself a little bit of... That's not what I need. This is what I need. Gravel. And I need a little bit more sand if I can because I'm going to build these guys a nice little enclosure. And for this, I'm going to need a whole bunch of orange dye. Oh, and I hit the jackpot right here. So I need to scoop up a bunch of these so I can make some orange concrete and then get to building. Okay, we got our little jack-o'-lantern area done here, so we've got the little... I was gonna do multiple floors for these guys, but now that I think about it, I'm just gonna elite these guys. I'm just gonna allow them to roam free like this guy's doing right there. So that way they don't target me and then accidentally shoot each other. Yeah. But there it is. That is the jack-o'-lantern. And it's nighttime. I am going to get myself a... I need a... Where are my name tags? Got my name tags, but the sun is up. So now we're just gonna have to get these guys in place. Ran my rails out to here already. But I need more. Okay, and that should be close enough because that is... That's honestly a lot of rails. I've got like a thousand rails. And now if I am correct, it looks like this guy's not burning. So hopefully we can just get this guy and get him to follow us this way. Maybe? I don't know. Come on, sir. Please follow. Why are, why are you... You can shoot me in the face all you want. Just need you to follow me. That was easy enough. Okay, and so far this is working out <laughs> as expected. Okay, that wasn't too bad. It only took seven minutes probably to get him here. But he's finally here. Okay, but now we can try and find ourselves a skeleton that is a little bit closer that has a jack-o'-lantern. Oh! I didn't even think of a baby. I didn't even think of a baby one. I didn't even know you could honestly get one. Um, we have multiple creepers around us. We need to just... Okay, I named him. Here's Skelly. Is there any Skellies here? No Skellies here. A full armored... What? Okay, I keep getting zombies with the light up jack-o'-lanterns, but I don't get any more skeletons and nighttime is coming to an end here. This is scaring me. Look at, look at the guy that I got following me right now, everybody. Look at what I found overnight. We've got a fully enchanted golden zombie. The only thing he is missing, what I was gonna say is a sword, but he just picked up a piece of dirt. That is upsetting. And where is he? He's somewhere over here. I don't know where. He might have fell down a hole somewhere. There he is. Hi, buddy. We found this guy. He doesn't have any lit up eyeballs, but he is roaming around with gold pants and shoes. So I don't know. It looks like we're coming back one more night, but we are going to get all of these guys back to the base. Figured it might be easier just to let them all follow me while I push the minecart. Yeah. 
Eh, this'll work. Okay, everybody, come on in. Oh, no. Oh, we lost one. Yep. Oh, well. Okay, managed to get all of the other zombies in place pretty good. Let's just see if we can get this guy in here without having any problems. No. Yes. Up. Up. Okay. I can't believe this is taking as long as it is, but I don't care. We now just need to get ourselves a baby with the lid eyes up if we can. And still a skeleton with the jack-o'-lantern with the lid eyes on it. This is so crazy. Oh, and we've got one. But I'm hilariously out of name tags because I used them all on those zombies. So here's what we're doing. He's coming with us. What? There we go. I was going to say, that is impossible. How did that not... Okay, now I don't know how this works, but if he's in a minecart, does he despawn? Because I would kind of prefer it if this guy didn't despawn. Actually, you know what? We're just going to go fly and test and see. No, actually, he doesn't. That is, um... Oh, I wasn't paying attention. We're all, we almost ended the series. Okay, buddy, and you are name tagged. Now we just got to get you back up and in there without uh, burning another totem. Okay, and with him in place and everybody else in there, we only have one. Oh, all is in the variants, but I don't have like, I don't have a proper mob farm, so there's no way I'm going to be able to get all those guys with like each variant of armor on them. Literally, the only proper mob farm I have is the UL farm, and it's broken. But now the only other guy I need is the baby zombie, if I can with the lit up eyes um it's daytime though Bruh. so while we wait for nighttime before i go back to collecting every single item in minecraft let's get this guy back closer to the base here buddy that was not hard at all Really? My guy's got to have fire protection on because he just burnt for years and he's still burning. But as if his helmet broke, why did his, what did his helmet broke? That is, well, I'm depressed. Whatever, while I was bringing that guy back, I was wondering if maybe if we found another zombie and he has the eyes, I wonder. If we could turn him into a drowned and get ourselves a drowned with the jack-o'-lantern on his head. Oh. Okay, nighttime's coming, but I still got this one zombie right here. And I think I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna try and drown this guy. And we're gonna see. Can we get ourselves a drowned with a jack-o'-lantern on his head? Are we looking for skeletons? No, we're not looking for skeletons. We're looking for baby zombies with a lit jack-o'-lantern on their head. Okay, no baby zombies yet, but we we have a drowned with a jack-o'-lantern. That's exciting. Okay, well, daytime and no baby zombie with the lit up eyeballs. But whatever, because we do have this guy. A drowned with a jack-o'-lantern head on top of him. Look at this. Hi, bud. My only question is, will this guy follow me or am I no... Ah, <laughs> gotcha, buddy. Okay, now we just gotta get you back and into the thing, though. Oh, so now it's nighttime? Now you want to attack me? Okay, I get it. But guess what? I don't care because you are about to kill me. But I do not care, sir, because you are going to your new home. Okay, and there. I just need to get them out of their minecarts. But now the only thing we're truly missing is the baby with the glowing eyes. Let's go. Or at night, it literally takes a whole day just to get these guys over here. I definitely should have set up some power drills. Okay, and this is very strange because I can't seem to get any more mobs to spawn with pumpkins on their heads. What is going on here? Have I broken the game? I think I've broken the game, everybody. I can get armor guys. I can get regular guys, but I can't get no pumpkin guys. Hmm. 
well, no baby zombies with the golden eyes, but at least I got this guy. He's got those little twinkle toes and golden feet. Look at those things. But he is in place. Now I just need to, if I can, I've got to try and get those guys out of the minecart. Oh! Uh, idiot. Without murdering them? That was my drowned. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Oh. And then I just go and murder him. Who's the real monster this Halloween? Well, oh, I'm going back to collecting every single item in Minecraft. And if you're wondering, I did come here. I did come here. I just have no idea how I'm going to get him out of this, this terrifying mess right here. But I got him. Hey everyone, what's up? It's Chapman here. Hey. And in this episode, I collect every single item in Minecraft. From the most common, to the rares, to even the secret rares. What is that? And yes, I just had a firework show going off behind me in the background. Enjoy this episode. All right, it's time. It's time. I have just gone through my entire storage system everywhere. And I have collected pretty much. I mean, we've been in this world for now 2,500 days. So I was thinking like, man, you know what? I probably have every item in the game already, but I was wrong. So I have put together a list. I mean, look at all these. This is, this is everything I have collected so far. But look at I have put together so much items already. I have every single stone all put together and ready to be sorted inside of these chests already. All the way down, all the way down, all the way down. To even red sandstone. I've got red sandstone and yeah. I mean, we've got all those items over there. You know what? I'll just put... This is everything I've collected so far. Nice. And even after going through all of that and getting every colored variant of everything. Like, look, I had enough to even make the banners. This is something that a lot of people skip out on when they're getting every item. But I even had enough to make all of the banners. But even after getting all of this, and all of that, and everything that you see here... <laughs> oh my god, it must have been late. I still have 13 pages left to go. I mean, let's look at... This is... But a lot of this stuff is boring. Like, that is boring. Redstone, I have that. Those, I have all of those. Have that. That's an exciting chest. But right now I have to go on a mission because yeah, look at if we go to this page right, I don't have all of my music discs. I went through all the chests. I mean, I I know I have pig step somewhere, but I have no idea where it is. But I only have eight music discs. <laughs> I only have eight of them. So we're going on a mission, music disc hunt. And so far I have these ones right here. So it looks like we need far pig step strad chirp blocks. I have no idea where to find these except for pig step. So it looks like we're going to the Nether. I know I have this one somewhere, but I seriously, I cannot find it. And that is why I've built the storage system. So that way, yeah. Oh, I almost hit it. Okay, we need to find what's... Okay, we're good. We need to find ourselves a bastion now. Somewhere in the opening that I haven't raided already, preferably. Okay, I found a bastion. And I already see a chest. Let's see if we can get pig step on the first one. Soul speed. I'm going to take both of those, but no pig step yet. This is awkward. Not as awkward as that. Not as not as awkward as that. That was... Stop looking at me like that. Here, pig step. No pig step. Oh, but I did find a golden apple. Bane of orthopods. Yoink. Hello there. Run! Oh my! I don't know, do you think we can take him? I'm scared. And I don't even know why. Because that was easy. But I need to get- I need to check that- but I want to check that chest out again. Okay, well, um... But so far, we have had no luck. So now we gotta go find ourselves... Another Bastion. We did come out though with a golden apple and a near-death experience, but... Not quite what we were looking for. Okay, Bastion number... Two, but I have not been to this one because there's no openings. So let's go and see. Whoa, hello there. Hi, that was awkward. Can we not do that again, please, sir. Right in the toes. Okay, another golden apple. I don't want to die. Ancient debris. Oh my goodness. I don't care about the gold because I have a gold farm. Oh, two of them. Two of them. Get out of my face. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Where are your chests? I see them. Pig step. No. 
What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? No secret chest down here at the bottom? Well, that's kind of lame. What? I've got all three of them. I don't even know what to do here. What do I do with all of this fantastic loot, everybody? Okay, bastion number two, and no pig step still. But look at this loot. This is crazy. Okay, bastion number three, and this is a full one. Look at this. Well, the last one was a full one, but this one's exposed. <gasps> Whoa! And filled. Look at this. Run! That's right. You fell into my trap. Pig step. No pig step. More spectral arrows. Um, no pig step. Iron, we're gonna ignore. That, we're not going to. Okay, well now let's go and check the center. What was that? I don't even know. It just sounded like I got ambushed. I did get ambushed. I'm in a tricky situation right now. I'm scared to move. And that's why! Get away from me! Okay, I'm pretty sure I just assassinated everybody that could have potentially kill me. And there was no pig step in that disc or in that thing. Oh, put a piglin brood head. We don't want to leave that lying around. Listen, I didn't have anything to click to to put down. I didn't have anything to click to to put down. So you just leave me alone. That didn't happen. My inventory is full. Oh, I see it. Bastion number four. Let's see if we can get ourselves some pig step. And still, no. Oh, wait a minute. I've been here before. And I've got bastion number five right here, but I have a feeling I may have looted these ones already just because, yeah, there's nobody down here defending this. So I have a feeling I've been here. Ooh. How am I on fire? We're still calling that one number five, though. I think I see number nine. <laughs> but still, no. Pig step. What the? There's no way this disc is this rare, is it? More ancient debris. Anything in the secret box? No. I don't even know if that's the secret box, to be honest with you. It was at this moment that he knew. <laughs> We're in it now. We're in it now, boys. <laughs> oh, 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 and I had one firework left. What did I just get myself into? Oh, man, you just leave me alone. Leave me alone, because I have... Where's my totems? Bah! I have one with me. I have one. I burned the other ones. This should have been a sign. <laughs> it was not a good idea. Okay. I can't believe I just put myself in that situation. We were literally... <laughs> we're in it. We were in it right there. That was crazy. Why? <laughs> Where do these guys come from? They're just flooding out of there. And why? Anytime I get close, I just they just it's like there's a spawner. A little too close for comfort right there, everybody. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, that one almost killed me, and there was nothing. But I already see another one. And this is number ten. Please, number ten. Please. Or did I already do this one? I may have already done this one. Why won't it let me... Fine, we're swimming out of this one. We're swimming out of this one, and we're going home. Because I threw all my totems away, and I have no totems left. And I am a risk to myself and the series right now. Yep. Oh, screw you. Get away from me. Okay, mission failed. Mission, pig step. 
failed. But look at that. And the mob heads, too. Let's not let's not ignore the fact that I got mob heads. I'm not collecting all of these in this video, though. But wow, mission pig step failed. But we got another two snow banners, so we got three in total now. Look at this. Globe, creeper, flower, thing, skull. To make all of those. What a catastrophe, though. Okay, we're gonna come back to that one when I'm getting it when I feel when I have a little bit better luck. And for now, we'll move on to the other ones. We need to go and get Strad, Far, Blocks, and Chirp. Where do we get these ones? Okay, now for these other discs, I don't even know if we can actually get these other ones. But what I've done, or what I did a while ago, is I set up this crazy system right here in order to get the mob heads. So, like, the zombie, the creeper, and then, yeah, the skeleton one. So I'm wondering if I can maybe just set this up and convert this in order to shoot a whole bunch of creepers. And, um, yeah. Let's see if we can get those other discs, because I don't even know. Honestly, I might have all of them, but I'm not even sure. So let's convert this. Okay, I'm not even, I'm not even literally, like, finished upgrading yet. We've had four creepers die. All four of them dropped a music disc. What? Oh my god, this is not gonna take long and I'm gonna have almost every, I'm gonna have all the discs. I'm going back to AFK. Okay, well, uh, a slight little upgrade to the Charge Creeper farm, and I now have more music discs that I, that I need. Like, they, well, there's just so many of them. The only thing I am missing now is Pig Step. So, uh, I'm gonna go through my chest one more time just to see if I maybe, yeah, get lucky. Oh, wait a minute, I think I may have know where I, oh, oh, yeah. I think I know where I may have put it. Nope, never mind. I thought I put it up here in the Hall of Fame, but, or I should say the Hall of Firsts, but it's not there. So I have no idea. So it looks like it's going to be back to the nether. Oh, maybe, maybe I have a chest up here. Nope. Okay, well, it looks like it's back this direction and time to find ourselves another 90 bastions. Which direction did I go? That way? Let's go. Let's go this way this time. Okay, well that's like 11, and there's still nothing. This is ridiculous. What the, what is going on here? Terrible spot to just fly into. I just, get, let me have a lucky chest, please. It won't even be a lucky chest at this point, Tom. I've opened so many. Silk touch shovel. Okay, it has been, it has been a whopping like 14 Minecraft days. This is insane. Maybe 10. I can't remember where I started on this. But look it. This is Bastion number 17. And literally, just as I turn... Where? Oh, hmm? oh my god. But just as I turn off my recording, and I literally just about die. I might have it in the replay. I'm not sure. Look it. I've got no totem. This is a sketchy situation for me. But I found it. Finally. Look at four snout banners. I don't even have room. I'm so rich on ancient debris and scraps that it's kind of crazy. But four snow banners, 17. I think it's, it's got it's like 16 or 17 of these stupid bastions. Whoa! That guy terrifies me because I have no totem right now. But we finally found it. Oh, four hours later, I have every single music disc and extra fragments. What a mission. And I've come so far that I don't even know where I am. I don't have time for you. Oh, look at what I just stumbled across. Coming all the way back to the base. Oh, which actually reminds me, which reminds me, everybody. Okay. Um, the UL farm is fixed. I just, I don't, I, I don't know if you could call it vanilla. I don't know. I don't, all I did was move a file and now the most dangerous portal in Minecraft is officially back to being the most deadly portal in Minecraft. Uh, but the EOL farm is fixed. I'm just a little sketched out about it on whether or not I just want to break it again. Oh, and I'm home. Home sweet home. What's going on with the iron farm though? I got to make a quick pit stop here because the iron farm keeps doing that. Whatever that is. Why is it doing that?
What I need to just do that. I was wondering why no iron was coming back to the overworld. Okay, but music discs, music discs are a check. The only problem is, is I can't even put these in the item sorter because yeah, they stack individually. So they're just gonna go right there for now. And look at all of the snout banners. This is just crazy. Okay, now next up is gonna be the other un whoop, words, the unobtainables. What? See, the unobtainables. But we need to go out and find ourselves a tall grass, a tall fern, and potentially get our hands on some bedrock. I don't even know if that's gonna be possible in 1.19, but we're gonna find out. But now as for those unobtainables, we need to go and find ourselves savannah. We need savannas. Oh, is that gonna count as a savanna? Let's find out. I don't know if this counts as savanna. We have a savanna right here. We should be able to get the tall grass, but I'm not 100% sure. So we're just gonna have to kind of see. No. And then for the ferns, I think we have to find ourselves a taga and or a spruce village to try and find them. Maybe nothing. Wow, this guy's house is really not in the ideal location, is it? Doors open though, so I must have been here already. Okay, nothing in that village. That is actually the village I think we were looking for though. The ones with the orange roofs. And this one is absolutely massive. And look at it, it goes all the way down and into... I wonder if there's a house down here. I have never been here, water is flowing. But wow, look at how deep down these guys' crops go. Fun, kind of feel bad for him. Okay, but let's just see here. What is going on with this? I've never seen houses made with full terracotta before. This is kind of... <gasps> Tall grass. Right on the menu. First one up. That is amazing. So is that red bed. But look at that, everybody. The unobtainable tall grass. And I've even got two of them. I was going to plant one just then, but I decided to go against it. Okay, any... Ooh, compass. Not that I need it. Okay, next to... Whoa, nice. House, pal. You even got a balcony. Okay, nothing there. Okay, last two houses. This one doesn't have anything. And... Short grass. Really. Pretty sure we can get that with shears. Okay, well, that is tall grass off of the list now. Now the only thing we need to do is spruce. We need a spruce village. Oh, today might be our lucky day. That is what we are going for with this village right here. Tall ferns. Oh. Oh. Oh, nothing. Okay, well, nothing from that village. Oh, maybe... This one looks huge. I'm gonna start from right here at the end. <laughs> nothing. A chest, but nothing. Pumpkin pie. Delicious. Nothing. <gasps> oh, scared me there for a second. I thought we had him. And there it is, the large fern. I never actually, I didn't actually think we were gonna get this, but I actually got it, insane. Now I need to find another one, because one is for the storage system, and another one is for actually being stored. It took four villagers to find that though, so I have a, I highly, I highly doubt we're gonna find another one. Iron tools, what? <gasps> another one. Oh my God, we found two in one village. This is insane. There's so many houses in this village, I don't even know which ones I have done. Nothing in that one. Okay, and well, not bad. Large fern, regular fern, small grass, tall grass. We've got two of each. I kind of want more though. I'm not gonna lie. Freedom. Four high sugarcane. What the frig? There's another one. Crazy, crazy. And is that a four high cactus that I see too? What the heck is going on with this world? 
One, two, three. Wow. I got screenshots for both of those. Let's just say I've collected them. Okay, we're back here. I'm jumping ahead a little bit because I just checked four. Four more villages each for both the small grass, or I should say the tall grass and the fern. And I found nothing. So I got incredibly lucky on both of those, but we're gonna, I'm gonna go out at the end of the episode and I'm gonna try and see if I can find some more. So now we can check both of those off the list and the small drip leaf too as well. Cause the wandering trader comes around so much that I have one right there. I have 10 right there. I have a bunch of them upstairs and one in an item frame. So yeah, this one we are good to go on. Um, next up what we're gonna do, we gotta go for all of the armors. The leather one, I was gonna do like one of those big item display things you know, that shows you all the leather colors, but that's just gonna be way too much work. Just know that I know that I can dye leather armor every single color, but that honestly feels like a whole video all on its own. So I've got to get my hands on some chainmail armor and all the horse armors. I have two of them here already, but let's go see if we can get our hands on some chainmail. I do have, I don't know if it's a mob or a skeleton spawner down here. Where am I? But I don't know if this is gonna have any armors inside of it, but we will see. Well, there's chainmail boots so far, but that was all that is down there. But I wonder if it's going to be faster for me to do a mob spam here and see if I can find mobs with chainmail on them. Because I am sure somebody out here in the plains is going to spawn with some chainmail and I could probably get him to drop it. Like this guy right here. Look at him. He's almost fully enchanted chainmail. But he did not drop his chainmail. That was annoying. Okay, well, that was all night, and I didn't have a single, <laughs> a single guy with any more chainmail. We're doing it at the spawner. Okay, honestly, this is taking way too long. This is taking way too long. I mean, I've been here for like 20 minutes already, and I don't think we've gotten a single chainmail item. So we're going to do this the villager route. I need armors. I need armors, and I need them ASAP. So somebody get me a blast furnace. Where's a blast furnace? furnace iron smooth stone blast furnace and now i need a fresh villager chain mail okay that is that is a lot easier than doing it the other way oh my okay no don't give me boots you gave me boots why are you doing this to me apparently the chest and the helmet are not that hard to come by now we just need chest plates. Because look at that. We're doing good for chainmail. Come on, sir. Do the right thing. Leggings. And you gave us both of them. Why could you not just give me the chest plate? You were the first guy I should have came to, though. Okay, let's see. Are you going to be the last guy? Because I have spent so many stacks of emeralds just to get this chainmail. Why are you doing this to me? Thank you, sir. Finally, somebody who understands. You can have those emeralds as a tip. But oh my, we got it. Finally, chainmail armor in every... Look at me, I'm starving. But finally, there it is. We've got all of our sets of chainmail armor. This is... That was expensive. I have a stack of emeralds left. That was expensive. Okay, now for the armor, it really is too bad that you can't make copper armor. You might as well. But for these, what I am thinking is that we just maybe go like that and I've already got gold down there so I'm thinking chain mail up here with iron on the other side and then gold and diamond okay and now with this last gold helmet right here pop, there we go we've got all four armors set up and nicely displayed now for each weapon what I'm thinking I don't want it to get too laggy but maybe we just do above the door there, and then above the door over here. So maybe a little something like that. I think that looks not too bad. I don't want to put too many item frames because I don't want it to get a little, I don't want it to get too laggy around here, but I think we should be okay with this. So now we just need, and there, I might switch those out to those ones, but there is diamond. There is gold. There is iron up there. And last but not least, we just need to get our stone tools. Everybody just remember, okay? I know about leather armor. I know you can dye leather armor. But I don't really have a spot for leather armor and all of their dyed colors. So we're leaving that like that. Right there, we have stone tools, iron, gold, and now diamond. If you guys are wondering about netherite, I already have netherite. It's just, it's right here. 
And the Shield of Invincibility is right there too as well. For those of you who remember the Shield. I've been in this world for so long. Okay, next up, now that we've got all the armor out and tools, I think I've got all the tools, I think. I'll do a double check. But we need to grab some leads and we need to go and get some horses around here because I have all three of the horse armors. I just need to get some horses over here so that way I can actually put them. Oh, I can't armor up my name tag away horses, but I can saddle them. Hmm. Is there a data pack that we can change that? Okay, well, since I already have a horse armor guy, um, you can just come on. Okay, and as for these horses, I'm not quite sure where. Actually, they can just go there for now. I'll give them some lights and some hay and everything and probably build them a stable on the outside. But they're going there for now. I need two more horses. And I got one guy right here, and he is all black with socks, and I think this guy is already friends with me. Nope. Just be friends with me, please. Why is this taking so long? Oh, hello, Mr. Gold Horsey. Okay, let's get you over to... And then, yeah, we'll do that guy right there. Okay, and perfect. Just like that, we're gonna have all of the horse armors done. Now that I got all three of these horses. I just need to tame this guy. Saddle him up. Give him some armor. And bingo. We have all three horse armors ready to go with all of the armor and all of the tools. So we can now check those off of the list. Just remember, I know about leather armor. I know about all the colors. Again. I just don't know, I don't really know where to put them in here yet. But with those out of the way, now it's time for us to move on to the fireworks. They are gonna go, I think on this side right here, but this is another big one and a kind of a confusing one too. Actually, I just checked. I went over and grabbed whatever firework stars that I had, but there is apparently over 29. You can even Google search this. There's 29 quintillion. I learned a number today, okay? I learned a word today. There is 29 quintillion options for fireworks so i'm just gonna make the fireworks stars and then the fireworks themselves but that's all i'm gonna do i'm i'm not making that many fireworks quintillion quintillion oh that's fun to say okay wow that took that took an, an abnormally long time and an unusual amount of resources. I mean, ripped to every single chicken, literally, because I needed all of their feathers in order to make the burst fireworks. But not only those, I made a set of everything. Look at small fireworks in every color, large fireworks in every color, star-shaped fireworks, creeper face fireworks. Then we got the burst fireworks, of course. But not only that, we also made eight of each. So we have the twinkle, the trail, and then the trail twinkle. The only firework I'm missing now is the fade to a specific color, but whatever. There, I made 10 that go blue and then fade to brown. Okay, so I've even made fading fireworks. And honestly, all this right here, this took like almost two hours. It's crazy. And what I have also done is I've gone up here. We're going to do a display. We need to do a display. But fireworks are all done. Now all I got to do is literally just... And bingo, we've got ourselves. Oh, that was foolish of me. Where did it even go? There it is. What the heck? But the first three glitched. But aha, we have fireworks. That one's kind of boring, though. Let's make ourselves you right there. Creeper face. But the fireworks are done. But with those done, before we can celebrate, I just went over and grabbed myself a carrot. I'm, I almost forgot about these two things. We need to go and grab just a few more things. We are almost there. I'll get all of this stuff real quickly. And literally, I have every ore. We got the Deep Slate Diamond door when we were down there in, yeah, doing the ancient cities. But I've got them right there. I've got a full stack of them there. Six of those right there. I literally have every single ore already. So we're good. The only thing I'm missing now from this book is a nether star. I used all of them up making the whole, literally the, I don't even know. It's over a hundred beacons now. But I've got no nether stars, so we are grabbing a few of these. I'm gonna have to do this battle twice. 
We're gonna need some soul sand, some daylight, And we're off. I've got an assortment of, yeah, regens. Okay, I think this area is far enough away from home. And it's right beside this nice little volcano. We're gonna do this right here. Let's go, Wither Man. I can literally hear zombies right below me. I was just about to say, this might actually be a terrible... Ah, we'll survive. Bring it! You got nothing! I forgot to slap my potions down. Hang on. Okay, now you've got nothing. Helps if I eat. I, I totally came into this unprepared. Now I'm ready. Oh, I haven't missed a shot yet. Take that, Wither. Oh, I missed that one. Just don't want to get caught up here in this situation where he might bury us. Oh no. See, he's buried us. Sir, please just leave me alone. Please leave me alone. I don't want to die today. What is oh, that? we've got the wither head and the star. My inventory is full though, so hang on. And we've got them both. Okay, now just make sure we don't die. And we're good. Now we're even better. You guys can never see my hearts or my buffs because I'm playing on an ultra wide. I might change that. I don't really... I don't know. But okay, that's one nether star down. Um, is this place trashed? Should we head to a new location? I'm gonna head a little bit over this direction. Because now we need to get one more. And then the rest of them we can farm if I ever... if I need more. I'm doing a terrible job at hitting my shots this time. Okay, one or two more shots and he's gonna be down. Oh, he is down. Yeah, come on. Hi, bud. Oh my goodness, why was that so difficult? Did I get everything? Two stars and an armored wither's head. Look at, okay. I'm sure I've got those heads somewhere already stashed away, but you know what? Whatever. We've got our stars. One for right there and then one for the actual storage system itself. And now I just need to make a couple of miscellaneous items before I forget about them. We need the spyglass, lightning rod, even though I already have one, a bowl, which reminds me, we need also then a mushroom stew. And we can take this ridiculous thing and we can slap this right there on the wall with a stew. And how do you get a poisonous stew? But with those, now we only need a few more things in the game. One of them actually being candles, now that I just run by those, so we need a lighting box. But this next one, I mean, we can we can get goat horns, right? Because goats are here, so that means we can get goat horns. I need to go get some goat horns, so I'm grabbing some soul sand. I need some hoppers. And let's go find ourselves some goats. Oh, look at the big pack of them here. Okay, and now how does one actually breed goats? I don't understand. I need wheat. That is easy enough. But I need to make these guys a little bit of- I need to turn these guys into a farm. But I'm pretty sure for this, I think I am going to need- I forgot all my glass. Because we don't want him to do that. And there. Now we just need to get these goats in here and- Oh, they are attracted. Come on, everybody. Let's go. It's farming time. See those things on top of your heads? I want those. Everybody in. Why did I put that third door there? I have no idea. But everybody come in here. Okay. And now it is time to start. I need baby. Oh, look at how cute that is. Now I need to go out and get something to put in that boat. And I've seen people use uh, chickens. So come here, chickens. Okay, that's one chicken. And now we just need to see if this farm is actually going to work. I don't know if Soul Sand can work here, but we're going to find out. Whoa! I was just coming out here to put a chest in place. And look at what just dropped. So my system is working. Who dropped their horns already? This doesn't make any sense. Who dropped them? Oh, I see. Oh, he's missing one. <laughs> and there's another guy. Where is he? This guy right here is also missing one. So the system is working. 
I don't even need a minecart system for this. Sweet. Now I just need more because I, apparently there is, apparently there is a whole bunch of these things. So I think what I am going to need to do. Is that a screaming baby goat? I swear I'm hearing a screaming goat in here. There's a whole bunch of them and then there's one that just sounds different. Like, what was that? You, you charged me and you made a sound that sounded like a Christmas elf. What was that? We might have ourselves a screaming goat. What? The rarity on that. I have no idea, but I need more weed. So I'm, I'm, I'm just going to leave those guys to kind of grow up and do their thing. I'm going down here. I'm getting Bethany out hey! and I'm making myself, I'm making a weed farm over here. <gasps> oh my goodness, everybody. Did you hear it? I'm sitting here doing my weed fields, trying to get as much weed as I can. And oh, I think I just heard him again. I think we have a screaming goat. I don't think. I mean, I heard, I heard him. Oh my goodness. This is insane. Which one is he though? I have no idea, but I have bred myself a screaming goat. And I just looked it up. As long as I've got this guy in here and I continue to breed him, I get a 2% chance of getting more of them. So does which guy is he? I thought I was going to have, well, I've already been here for a while, but I thought I was going to have to be here for a lot longer. I'm going back. And this is the nice thing about having almost unlimited bone. It doesn't take that long to get a few stacks of wheat in no time. Oh my gosh, which one is he? I have no idea, but it doesn't matter because I can't take him out yet anyways. Because believe it or not, they actually drop a very specific horn. And I don't think we have it yet. So I'm just going to have to keep going with all of this breeding. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully we can get them all. Oh my goodness, which one are you? And so far, I have bred an army of little mini goats. This is, I'm all out. Psych! The army of baby goats is growing. Bah. I'm starting to think that we might have more than one screaming goat in here now. The frequency of crazy goat screams is getting more and more. Dream? Which one is dream? We have two dreams. I have two dreams. Which ones are dreams? Okay, and it looks like I have all of them. Except for three of the ones that you get from the screaming goats, but I have screaming goats in here So I just need to try to like isolate them and breed them because I know for sure there's two or three in here I just need to find them. I'm gonna I am literally gonna be here for so long Why does there gotta be four? Why does there gotta be four rare ones? This is gonna be a nightmare. I'm gonna be I'm literally gonna be here forever Which one was that who was that? Might just have to start killing off everybody except for the screamers and have nothing but screamers. Oh my god, we got so many goats in here. I gotta thin the herd. Selective breeding. like we've got three screaming goats. We might have four screaming goats. This is amazing. Okay, and it is official. I am the master of goat horn farming. I've got all of them, and I even got the rare ones in access. Now, every single goat in here is a screaming goat. All of their babies are screaming goats. I am the goat master, forget of pan man, nothing. I am now the goat man. Okay, whatever, that was kind of, yeah. But seriously, I have been here for so long, and I, I yeah. Look at, I got excess goat horns there. Dream, admires, call. <laughs> Oh, 
That one, that one doesn't even sound healthy. Okay, but I'm getting out of here. I mean, as you can tell, yeah. This is a little extreme. I'm out of here, though. That literally could have been a whole episode all on its own. I'm not even joking. Now the only thing left on the extremely difficult to find and extremely difficult to get list. Scoot. Scoot and a turtle helmet. So somebody please find me some turtles in nice village. We hit the mother load right here. We hit the mother load. Now it looks like I just need a little bit of seagrass. Okay, that should be enough seagrass. Um, it's turtle time. Okay, I almost, I almost just died to a spider there, but look it, we've got baby turtles. And there is a lot of them. I made this. I'm going to have Scoot. Oh! Finally! Look at that! We finally have Scoot! Oh my goodness, why is this taking so long though? Come on, turtles. I need more than one. I'm out of seagrass. What happened, turtle? Never mind, I know what happened. We've got... To scoot now. Baby turtle, don't go that way. Baby turtle, please come back. Okay, baby turtle, you're out of there. Three scoot. I see four scoot. Five scoot. Oh, I'm so sorry, turtle legs. Oh, I am so sorry again, turtle legs. Six scoot. We already have six scoot. I thought this was going to take multiple hours, and it is not taking multiple hours. Turtles are amazing. Okay, and there's our turtle shell helmet. This is the first time I have ever had this in the game, and look at how ridiculous I look. Okay, is there any more? I have the two extra, which is what I need exactly for the storage system, but I don't see any more. Adult turtles, never mind, I lied. The baby escaped, and he grew up out here. Okay, we got three extra. Three... Two, one, grow. Okay, it's nighttime. This baby turtle might be destined to stay a baby forever. Three, two, one, grow. All right, whatever. Three is enough anyways. And it is official. Goat horns, they don't stack, so they can just simply go right there for now. But as for the scoot, we need to put it right in here. So we're going to have one for the storage system, and then the rest of it goes in the backside. And then as for the turtle shell, I don't know, but we've got a little bit of a museum build coming. So that sucker is going right there. But we've got all of our music discs. We have all of our goat horns. All of our ore has been properly sorted and is ready to go into the storage system. The only thing I have to do now is I have about an hour, maybe an hour and a half of organizing to do. But I'm pretty sure the only thing that I am missing in the game now... Is arrows. No, wait. I can't believe I almost forgot about boat chests. I actually forgot that these things were even a thing. Wouldn't want to forget those five silly things. But now, now it is time. Give me an hour and a half. I'll be right back. Okay, and well, <laughs> five five hours later it is official look i even went out and got some leather armor from a couple of sunken ships because i needed to go out and grab a heart of the sea i didn't have one i, I think i used mine up when i made the conduit <gasps> i'll be right back where did i put my conduit where did i put the conduit where did i put the conduit where did i put the conduit steve where did i put the conduit Not in that room. Not in this room either. Seriously, I didn't even decorate this place all that well. And I still can't find the conduit. Which makes me wonder... Because I left it here, that's why. Give me this. You don't need a conduit, you can see underwater just fine. And there, this chest might get split up into two, I am not sure. 
But no, it is official. Other than fletched arrows and dyed leather armor. I mean, I'm even out here collecting. I hate this copper. This one looks like baby poo and that one looks like baby puke. I don't care what. But it's recap time. Okay, stone. I didn't bring the stone out. But we have all of the stone variants. We have our obsidian and crying obsidian. Everything you get from an amethyst little cluster thingamabobber. Sandstone, red sandstone, and then our skulk blocks. So that is pretty much everything from like overworld stone. Dirt and grass is gonna go along here in the back wall. Next up on the list is gonna be food. So you can see we've got all the num nums, even rabbit stew. We have all the fish variants, including the stuff that you get from the spiders and the phantoms when they draw. On this side, we have absolutely everything that you get from basically a crop or that grows out of the ground. I mean, we even got kelp blocks and cookies, dried kelp. You guys forget so much. We got mushroom stew, suspicious stew, poisonous potatoes. I found those in a sunken ship. And then there's all the extras. Next up is going to be our woods. Every single chest looks like this for wood. It's pretty insane. For the nether one, we have, we've gathered everything. I mean, everything. And then we have flowers and organics. This chest as well is going to get split up into two. So this is just going to be flowers. And then all this organic stuff from the lush gardens is going to go into its own chest. Dyes. Anything that is growable. I don't know why that's in there. And then from here, we have everything that you get from the sea or the water. After that, once we come upstairs here, we have all, all of our colored blocks sorted out and ready to go. This includes as well as the banners, our terracotta, dyed terracotta, quartz blocks, and stuff. I almost forgot that I already put this chest together. And an empty one. Ooh, I've got... I've got an empty slot right here. Over on this side, this is pretty self-explanatory. We just have everything that is included or everything that goes with redstone separated into their own little chests here. This just makes it a lot more easier for sorting. I mean, this stuff is just junk. I don't know why those are in there. Those will come out. But I put all the redstone literally on its own wall into individual chests. On the back side, let me go check on my copper. Starting from up here on the left side, as you can see, we go down all the ores. So we have all of our regular, or no, this is the wax copper. I just need one more. All of our regular copper, the copper ore, iron, gold, netherite, all of our diamond, golden apples and our notch apples in their own chest, emeralds, lapis. This is going to be both the coal and the fuel thing. So all of my blaze rods are going to go into this one for fuel. After that, we've got our tall grass and our large fern and the dead bush. I think these are probably going to go down in the organics though, just to free up another slot up here. Beside it, we have all of our rare drops and the stuff that you make with those rare drops. And then beside that, we have the end chest. We've even got bottles of enchanting in here, paintings all of our workstations. Some of this stuff's probably gonna get split up and put into other places. And if you look behind it, we're even gonna slide in some books, buckets, and empty maps into here. So we are literally collecting everything. Um, On this wall, you can see we've got all the individual stuff, Woodland Explorer map, Oceans Explorer map, the turtle shell, everything that can go in a bucket. I don't know, I might be missing something. I don't know, you guys tell me. Our music discs, and my favorite thing, the goat horns. Can't forget the horse armors. Can't forget the boats and the chest boats. Oh, there's the heart of the sea right there. I can't believe I just, I literally spent an hour and a half and it's right there. Whatever. Our potions, all of our potions, I don't even care to make sure that we make them right now because they're only one press of a button away and I have absolutely everything that I need. So yeah, I'm just not even going to waste my time doing that. And there. We finally have it, all the copper. Can't forget about all of our fireworks that we got here too. We have our lighting box, so we have all of our candles and all of the other lighting stuff that goes with them. Our bone box, which needs to get mixed in with something that's probably not gonna be that. This is our fuel box, but I think I'm just gonna put all of that into the coal thing, still undecided. 
This was going to be the brew box where I put all the items for the brew thing, but I, I have a brew station upstairs with, yeah, it's all ready to go. Can't forget our snow box, so we even have the snow and the powdered snow in a bucket. There's our dirt, there's our grass, our mycelium, and the podzol with the mushrooms. And I think the only thing left is whatever is sitting in this chest right here. These go along with the fireworks, so I might just keep them with the fireworks. And then we have the wither skulls, skeleton skulls, because we can get these out of the ancient cities. Arrows, these need to go up into the upper box. And I don't know, should I get all three of the anvils? Whatever. Okay, now this video, this video has been literally two weeks in the making. I mean, I started this before the Halloween special, and that was how long ago? Yeah, what? Where are you? But that is it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I have another five hours of loading up this storage system here and getting it all sorted out. We'll talk about that next episode, though. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace. And on this video, I build myself the ultimate portable XP farm in Minecraft. Capable of providing me with unlimited experience no matter where I am, what I am doing, so that I can keep all my tools and all my armor topped up without having to ever go through another nether portal again. It's really not that magical, but it is sweet. I also built myself an experience shower. What is that? D -d -donk -donk -donk. Enjoy the video. I have an experience problem, everybody. I have an experience problem. And not that experience, no. This experience. And I know what all of you guys are saying. I know it's Chapman. You're like, Chapman, Chapman, Chapman. Don't you have, you have every form. You have every, every form that produces massive amounts of experience. The only problem is, is portals. I gotta go through the portals in order to get there. And I'm kind of, I thought of something. Look at all of these items. There is, is mobs coming. Look at all the items that I still have to sort though. But I don't care because I discovered two things while cleaning up and putting everything away here is that I have an iron problem. And again, I know what you're thinking. Yes, I have an iron farm, but it just keeps breaking. And rather than fix it, I'm gonna just build a whole new iron farm. But that is for another video, and that is when I discovered that I have this problem. The experience problem. So what I'm doing on this episode is we are building a portable experience form. But the first thing that I am going to need for this is villagers. And sadly, I have been, um, just absolutely, uh, yeah. What is that? Murdering all of my villagers. So I think we'll just put an end to that right now and continue on with the breeding. But before I start on this, I've got to make one, I got to make one pit stop, everybody. Because if you guys watch, you guys know that I absolutely burn fireworks in this series. And I am out of gunpowder already. Like seven shulker boxes full of gunpowder. And I only make like one episode a month. This is ridiculous. I burn through so much. But we're making the pit stop here because this sucker is back to working everybody one move, one move of a file. Okay, here we go. If I remember correctly, I have to load up the bats first. Flip. Okay, bats are loaded. Now what I gotta do is I gotta go down here. And there's our first wave of bats. Now we're just gonna wait for two more waves as those guys come through from the bat farm. There's one. Okay, it looks like we have enough bats inside the system. Now all I gotta do is jump down here. And are you guys ready? Because I am so excited for this. This took so much effort and so much time. One of the greatest farms in Minecraft. 
No bots, no nothing. Woo! Time for me to collect some gunpowder. Okay, well, and after a couple of minutes, I've got fully restocked on all of my fireworks. Look at this. And extra gunpowder to come home with. And I've already heard like seven. Look at all the bone that is coming through. This is, and the gunpowder. Nice. Seriously, this thing is insane. And all my bats are still there too. Check that out. Okay, but I am restocked and I am so pumped that this thing is back to working again. But now it is time for me to get out of here because I have plans. First, I need to put all the gunpowder into here though. And for these plans, other than needing 45 villagers, I am also going to need a lot of room. Oh, no. And what was originally going to be storage mountain is now, I think, going to be... Oh! My little experience grotto. Oh. oh no, I'm out of boom juice. Give me more boom juice. <laughs> that almost that one almost got me. I almost died there. That was crazy. Time to do it again. Okay. That should be enough sand. <laughs> okay, this one is gonna be a good one. That is two layers down there, and I need a little bit more room that way, so um now I'm out of here. Now that the big pit is done though, I need to definitely put a floor in this. I already started a little bit here, but I need a beacon so that I can clean all this up. And there, after putting a floor in and some stairs, this is what I got right here. Look at how close I came to blowing up the original storage system. Kind of crazy. Okay, but I need to go do one thing. I gotta go check all my villagers because I have a feeling I might be a little too far away for them to do anything. And it looks like I am, because I have no new villagers in here. So I am going to have to move a couple of these guys a little bit closer to the cave. I need a boat. Actually, better yet, I've already got half the rail system here. And now for the villagers, that was a lot of rails. Up, over, around, and there goes villager number one. Ha!
perfect. Now I just need villager number two. Using a fishing rod to do this is easier than powered rails, everybody. Here goes villager number two. And in goes villager number two. Now I've just got to set myself up a breeder. Oh, never mind. I got to go get another villager. Not quite sure what happened there, but something happened. <laughs> that guy got nuked. You get out of the way. How have you guys taken so much damage that that killed you? I mean, that can't be enough damage to kill one of you, is it? Maybe it's because of the cramming damage when they fall inside of each other. I'll go move that guy. Okay, there's villager number three in place. Hopefully it's not the draw that kills him. It is. Whatever, he's in here nice and safe and sound. Now what I need to do is I need to set myself up a little bit of a breeder and I'm just gonna do that back here in a nice little inconspicuous cave. No! And now with that, I should- Oh, I put that in the wrong spot. Never mind. I need a bucket now. I am an idiot. Water goes there, and now here we are. And now the only thing missing from there is the actual villagers themselves. And you can excuse how ugly it is for now, but basically the baby villagers are going to come up here. I just need one water... What is going on here? I just need one water source to push them forward. All of these guys are going to get these carrots if they will go over the fence. And now I just need to go and grab three beds because I forgot. These guys aren't going to produce anything without beds. And there, our villager breeder is now officially finished. We just need to keep these guys stocked up on some crops. I've already thrown them like six. I've already thrown them like six crops, but I have the carrot farms. So I am good for crops. Grab me a little bit of glass from the librarians here. Close these guys in in their own little display here. And then if I just make a nice area like that, believe it or not, that right there is enough in order to separate villagers from baby villagers. So the baby villagers are going to grow up in this glass and then just kind of pathfind their way through here. I don't know. It's like magic. But now I am just basically playing a waiting game. I need to wait for these guys to produce 45 brand new villagers. I'm not using the other guys because I may or may not have smacked one of them in the face a few times. So while we wait for that, I'm grabbing all the materials that I need for this farm and I am bringing them over here. And that is going to include 45 brew stations on a godly amount of redstone. So I need both of my redstone boxes. So while we wait for those guys, I am going to set this sucker up. We might have to do this the old school way just by spamming beds and, you know, throwing crops to every single person. Because so far it's not looking like, it's not looking good. And I have thrown those guys a lot of crops. Doesn't matter. Because I have three looping trading halls that I need to build. And I am just realizing now that I have forgotten my soul sand. Well, that's finished, and <laughs> all we got is two whole villagers. Wait, three. I hear another one down there. Three whopping villagers. <laughs> but it really didn't take that long to set that up. So, uh, yeah, what I did is uh, I have prepared myself. I am going into full breeder mode right now. But for this, I am going to need a bajillion carrots. And even that probably won't even be enough. And we have like 20 villagers. 20 vill You're all right over there, pal? We have 20 villagers. 20 villagers. But look it. I've decorated it a little bit in here. And the looping trading hall is officially done. Complete with its own on-off switch. Look at this. Ready? There goes one. What did I do here? I screwed something up. I forgot to put a repeater back down. Hold on. Take two. See that? One, two, three. 
That is how it is done. One, two, and three. I think I need to put a little bit more of a delay on these, though, other than what is here. Because basically what's going to happen is I'm going to stand right here where the torch is. And as the villager is going to come around, I need enough time in order to trade with one, trade with another one, and then trade with a third one. So I think I might need to put a little bit more of a delay on those. But that is okay. I just need 20 more villagers. 20 more villagers, sir. Okay, and it is official. We can remove those because I have 50 plus villagers right here, everybody. This is insane. This is taking like four hours. I just, I'm, I'm speechless. And I didn't realize that if you actually put your breeder in a split biome, so this is windswept forest and then windswept hills, we are getting two different types of villagers from this farm. It is actually kind of... But there we go. All of the villagers that I am ever going to need for this looping trading hall right here. Now I just need all of these babies to grow up so that I can turn everybody here into a giant zombie horde. Oh. Now I just need the zombie. Where can I get a zombie around here? I know he's around here somewhere. He's down one of these holes. And he's holding a piece of dirt. I just hope that maybe he... Oh, <gasps> there he is. There he is. Come with me, sir. Come with me. I know. Look at you're a part of the Halloweeners crew. You just never showed up. You decided to go somewhere else, but I remembered and I got you. We're going to use this guy. I need you to smack a few villagers around, okay? And then I'll, I'll add you to the Halloweeners crew when, uh, we're, when we're done. Hold on. Don't smack me around too much. Hang on. I have a plan. And it worked flawlessly. Literally, flawlessly. Come on, we just need to go over here now, pal. Don't worry, you're gonna have a good time. I just gotta get rid of some iron golems. Please, now, whatever you do, make sure you fall in the water. Okay, and if you two don't mind just staying right there please i see what you're trying to do here and i will not allow it and you good sir i need you to smack a few villagers around all of them are right here for the taking just come on go ham my good friend oh he's having a good time now <laughs> oh they're trapped in a hole this is not good i should have filled the hole in <laughs> I don't even know how some of them are ending up with chainmail and stuff like that, but I don't even whatever Look at this a couple of them have swords Okay, well and it looks like I have uh, successfully converted everybody that is kind of crazy. Why are they all hovering towards this corner, though? Oh, the villagers. And now, how do I do this? I didn't think this through. I didn't really think this through. How do I do this? How do I go about doing this? Do I pull these guys out one by one? Because there's no way I'm going to be able to cure all of these guys in here. Because once I just... Once one guy converts back to a villager, the other ones are just going to smack him around again. So, I think I'm just going to have to splash all of these guys with splash potions. And then quickly pull all of them out one by one. Slap them with a thing and then I'm about to cry I'm about to cry I'm about to cry I flew over to grab some iron and then I flew over to the skull and I came back and all of my zombies and villagers are gone. They're. But I didn't think that would be far enough. I didn't think going all the way over there would be far enough. Apparently, it's far. Let me in, my villagers. My villagers. So many hours. All I needed was some iron. 
I just went to grab some iron. All I did was... Well, I'll see you guys in five hours. What? What? From where? From where? They're even randomly burning to death now. I don't understand this. All right, we're almost back in business. Look at I've got three. Three villagers already. I am clearing out all of this floor right here and turning it into a water pit. You guys will see. But I've got time to burn, so I'm going into builder mode. I'm going to completely overhaul this entire cave right here. Because this is going to take forever. Water magic. Are you guys seeing this? Are you guys seeing this? I got a 50. I got like 50 villagers again. 50. Let's just try not to kill them all. I got to try not to kill them all this time. I'm going to get every everything. I need to go get everything that I need in order to convert these guys. Okay, I got my golden apples and I got my weakness potions. Hopefully this is enough. Now I just need another zombie. Because believe it or not, I killed the Halloweener guy out of anger. Those 45 villagers deserved better. But do you guys like it in here? I'm not quite done yet. I'm not quite done yet. I want to do something with the roof up there because that just looks hideous. But do you guys like it? I might add a little bit more into those trees. They look kind of like, they look kind of bland and blah. But I tried to make them look like they were coming out of the ground underneath here. Like trees grow up above and then these types of trees grow down below. But I need to get myself a zombie and get these guys converted and in place. Because this, this is taking way too long. But now the real question is... How much is a bottle of experience? Is it even worth converting these guys into zombies? Oh, it's only... Is that three or is that one? Are they really only three emeralds to buy? Because if they're only three emeralds to buy, I am not... I am not converting these guys. It is only three, and trading with them gets it down to two. Hmm. Hmm. To cure or not to cure? To cure or not to cure? You know what? I've come this far. I'm curing them. Follow me. Are all you guys ready? Your friends had to go through this. I'm so sorry. And there's everybody. Okay, I need some water now to place inside this corner. And now with this, we should be able to start the zombie process. Look at all of these guys just staring at me. There goes one. Okay, well, there's 11 guys right there. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Let's see if this plan is a massive failure. Hopefully some of these guys aren't too close. I have a feeling some of them may be a little too close to each other. And they're all shaking, so hopefully soon. There's one guy. There's two. And so far they're not getting smacked. Three. And bingo, now it's looking like these guys might not even be in their mine cards. Oh no, they are. But now my only question is, how do I get these guys into place? How am I gonna, I need glass. This is what I need, I need glass. Watch this everybody. 
that was, that was, that was terrible. I just wiped out a lot of, that was terrible. Doesn't matter, because here's the plan. I am just basically going to get these guys in place here. Like so. And pretty much just like that, those guys are going to go in place. What? That wasn't the plan. How did that even... You went from inside to... What? I am so thoroughly confused, my face hurts. What is going on right now? I have... Inadvertently created a disaster. And this guy is about to jump in with the zombies. He was literally about to jump in with the zombies. My face. My face hurts. Okay, well, since they all won't go in that way, we are going with plan B for this one. This game is rigged. Okay, I don't even know how many guys that is, but we've got a lot of guys in place up here. Okay, and here goes the last of the first 11 so far in place. And if you heard, people have already started to take up the trades that are in their positions. I'm missing one guy in one slot, so we got to do some cycling here. But I only need to get four more guys in place. Four more. And there they are. Now I am going to load up the next set. And these guys gotta go back this direction now. No, hey, you're going the wrong way, guys. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. This is actually starting to work out a little bit smoother than I thought. The problem is, is I gotta try to do the rest of this with three weakness potions. So I've gotta bundle these guys as tight together as possible. That is one, a little something like that. And now I have to try and strategically get all of these guys wet with this one splash potion. Hopefully I did it. I didn't. I can't get that guy back there. That's lame. There's one guy. Please don't get smacked around. Two, and he is in a tight spot. Look at how terrified that man is. There's the first eight. What did I have here? Yeah, eight guys, nine guys, nine guys in place. Now I just need to get the other five. And now here's my plan. There's the first five guys that I need. I only have two splash potions left. I'm just going to cram as many guys into this little contraption that I have here. It's actually going to go like that. We need to try and cram as many of them as we can. There's five. We are literally throwing away so much iron here. It looks like I didn't get five of them, so this is just... This is horrible. Okay, here goes villager number ten. Okay, and so far that is 30 villagers in place and being rotated around. I just have to cure these five right here. But now, on to the last group of zombies. Okay, and after almost nearly two hours, we only have 10 villagers to go. A lot of these guys are holding items, but I need to go and get some more potions. So everybody cross your fingers. Those are the last 10 guys. We are so close. I already have three weakness potions ready. It was like it was meant to be. Let's go get these last villagers in place. Because by now, everything, everything needs repaired. This is just... Now we just play the waiting game, and well, I hope I never have to use that many beds again. Let's just hope that if I have to, I do it right the first time, and I don't kill 45 perfectly zombified villagers. And you're the last guy. Let's go. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four more left. Three more left. And here we go. Last guy. Villager number 45. This recording alone is three hours. Just for this little segment of villagers. 
You're going the wrong way, pal. You have me in there. I'm not one of you. You're going the... Uh, of course. Of course it's the last villager that is here giving me a hard time. Of course it is. Sir, you know what? Take the butt. Take the butt. Take the butt. Take it. Take the butt. Yeah, get. Get out of there. Go. Go. And get in there. And that's it, everybody. Victory. Victory is mine. At least after all that, I was rewarded. I was rewarded with a zombie villager face. Every episode, I become... I become what it is that I am farming. Where did I just go? Okay, no more villagers. Look at we have villagers. No more villagers. And the Great Protector, you are allowed to roam. You're not mad at me, are you? No. Okay, good. He is! He is! He is mad at me! He is mad at me! What the? He, like, ambushed me. I'm not even wearing my helmet. But he was mad at me the whole time. He just, he tricked me. He tricked me. Something like that was not supposed to happen this episode. This is way too... Okay, and everything is looking good. It looks like everybody has successfully linked up. And they are all clerics. I haven't traded with anybody yet, so they've all just got the thing. But it is officially time. Slick Pick is literally on her last 28. Dig Dig is on 17. Pick Pick is like... And then there's my armor. But with great hustle comes great reward, everybody. I don't care about any of this. The delay might be too fast. It is, it's too fast. I've gotta go slow it down. Okay, I added some repeaters. That honestly might be enough to do it. First guy. Second guy. Third guy. First guy. I got enough time to do it all. And I think I might need another couple repeater delays on here, but uh, it's looking pretty good so far. See, if I screw up one of my ticks and then I get back, it's kind of... It gets a little iffy on whether or not I can get it. But look at how insane... <laughs> look at this. Oh my god, I can't keep up with this though. I need a couple repeater. I need some more repeater delays. Okay, I slowed it down even more. And now let's see. Daytime is coming. So these guys are going to be able to recycle their trade soon. So all of these guys with the redstone and their lapis gone, they need to come back around now this time with refresh trades. But with the new delay, it is looking like I can just fly through this thing. And we are keeping up with everything. Oh, I just heard trades go off or station workstations go off. So we're gonna see. And look at there's the first guy restocked on redstone, lapis, and the other ones. What about these guys? Yep, this guy's restocked. Oh my god, I'm all out. I'm out of room. Everybody is restocking though, so I need to just hurry up and go. Okay, he's restocked. I don't even know why I'm buying all these trades again. I just really need the bottles of experience. And there's my first diamond guy. First bottles of experience. Look at this. That's one shulker box full of emeralds. And I'm not done yet. Bottles of experience. Bottles of experience. Bottles of experience. Bottles of experience. Oh, I am throwing emeralds away again. And this guy refreshed on his bottles of experience when he came back around. That was crazy. Oh my goodness, it just keeps coming. Oh, that guy's already done. That guy's done. I might have traded with these guys twice already. We're already back around. Oh, but that guy restocked. That guy did. This guy did. We are still on the first day, if you guys are wondering. We might be nearing the end, though, because none of these guys are restocking on the bot. Not all of them. Some of them are still are. Look at this guy. still an apprentice. Okay, and is it night? Yes, it is night now. I was gonna say, because nobody is restocking anymore. But look at that. Look at all of that. I managed to burn through... We almost spent two shulker boxes full of emeralds in one day with all of those villagers. And look at all the experience that I have. And everything is restocked. Hold on. Oh, yes. Look at this. 
shower me with experience. Just splash me within the fate. Look at this. Oh my don't don't don't. Almost there, dig dig. Almost there. All of that just for this. But I'm not done yet. It's time to turn it today. And time to fill these shulker boxes with our experience bottles. Okay, and in one Minecraft training cycle, that is all the bottles of experience I was able to get. That's pretty crazy. You wanna know what I need right here though? I need a shulker box loader. And we've done it. After a bunch of Minecraft days, we've got another one starting here so I can even start to trade. I've got myself a shulker box loader right here. So all I have to do is just put my items in this little chest when I'm trading them and then it will load up shulker boxes for me. But after all of that time, it is official. Three full shulker boxes full of experience bottles. Everything can stay topped up now. I don't gotta worry about nothing. Except for buying more bottles of experience. And look it, it was a it was pointless to cure these guys. After a while of trading, they just get mad at you anyways, and their prices go up. It doesn't even make any sense. I just about shot that guy. Like look at that guy's all the way up to six. Like that guy is up to eight emeralds. That guy is at six too. That guy is to 10. It was literally pointless for me to cure all of these villagers. Pointless. But it doesn't matter because look at how much stuff I could trade in one day. I've already had to go through. That, does, that guy's at 11. Did you see that? Like, look at that guy is up to 12. I have to trade with him three times just to get the emerald, just to get the bottle of experience from him. It was pointless. But look at I just burned through, like, I don't even know how many stacks of emerald blocks. But look at the amount of experience that I could trade in one trading cycle. So there's four in there. I could do over half a shulker box in one Minecraft trading cycle. This is, this thing is insane. I literally need one of this for every type of villager. Okay, but it is system shutdown time. Look at all the experience up there from my late trades. How can I get that out? Hmm, not gonna lie, I kinda don't care. Because everywhere I go now, I've got myself a portable XP bank. But I'm going back to building my iron farm now. I've got all the experience that I need in order to clear this entire area without ever having to leave this box here. It's gonna be nice. I have built a lot of farms in my hardcore Minecraft world. But out of all of them, this one here has got to be... What the? <laughs> There's not even enough bees in here anymore. All of the bees have somehow escaped. So in this episode, we are going to build ourselves a honey factory. Complete with over 300 bees, an automatic bottle reloading station, because these things can be a nightmare when it comes to bottles, and so much more. First things first, though, I need an area in order to place it, and I'm not doing it over here. But now that I've got this unlimited experience farm, I should be able to put this farm anywhere that I want to or anywhere that I need to. So I'm thinking that we use spawn chunks. The only thing is, is that this is kind of... Ugh. Okay, I think, I think I may have went a little bit overboard. But this right here, this is basically where I am going to build it. And for those of you that don't know, anything that gets built inside the spawn chunks will always stay loaded. It basically works as like a chunk loader, but so much bigger. Here is a perfect example. If I just throw down a line of blocks right like this, and I leave and fly away for five minutes, those blocks in there across that line should despawn. And when I come back, these ones should still be here. Okay, sun is going down. And that is perfect right there. So all the blocks inside this line despawned, but these ones out here are still here. 
So that confirms it. These are all spawn chunks. It was a lot of math in order to figure this out. It was a nightmare. But for this, I am going to need a whole bunch of beehive. So it's a good thing that I built this dilapidated bee farm because I do have unlimited honeycombs. What? Well, not quite, but... Okay, I have a barrel full. Okay, massive resource gathering has been accomplished. That is nearly everything that I need. The only thing I'm lacking on is some hoppers, but I have the iron for it. The only thing I don't have is the wood. So I need to visit the tree farm. And there, I've got my hoppers. Now I just need a location in order to build this thing. I'm thinking somewhere over there. So I need my starter chest with some hoppers going into it. Now, off of this, we are going to need some more hoppers running around and in with a beehive on top and another hopper feeding into that one. A piece of glass on either side of this so that way we can grow it that way. And then we need to run our redstone. But that is the bee farm right there. Now all I need to do is I need to literally just make an entire row of these things. Okay, and that's the first row done. I left a little opening in it so that way we can let the bees get in. Now I'm thinking that I'd turn this, but I need to try and keep this symmetrical. Okay, and there's the main part of the honey farm done. The only thing that it is missing is it's missing bees and bottles and another 10 layers. Actually, not that many. I think five more and a more elegant and beautiful storage system. Another thing that this actually needs is a bottle separator. Believe it or not, is that this thing is actually a pain in the butt, even when it's full. Could be how my redstone is set up. But either way, we're just going to set up a bottle separator from this because it is actually extremely easy. I just need a comparator with two redstone dust coming out from it, a single redstone torch going into a sticky piston, ow, and then a redstone block. I actually had to change that out for some glass, but now with that set up right there, all I need to do now is just take 64 bottles plus I'm gonna put four totems in here I think it has to be four full stacks or something and then I'm going to put four blocks here with 18 bottles now any bottle that comes through here is going to get sorted into this chest and anything else that comes through here so let's just pretend that these right here are gonna be honey blocks or honey bottles these should come down right away into the first chest once all of the bottles are done sorting through there's our bottles. And there's our honey coming through. So that right there is the bottle separator. It's literally that simple. Now with that out of the way, I need to put on the second layer before I can start to actually work on like the reloader system and all of that. Okay, second layer is done. Now what I need to do is set up a rail system for all of this stuff and then our auto reloader for all of the bottles. And then I can finish stacking this thing and then spend the next two hours literally filling this with bottles. I'm also gonna need 300 bees, so I should probably start my bee process sometime soon, but whatever. Okay, now reloading system time. For this, I'm thinking we do a solid block into a simple, do I have one? Yep, comparator into a repeater and then we'll just go from here. So I need some powered rails. And then we're just gonna repeat that on this side. And then we need to wrap this and then we need to bring our stairs up and somehow wrap them around and back onto those hoppers right there. Okay, and that right there is going to be our rail system. Now for every layer, I'm just going to have to flop that back and forwards for every layer that goes up, but that should be good enough. In fact, I'm going to test it. That should now come around and up, hopefully. And there it is. Okay, that's going to work. Now for the actual reloader itself. For this, we're going to need some... A little something like that. Now we just add in our gate and then our minecart with our hopper. And right like that, our reloading system is complete and ready. Now, as long as this hopper here is full, we're going to be good. Once we lose one item, the minecart is going to send out to refill absolutely everything. This is wonderful. The only thing is, is this needs to be all bottles and then one of each item in this thing that is not a bottle just to keep the numbers down 
But now what I need to do is I literally need to just stack all of this three more times. 60 beehives on each side. 60 times 60 is 120. What is that times three? Because that is how many bees that I am going to need. So this... I might just do this all in one shot because I also want to decorate this too as well. So we're going to have to, yeah. Let's see, let's see. Okay, we got to make sure that this drops down and around. Beautiful. Okay, um, can I get it out of the air? Okay, well, bee farm is officially, uh, <laughs> complete, but it is now bottle and bee time, everybody. There's 120 beehives there. What is that times three? 360? Oh my. Another thing I have to do is I have to fill every one of these dispensers with bottles, which is going to be utterly terrifying. I said I was going to do this right now, but... I'm going to go get some leads and we're going to go get some bees. And I have noticed that because I am so close to my mob switch. That no hostile mobs are spawning whatsoever. It has been nighttime like 17 times and I haven't seen a single mob whatsoever in this area. So I might have to blow that up and yeah, or at least get rid of a few of these guys because I am going to be building mob farms over here. This is going to be the new farming district. So yeah, we're probably going to have to get rid of this thing and say goodbye to a mob switch forever, which is fine. This thing is kind of cheaty and hacky anyways. Yeah, are my chunk loaders still working? Of course they're not. These chunk loaders are the bane of my existence. I just can't get one to work consistently. And I have nine different ones. It's kind of like, look at that. And I have nine different ones. I don't understand it. Get on over there. One of the main reasons why I'm building all of my farms from now on inside of spawn chunks because I am getting tired of this. Anyways, I need some bees. First, I need some leads. Okay, there's got to be a beehive somewhere around here. Or a bee anyways, so I don't have to go too far. I got music on right now. I should probably turn it off so that way I can hear the buzzing. Music is off. Where's the buzzing? Hi, doggo. Hello, doggo. Bye, doggo three. There has to be some bees. There's no way I scooped them. Oh, there's some bees. There's lots of bees over here. How did I forget this little patch of bee? Heaven. Gotcha. Can you fly with bees? You can. Okay, now with these, I'm wondering what is the best way to do this? Do I just start to try and load these or do I put these guys in a bee box and then wait for nighttime and release them and see if they all... I mean, you would think they would link up and go in, but we're going to see. Breeding 300 bees is new territory for me. My only worry is the little bees. Can uh, they escape through a tiny little section like that? I have no idea. We're going to go grab some flowers and find out though. Moment of truth. That thing is tiny. It is for sure going to escape. But what if I did that? Can it escape? Doesn't look like it. Looks like everything is all locked in and ready to go. But for this, I'm going to need so many flowers. So I need a proper flower forest. Okay, that should get it started. I might just end up building a flower farm though, because honestly, that was a little bit of a nightmare. But already we are up to four bees and it's been no time. Okay, I am, I'm going on my bottle filling spree. I need nine stacks of glass for every single dispenser here. And then one stack of glass plus four items for every single hopper here. Um, <laughs> remember all the emeralds that I had? Well, kiss them goodbye. Okay, change of plans. We're running the raid farm. I forgot that this thing produces 8,000 bottles per hour. I am not doing that the glass way and the villager way. I am just going to go and <laughs> instead of buying bottles, I am going to just produce bottles. Okay, there's our bad omen. Here comes our raid. Oh, and here comes 250,000 items per hour.
after 12 hours, nearly 12 hours, swapping out the shulker loaders here so that we can take in some bottles instead of emeralds. It's official. 80,000 bottles for the honey farm. Now I just got to transfer all of these back and forwards from here to the honey farm, which is going to be it, that that's that's just going to be a nightmare all on its own. Three trips. I'm thinking three trips. Trip one is going to be to clear the inventory and the ender chest. Trip two is going to be for all of the glass bottles, and I might actually be able to get them as long as. Oh. And perfect. We're going to do it all in two trips, including all the sticks that I need for the system. Ow. Excuse you. Now to just get these things back to the honey farm. Bingo. And there. 76,000 plus bottles in place, ready to get loaded into the system. This is going to take... I don't even know. And that actually didn't take very long at all, only about 45 minutes. So it is official. We have 86,000 bottles in place, including some over the reloading station back there. This is a lot of bottles. This is going to be, if I run out of honey after all of this, I don't know. We'll just, I'll probably just add more bottles. In. But it's time for me to decorate this and get all of these bees. Yeah, bred up and ready to go. I got two up there already. I think three. But first, I got to go get a couple of things. I need some terracotta. I need yellow terracotta. I need yellow everything. Yellow concrete, yellow wool, yellow terracotta, yellow whatever. If it has a shade of yellow, I need it. Because that is what we are going for right there. Except for no... Eh, maybe we'll add in the honey, actually. That looks nice. So we need more resources. And before I go, actually, I'm going to... Where are you, bees? There's one. There's two. And that makes three. Okay, we can go and grab... We need terracotta now. Okay, and 45 seconds later, we have all the yellow that we need. Now we just need the regular terracotta. There's all of our regular terracotta. Now I just need brown. Excuse you. And there is our brown. Okay, now we just need to go and get some gravel and sand so that way we can make some concrete. Sand is easy because it is right here. And now we just need gravel. All right, and there's the gravel that we need for all of this. The only thing that we are missing now from all of this... ...is yellow wool. So we need to go back and we need to dye all of our sheep. there we have all of the materials that we are going to need for this i just need a little bit more which means i think i'm probably going to have to set up a chunk loader here now i'm going to try one more version of a chunk loader and if this one ever stops working on me i i swear i'm giving up on chunk loaders forever and that is it right there so all it is is a boat that goes back and forwards to the nether there's a piece of soul sand burning on the other side and we're gonna have to see this one is by a guy named dark um, we'll see how long it lasts. But with that loaded, we should have everything we need, and I can now get started. I just need to go make some yellow concrete. And after all of that, I have everything that I need in order to try and mirror that right there. So that's what we're going for. That is our color palette that we need right there. The only thing I need to grab is our wool. Let's go check on it. And this chunk loader, hopefully this chunk loader is working. And it is still working. Okay. But that is our color palette right there in order to try and match that. I don't know. You think we can do it? I think I can do it. I don't know. I'm not a very good builder. You guys know how I am with building. What the hell? But we're going to give this a shot. I need my little bee shop. I need my honey. I just have to try to remember that while I'm doing this, I need to breed the bees. Ready? Are you ready? We're not quite done yet, but 
that's it right there. I think I did pretty good. Other than getting these two colors reversed and mixed up, like that one's supposed to be brighter than that one. And I possibly could have chosen another color for that right there because that's extremely bright and so is that. But I'm not going to lie. I kind of like it the way it is. The only thing we're missing is some more bees around it and possibly a flower and some vegetation. But look at the size of this thing. And no, I am nowhere near done with the bees or even with the interior. The interior is not staying like this. But we do have honey coming in already. It's actually kind of, uh, yeah. That row right there already has a bunch of bees inside of it and it's sweet. And hopefully, I think I should maybe trap that guy in there while I can. You're in. But that is it so far right there. But I'm all out of brown dye in order to make brown glass for the roof, which kind of sucks because brown dye is a literal nightmare to get. But I'm thinking I need two more bees flying around this place with a couple of flowers. And then obviously I gotta do the grass around here and make it look pretty good. But there it is, chunk of bees sticking her head out, like what's going on? But we need two more bees. I'm thinking one up here and one down there, but I, I've gotta put a halt on everything. Because as of right now, I need to try and get two bees in absolutely every single one of these. We're almost there. I mean, you can see that those guys have made a home in that one and that one. I just need a few more bees. So I just need to go and get some more flowers. So to start, I'm going to build some scaffolding so that way I can get up to all of these bees, no problem. And then I'm going to try and get two bees in each one of these holes so that way I can just start the breeding. And I have no idea how long this is going to take, so... Yeah. Okay, and are you guys ready for this? Are you ready? Are you ready? It has been hours. Can you see all the extra bees? It is nighttime. I think the sun is coming up. Oh my God. Look at them all. Look at all of the bees. And already I have a barrel plus full of honey. Look at it just pouring in. This is actually incredible. It's taken so long in order to get here, but I don't care. Like, listen to them all. Hopefully they don't do that disappearing thing like they did in 1.18 because I will be extremely depressed. But there we go. 300 plus bees. I'm going to get rid of the extra ones tonight when they all go and fall asleep and go into their bees nest. But there they all are. I absolutely... This is crazy. And the best thing about all of this is that... The bottle reloading station. Hold on, I need room. Literally works flawless. Look at here it comes. It reloads everything to 64. Goes up and around. Comes around this side, returns down here, and then we are ready to go again. I mean, look at this. And it doesn't go unless it needs bottles in that, which is just perfect. This is so loud in here. But there it is. I've got hours and hours worth of bottles and honey to collect. So while we do that, I need to add in a couple more bees out here and some flowers. Like I said, I'm thinking one giant bee, or not giant, smaller than the chunk of bee. But I need one bee up there, one over here, and then I'm thinking like a flower, maybe? Or a flower? I'm not sure. I'm thinking flower. Flower, bee, bee, and then decor. It's gonna look good, but how do I build a full bee? Um, I need scaffolding, I need yellow, I need brown. Okay, so there's the main part of the bee. I think he's in a good location. Yep, he looks pretty good, but why is he so dark? Oh, he's under the shed. Oh, that is lame. Whatever. And there is the rest of them. I'm a little mad that he's underneath the shadow of this thing. I might have to actually just... That thing doesn't even work anymore. So I might just have to blow that all up with some TNT. Because I don't like how shiny Chunk of Bee's face is versus... Like, he just looks dull. Whatever. So far, it's looking pretty good. I need one more bee, and then I need to work on the flower now. There, both bees are now done. What type of flower do you think I should put in here? Sunflower? Honestly, I don't know how much yellow I have left. But now for the flower. Where's this one? I like this one right here where it kind of bends over. I never realized that flowers did that. But I'm going to grab as many of these that I can carry back right now. And that's not very many because I came with a full inventory. Let's grab as many of these that we absolutely can with all the bone meal that we brought. 
And let's spam these around here and see what it looks like. I forgot that they always face the sun. That's kind of lame. Hold on. Okay, I installed two resource packs. One of them has the sunflowers facing random directions, which... I mean, I don't mind. I don't mind that at all. And another one that turns them fancy. Look at those things. Holy. You know what? I actually... I'm not gonna lie. I really like those. I really like those a lot. I actually really, really like those. Those look... Those look amazing. Okay, last but not least, before I do a little bit more decorating, like maybe adding in one big giant flower, is we need to light up this sign. Looks very good. And now that I'm looking at all of it, I can already... I can already vision it. We need to do that flower that, like, drapes over. Where is it? Either this one or the other one. We need to do that flower draping over off of that over top of the sunflowers right there. What do you guys think? I don't care because that's what I'm doing. I'm sorry. It looks beautiful. I think I could have put a little bit more green in there, like maybe some dark green in the bottom, but those are those are my little flowers. They got end rods for lights on the inside, so it lights up at nighttime. <laughs> but there it is. I am just realizing now that I am over 100 days into this entire build and episode. This is crazy. All because of the bottles, though. I'm blaming it on the bottles. 80,000 80, bottles is a little bit too extreme. Hello, bees. Remind me next episode that I need to go out and get some more brown dye, too, or somehow make, like, a brown dye. I don't even know. I missed the top of the bee. Hold on. I literally forgot to fill in Chunk of Bee's face. I'm sorry. Oh, the minecart is going. But this thing, this thing is flawless. In the amount of time that I've built this thing and then decorated and did all that, look at the amount of honey that I have. This is crazy. And, and... I mean, it just literally keeps coming in. What is that? And I don't know how. I don't know how. But a bee died. A bee died. So we're going to have to pay attention to this thing and make sure that we've got enough bees where we need them. Because that that is that is sad. Why would they die? I have no idea. I'm losing my bees, I think. But oh my, what a build. Lots of honey. Lots of honey on the way. Lots of honey on the way. Now I just need to think of what else I'm going to need in here. Because I'm turning this whole thing into a passive... A passive farming district. I think what I need to do is find out if there's a slime chunk in here somewhere and make myself a really overkill slime farm. Because with honey, you need slime. And with both of those things, you can make some serious, some serious redstone contraptions. And that is what I'm going for. And then I don't know what else we need in here. We need, definitely need iron, slime. But that's it. There's my little honey shop, my little honey factory. I'm already in love. Now I just need to go and fly away somewhere and do something for about an hour and then come back. And hopefully that thing will be producing some honey. Look at the size of that compared to the... I actually didn't think that that thing was going to be that big. It is comparable to the... What? I think I went a little overkill. I don't care. I'm going to build something or clean something up. And Chuck! 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 I just came over here to say that you suck. Okay, it is iron day. It is iron time. It's time for me to upgrade my iron farm because it is relying on a chunk loader. And far too often, these things here just break and stop working. And they have become the bane of my existence. Oh, sorry. I don't have a hole on me. So last episode, I began clearing out spawn chokes to create a farming district. I want all the passive and consistent farms in here. I want all of them. And this time, it's time for iron. I'm not sure how big I want this thing, though. I mean, it is going to be in spawn chunks. It is going to be running 24-7. The honey farm over here is over here just literally just ripping. It is producing bottles at an extreme rate. I mean, that is six, uh, like uh, seven already. And look at my honey. So this is kind of crazy. I don't know if I need to go this extreme on the iron farm. Where's my door? The only problem is, is that it is going to be portal based. So it has to be away. It has to be away from everything. So I'm thinking we hide it back here somewhere in this little low area. But for this, I'm going to need some materials. I'm going to need a whole bunch of obsidian, at least 48 beds, maybe more. 
And there's all the materials I need right there. We don't need any redstone whatsoever for this setup, which is going to be kind of sweet. But what we do need is we need pillagers. I just remembered. So hopefully while we're building all of this, one of those roaming raid party things comes around. But I need an area to put this farm. So I need to clear this area out a little bit. So I need to get the old flick flick. And now the plan is to not kill flick flick. Okay, that is the goal. So we grab some of these, put them in our left hand. And the plan is to not let Flick Flick die. Still alive. Oh! Flick Flick will never die. Me, on the other hand, I might be a dead man. Okay, lots more to go. And look at that, right on cue, as I said it. I fly away in a roaming, that is just random. That is random, but that is three. I need four. Where's my name tags? That is random. Dude, an idiot me doesn't even have... Where do my name tags go? Get away from me. You're gonna despawn anyways. Okay, richest villagers in Minecraft. Can I have a bundle of name tags, please? Thank you. Oh, you wanna get smacked? Oh, and they're gone. And they're gone. That's right. You see what I mean? If you just start doing stuff, these guys come around. So I'm just going to continue to do stuff and burn. And hopefully we'll get another round. Okay, no new pillager showed up when I was doing all of the clearing, but all of the clearing is done. Now we need to get some villagers over here, though, because we got to get breeding. But how am I to do this? How am I going to get these four guys? Out that hole right there. Okay, there's our rail system in place all the way over. We just now need to get the villagers. I am just going to give these guys a boost here. Okay, there goes villager one. Hopefully it makes it all the way up the stairs with just that little push. And he did. There goes villager two. There they go. Okay, I need villager four now. Villagers are a check. I just need to now feed these guys carrots on a pretty consistent basis. And we should get some baby villagers out of this whole ordeal. And we've already got one. I can see him jumping. So four to five. This actually isn't going to take very long at all. But I am missing two shulker boxes full of beds. I have no idea where I put them. This is just extremely awkward. And look at who I just found. Ha ha ha. See, I told you, you just linger around, and when you clear a big area like this, it's not hard to spot them. These guys, I need to... I need you for... Don't kill each other! No! Oh, this is not good. They're killing each other. What do I do here? Come on, guys. <laughs> Please come with me. I have four minecarts on me, and I only need four of you. I'll take three for now. Okay, I'll take two. I'll take two. Come on. Please come a little closer. Got one of you. And, and, no. What is going on here? Okay, I got two of you. But where'd that other guy go? Did he really die? What did he die of? He didn't die, did he? Oh my god, he went all the way back here. I don't care. Actually, I do. Okay, well, I'm just gonna leave these two guys right here as they are because this is exactly how I need them in minecarts, right like that. But I need two more. And I have a feeling we got far enough away from these guys that they despawned and they did. That is okay. I forget exactly what... Uh, but now I completely forget what I was doing. What was I doing? Oh, I was looking for beds. Never mind, I forgot all about these beds right here from the first time I had to breed up 40-something villagers. 
But seriously, where did I put those beds? I don't know, but six villagers. But now it's time for some pillagers. I, we have an iron golem. I'm not sure how he spawned. He somehow spawned, but it's time for, but it's time for pillagers. Now these guys are easy. We basically just need to get them in a specific location. That looks like this. And then all of them need to go 37 blocks. Or there needs to be a 37 block gap in between the rest of them. And now from here, we need to go out eight blocks. So that is two. And then over eight blocks. And right here is where we need to place each villager pod. So we need to put four of them around each one of these things here. And each one of them needs to look like that, pointing towards the inside to where the pillager is going to be. So I just need to repeat that now another, what, 4, 8, 12, 16. So all four of them got to look like this and go in that spot right there. But now I got to concentrate because I already messed up three different times trying to get the little pillager places thing done. So I'm going through and I got to get all of these in place. And look at the iron golems these guys are already producing. I am already going to be rich on iron. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Look at, I am now, I am one of you. Is he mad at me for beating up his friend? No. Okay, and there's all 16 of our villager pods in place. Now I just need to get all of the villagers in. I don't even think that's 48, but this I'm thinking should be pretty easy. As long as I set these trap doors up sideways like that. And then just let some of these guys free. Let's just see what happens here. Who's going for it? Oh, he's the first one. We got number two, three, four. That is my bed, good sir. Well, that is how we got to do it, though. We basically just got to trap them in there and then remove. I'm going to have to put another one there. And then the same with these guys. Okay, I did that a little too late in the nighttime, but but while we wait for nighttime, it is time for me to set up some portals. So I need one portal for each one of these pods right here, and they all need to be offset from each other. So that way that villager doesn't read that pod's iron golem. And basically this is a little tricky, but I need some glass. Now, this is what I need for each portal for each one of these things. I need... That's what I need right there with a portal dead center for all of them because we're going to be sending all of these iron golems to the nether, smelting them down into iron ingots, and then bringing all of those iron ingots back through that one portal right there. And I have a few more villagers that I need to put in over in that back one. But now I need to take the coordinates of this portal right here, and I am just going to light it. And I got to go over to the nether, and I got to build a portal there nice and low so that way all of the iron golems come back through the bottom portal. Hopefully I get this right. Okay, and I have no idea what portal this is for, but that's where my portal has got to go. So this, I think this has got to go. Where is this taking me? What the heck? It brought me up to the light suppressor. Okay, well, this portal has got to go. And ours right here, we're actually going to make this. I'm going to build this as low as I can so that way I don't mess with anything else around here. Okay, now hopefully, cross your fingers, this brings us back through the center portal right there in the iron farm. And it did! Okay, my math, math is good. I'm joking, I used a calculator. Oh, you would. That's okay, you can blow this up because it needs to go. What the? Oh no, my iron farm. Whatever, we'll deal with that when we get back over there. Right now, I need to set up the iron smelter. And it's literally that easy. I just need some lava. One for that side, another for this side, and then we need glass. Let me glass it. It's not letting me glass it. I just screwed everything up. I screwed everything up, and I am burning. Okay, it looks like we got to take the long way back. And what are these two guys doing? They're almost an identical pair. Should I keep these guys? Should I keep- I'm gonna die. I'm- I'm trying to figure out if I should keep these guys. Spider, leave him alone. Oh. We're not keeping those guys. Okay, let's go fix my chaotic mess. I don't know why I decided that I had to go through that portal. 
But everything is a mess down here. But that is all we need for the portal right there in order to smelt these iron golems down. Two lava streams into a portal and their little fat butts are going to get cooked. But we need to see now if all of these portals go through the one that links to that. And then we need to set up the storage for that. Yep, and it links up. So now what we can do is we can go back and we can set up our storage system. And this, this is incredibly easy. We just need a bunch of hoppers. What is that? Mm -hmm. How are we going to set this up? And this, this is incredibly easy. So I'm thinking three double speed loaders that are going to feed down into one single chest. Yep, that'll do. But now we need to pull the items from this portal right here into these hoppers, which is actually extremely easy. And that is how easy it is. And then we're going to do the end one. And we should be able to squeeze the third minecart in here. Okay, and we are in business. Replace these stone here with some glass so that way no iron golems can spawn. Relight the portal, protect absolutely everything with glass so that way no pigmen can spawn and screw up our little arrangement here. And that is the start to our storage system right there. Let's go take a fly over. I don't see any. No pillagers again, but it's time. We need to get these last villagers in place. Okay, everybody wake up. We got new beds for you. Okay, come on, it's the villager bed train. We need you guys to get moving along. Oh, I almost punched you. Okay, there's the first three up. This is already taken almost all night. We need to hurry it up, guys. Okay, there's five. Let's go, six. No, I have not been awake that long. <gasps> yeah, I literally arrowed that guy in the face and all he did was just run to bed. After he spawned an iron golem to kill me. Okay, let's go, bud. You're the last one and daytime is coming. Oh my goodness. I don't know why this one villager is taking so long. Yes. Get up there. Okay, this pod is done. This pod is done. Okay, and these two pods are done now. I can't believe that took all night to do. That is crazy. But honestly, it doesn't matter. Because I have 48 villagers, right? 3, 6, 9, 12, 12, 24, 36, 48. I have 48 villagers all in place, sleeping where they need to be. Now I just need to shield them from the pillagers and get the pillagers in place. Actually, I think I have another trick I can do this. So first things first is to get rid of all of the iron golems that are around here because no more should spawn on the ground. And now let's just run some powered rails. And then let's light all of these portals and let's go get some pillagers and see if we can get some iron spawning. Okay, all portals are lit. I just need to connect the rail system up. System is set. I am just missing one very important puzzle piece to all of this that I need to go and grab right now. Okay, I need one of those. Another one of those. And there, these are crucial for this farm. They keep the pillager dead center. Okay, those are in place. Now we can go get a pillager. And everybody, cross your fingers that this goes over smoothly. Knowing me and how this channel goes, it is not it is not going to go over smoothly. Okay, pillager is coming down. Pillager is going over. Pillager is going up. And he has not fallen. What is going on here? Okay, this is not going as planned. My amethyst shard screwed everything up. Where did he even go? Oh no, I forgot to sleep again. Oh, the rail system. Come, 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 come. Go, 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 go. Oh, and we do not want that. There we go. Okay, that is what he's supposed to look like right there, everybody. Why didn't they put him in that one over there, though? I don't know, but already this should be a true testament right here. Let's see. Ooh, I already heard a nine golem. Okay, and with him in place, that is the farm ready. We just need to do that three more times now. But let's just see if we actually have any iron coming through. And we do. We've already got over a stack. This is crazy. Okay, and there's pillager number two in place. Let's go see if we can spawn in a raid party and get three and four because... We're literally done. We're already rolling in iron and flowing in iron. We just need to go and get more pillagers in this farm. Ah! 
Okay, it's been like 20 minutes and there's nothing. Nothing. But I have pillagers, so... Rather than wait for these raid members to spawn, I'm just gonna steal two from here. The only problem is, is we can't let the Ravager out. Okay, how am I gonna get two pillagers out and everybody else stay in here? Maybe this is how? Oh, the witch is killing everybody. We don't want the witch to kill everybody. Stop shooting each other. Okay, well, we're down to one. Let's go, mister. Let's go. Okay, he's minecarted. Now I just need to get him over to there. Okay, there's number three in place, and that is good to see, so we know we need to clear that out a little bit. Okay, one villager to go. And we gotta figure out where these iron golems are spawning to. Probably like that grass right there. We gotta get rid of them. But let's go get villager four. And get him all... Never mind. The miracle actually happened. I've been waiting for you guys for so many days. It has literally eaten up like 30 Minecraft days. Not really, but just waiting for you guys. The only problem is, is I only need one of you now. And I've got them, so... Okay, let's get him in place, and then I gotta build the stairways for him and not let him get killed by this iron golem over here. Okay, rails are run. What the? We still have iron golems spawning somewhere, though. Don't care, though. Last pillager is set off and ready. Okay, he's boxed in. He is in place, and there we go. The iron farm is set. I just got to remove all of this junk. All right, and there, everything is clear. Everything is all cleaned up, and the iron farm is rolling. We have no iron golems spawning outside anywhere, and I have a feeling after all of this time, that double chest is probably already full. Let's go see. And it is. Okay, this is a little... We're going to have to set up a storage system. Okay, and there's the storage system. It took a little while to get this going. I thought I was originally just going to do a bunch of double storage chests down. <laughs> but this is what we have come up with. And it is amazing. So basically what we are doing here is we are capturing both iron and a little bit of poppies. We don't need very many. And then the rest of the poppies are being pulled down from these two hoppers here. So this is basically the bottle separator that's over at the honey farm. But set up here to separate the poppies. And they're, they're getting converted into bone meal down into these chests. This is the amount of iron that I'm going to capture and basically hold on to. And then the rest, once it gets down to the end here, basically it's just going to spit it out and get rid of it. So I don't even know. I don't even know how much iron that is, but I'm sure that's plenty. Plus, I've already got that a beacon box full. And to be honest with you, really, this is just mainly to keep up with the hoppers. Hoppers are so annoying. But there it is. Iron farm plus storage system is pretty much done. We have iron coming in at a very consistent rate, which as you can see, is kind of insane. But there it is. There is the iron farm. It is done. I was thinking about putting a second layer on this thing, but we're getting 491 iron per, per pod, per pod times 16 pots so like what is i don't even know i'm not even doing the math on that one and behind me are two ocean monuments oh what the hell i'm trying to do an intro and behind me are two ocean monuments double monuments most worlds only spawn with one but i got lucky and my world farted and it blessed me with two ocean monuments side by side the first ocean monument took over 100 days to drain and in this video i'm gonna see how long it takes for me to completely drain the second monument so that i have enough room for a massive expansion how long is this gonna take i have no idea that one took 100 days but for this one i've got two fancy little machines that might just make this a little bit easier but first there's zombies everywhere inside my base i am under attack 
Okay, two big things that I need to do before we do a major, major base upgrade. And one of them is that we need to completely fix all of our nether portals. I mean, this is just horrible. That's the nether portal for the bad omen farm. That thing is just, I mean, look at how exciting it is. It's just booming with excitement. And so are some of these other portals. I mean, there's the EOL portal. That thing is just terrible. And this, this is the double ocean monument portal. It is completely disgusting. So we need to upgrade some of these things. But before we do that, I've got another thing that I want to do. When I was doing the world tour, I forgot that I have some projects that I need to complete that I have um completely abandoned, like the double ocean monument. I mean, this thing is glorious, but I need to finish this. I can't believe that I have completely pretty much abandoned this thing. It is absolutely disgusting. The only trouble is, is draining it. But for this, I am going to need two things. I need a lot of sand and I need my mob switch going because these guys can be a nightmare. And I think I'm going to need a little bit more sponge. I don't know what happened to it all, but it has mysteriously disappeared and I have 19. Blech. But okay, let's go. I need to get my mob switch going. You guys can just burn. But for this, I'm going to have to turn on my shulker farm because I completely shut this thing down and I can't remember why. Ow. Oh. Ah, uh, stop it. And this should be fairly easy. I mean, here is the farm right here. So I'm going to need some iron from the iron farm in order to make some mine carts. And this is the mob switch. I'm actually really upset at myself for turning it off because now I need to reload it. And literally all I need to do is just at the press of a switch. I think it's that right there. It turns on. Okay. But to restart this, oh my God, I have so many shulkers here in the overworld that there's one on top. I don't even know how that is possible, but I'm just gonna do this and send the minecart out. And this should hopefully get the farm going again. Okay, he's going down. Oh, I'm going up. This is terrible. But it looks like the farm is working because that shulker is down and in place. The only thing left to do now is to redo my entire runway right here. I just need some rails. Okay, that looks like it might be enough. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna flip this lever right here and let's go take a fly around, especially since it's nighttime. And let's go see if we have turned off the mobs. I think it's worked. I don't see anybody at all. I see absolutely nothing. It's just all friendly, friendly mobs. Okay, well, it looks like that is working and ready. Even with three of them not in place, it has turned off all of the mobs. The only way to find out for sure, though, is to go over to the nether and go to our guardian farm. Because if it worked, that means there should be no guardian spawning whatsoever from here, hopefully. And there is none spawning. We have a couple of strays left over from the last time that they were here, but ah, there is none. Get out of here. It is a thing of beauty. Cheater mode has officially been activated. Okay, now what I need to do though is I need to go around and I need to collect some more sponge. The only problem is, is there's about 10 ocean monuments in this ocean right here and I've cleared all of them. I've cleared all of them out of their sponge. Look, there's one hidden right there. There's another one literally right there. There's another one over there, maybe. I don't know, is that a, I don't think that's one. Nope. So I need to find myself a new ocean in order to get this sponge because, oh, ocean number two. But there's no ocean monuments though. I've just flown over thousands of blocks of this ocean and there is no ocean monument. But that reminds me, now that I've just run into the raid farm, there's like six ocean monuments around the 250K raid farm. So, oh, okay. Ocean Monuments, where are you? There's the first one. Oh, and he hit us already. I'm just going in right here. Oh, and the first thing I see is sponge. Okay, did we bring the hoe? I did bring a hoe. Okay, and not bad. 28 sponge. Let's just go see if there's any more. Nope. Okay, I didn't see any more sponge, but we got 28 from the first one. Oh, here is the second one. Let's just go in right here. Okay, okay. Oh, sponge. 
Oh my god, they don't last very long, do they? Where is Bethany? I'm drowning. I need my hoe. Let's look at how fast hoes work. Boom, and just like that, we have 60 already. Oh, he hit me. Okay, not bad, not bad. Let's go see what the other ones have. Okay, so far, nothing from the third one. Oh, and it's got a sponge room. Okay, and already we are over a stack of sponge. Not bad. Found another one. And just like that, we're almost at two stacks. Okay. I go. Oh, but look at he dropped me a sponge and his head. Uh -huh. Hello there. Oh God, I am dying. I need to drink milk. I need to break my way out of here. And I need air. Oh, okay. Almost two stacks. And we have another ocean monument. Where's my helmet? Oh, I see you. But all I want is sponge. Okay, so far no sponge. This monument sucks. Your monument sucks. Maybe you'll give me sponge though. And you did. Thank you. And I already see another ocean monument. This is so easy with cheater mode. Mob switches activated. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of feel like I'm just playing creative mode here. Nothing. Something. And so far, I don't even know how many we have raided, but I think only one hasn't had a sponge room in it, which is very exciting because we're almost at two full... No, what am I... I can't even do math anymore. I'm so excited. Three full stacks. Okay, we're off. I've got to dry all of this. Ah, so satisfying. Three stacks of sponges. Dried. Okay, thank you, Bethany. You've been fantastic. I will call you when I need you. Okay, and it is drying time. I've got all my sponge. I've got everything I need. The only thing I need to grab is gravel and sand. And then we are draining. Okay, down to the storage. Let's see how much... That is not going to be anywhere near enough. But that will definitely get us started. But I'm definitely going to need more. But other than that, we are good. We've got all the sand. I've got one full of sand, a half of one, and then a little bit full of gravel. But we are pretty much surrounded by sand. So this is going to be fairly easy. Now, my normal way of doing this is usually by placing sand as fast as possible on the way up. But I think for this one, we are going to try something a little bit different. Because honestly, that's a nightmare and that is a lot. That is a lot of mouse and keyboard work. Okay, now what happens if I just go observer, observer, piston, oh, ow, oh. And hold on, that's wrong because that is, that is way too slow. I could have already gotten half this done already if I could dilly dally it. Now if I just do that instead and power it. There we go. Look at how fast that piston is. Am I going to be able to place anything? Oh my goodness. Look at how fast that is. I need sand and I need sand now. Oh my goodness. This is going to be so much faster than the way I was doing it. Okay, here it is. Last row. Almost done. Almost. This little contraption that I've created made this so fast. Am I done yet? So close. I'm, I'm stuck now.
and I think that means I'm done. I am. I am officially finished. Look at this. Look at this. Four trips to the desert, probably 12 shulker boxes, maybe more of sand and gravel. But look at it. I am ready to drain it. That is extreme. That is... That is crazy. This little contraption right here, this made quick work of whatever I was doing. And I absolutely love it. And all it is is literally this. I'll show you how to build it. Let's say you wanted to continue your line this way. All you got to do is come down to the end and put down your piston with an observer behind it and then jump up, leave a two block gap and place down a sticky piston, flip yourself around, observer, power the entire thing, and then just use pick block and then you are placing. Look at how fast those blocks are dropping. It's actually pretty sweet. Now, if you want to put a dispenser on it, all you have to do is just do the same thing. Piston, dirt, and then your observer. Leave your two block gap and place your sticky piston in. Flip yourself around, observer, power it. Come back to the dirt block that is right there, whatever it is. Place down your dropper and then fill it with like nine stacks. And once you've done that, literally, you can just sit here and do this. Until the whole row of 12 is done. It's actually kind of, uh oh, what have I done? It's actually really amazing. I don't think there's a faster contraption than that right there. Okay, but now, now I have the fun task of draining everything. I don't know if I'm going to drain all of it or if I'm going to leave a little at the back and a little here. I have no idea. None, but I kind of have a theme of what I want to build for this thing, but that's probably going to be next episode because this is so much effort. Okay, I need a furnace array and I left, I left my furnace box at the actual base. This is terrible. Well, ripped to my fuel box. I don't know where I placed it. And there was stacks. It's stacks of coal. Okay, now I just need a little bit of, yep, cobblestone in order to make myself some more furnaces because that is just terrible. And I'm going to do that right there. And as ugly as that is, I don't really care because now all I got to do is just put my wet sponge in here. And they're going to get divided equally. Which is kind of nice. Now the only thing that I need is where is my Bethany? Hello there. Okay, now, if I remember correctly, doing that right there is bullcrap. I think what we need to do is this. The only problem was, is that was a stack right there. But whatever, this is working out really well, actually. So I'll see you guys in, I don't even know. Oh boy, are you guys ready? I am almost finished. I got one little section left to do, but I gotta run some sand across it. But the only problem is, is I'm out of sand. So it's time for us to remove some of these little pillars. I need to be careful. I'm not holding my totem. It's amazing. Not bad for 14 hours worth of effort right there. That is just insane. Now what I need though is I need some torches. Do I have any wood? I have no wood. I'm probably going to need 9,000 more torches in this, but... Oh, and I forgot. I also have to build myself a container around this because we don't want any of the water to start flowing out everywhere. Look at the little fishies. Okay, you know what? Let's go grab some glass. Back to the base. I also need to turn the mob switch off because that, that was way too easy to do that. There was no danger. No danger doing that. And I am in a hardcore world. Give me all of the glass, please. Okay, and I think I'm finished. I think that's it. I got this one little section right here that I almost forgot, but oh my goodness. The things I get myself into. The crazy stuff that I get myself into. Okay, but we are good. I think what I can actually do now is probably go turn off the mob switch. But first, I just need some sand. I'm not running back to a desert just to get sand. Ooh, magic sand. It's floating on top of torches. It's 
So satisfying. Okay, and just like that, our sand has been placed. Let's go grab the sponge. And let's see how fast this is. This one's a little bit shorter. I've been doing all the other ones in fours. I'm going to do this one in three and see how fast. Look at how much water that takes out. Okay, the fact that I drained that with less than two stacks of sponge is actually kind of crazy. Now I just got to get all of this water out of here. Oh, and there we go. We did it. Oh. There. Now we did it. The waterfall is officially clear and open. Oh my god, it's taking so long. So long, everybody. But... There's no water left except for the water for the farm and for my waterfall for what I have. Except for, for the farm. But I can't leave this like this. I want to be able to see what we're working with. So I've got to get rid of all of this sand and then I've got to go over and we got to turn cheater mode off. I've got to turn off the mob switch and get all of the mobs going again. I probably could have just used infus potions since I do have the brewing station, but that would have been a lot of back and forwards. Okay, I just need to go get some fireworks, some gunpowder and paper because I am completely empty and I have three left. One to get up here. One to get me back to the sword. And another one to get me over to the gunpowder. I'm coming. All right, and I'm restocked. Let's just go and see how long it's gonna take for me to knock down all of that sand. Did I bring any? I brought one. Hopefully I brought some extra shulker boxes with me. There's one, and now we have two. Two of them are completely drained. Well, almost completely drained. And, 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 check it out. Look at what I got. See how ugly it looks behind me? Watch this. Look at that. I installed a resource pack that has no border on the glass, which is actually kind of nice. So now we can see everything. Okay, two things that we need to do. Look at this. We need to fly around in circles. Because everything has been cleared except for the water that is inside the ocean monument. But look at that. Dual monuments completely drained. Okay, let's go turn off the mob switch. And then let's see how this thing runs and what it looks like with all of the glass like that. Okay, there's all the shulkers. Let's just... How am I going to deactivate this? By doing that. Okay, that's good enough. Now let's go back to the farm. And we're back one more time. And look at... Let's just see. Oh, yes. Does it look like it's working more? It actually kind of does. I'm not going to lie. But it does look like some are sinking down, which means I'm probably going to have to go in and add a little bit more soul sand. But it's working. Cheater mode has been deactivated. I'm just going to get rid of this what right here. What oh, yeah, that? that's... I have a stone shovel. I'm only allowing myself to use stone shovels for the next little bit because I broke Dig Dig. I absolutely, oh, I'm so mad at myself. So my punishment is stone shovels. Okay, but farm is looking great. Everything is all clear. And now we just need to think of some designs to put in here. I have no idea, but all of that right there is literally like 17 hours of gaming. So, and this, this is my punishment. This is my punishment for, oh, it, uh, how did I take no damage there? And other than destroying my own shovel and punishing myself with only stone shovels from now on, this is what I get for using a mob switch. And are you listening? Are you listening? This is getting put on hold for just two minutes because Minecraft 1.20 is here. I mean, it's been here and it is time for me Come here. to upgrade this world. Get so close right now. I created a 1.20 test world and there was so much new stuff that I am just way too excited that today, today everybody, we are going we're going on an adventure. I wonder how many farms are going to break when I upgrade to this, though. And apparently there's baby camels now, too, and I am extremely excited about that. So it's time to upgrade. Oh, look at this. Look at this. We are updated. 
Oh, okay, we got everything. Golden Bamboo is back. Got our totem. Oh my god, the search menu is so beautiful. And we even got shaders. Okay. Okay, we are updated. Everything is looking good. But we have a whole to-do list that we've got to get through today. Because there are new blocks. We've got new signs. There are new bookshelves. There's pattern pots. We've got armor templates. I mean, I completely forgot that I needed to upgrade all of my tools to netherite before I up... Oh my goodness, because apparently we need something else in order to get netherite tools now. I don't even know if there's new challenges and... And there's an entirely new biome. So we have so much. I have so much that I need to do today. Fireworks are loaded. Food is stocked up. Let's go see if I can find myself some bamboo. Because first up on the list is going to be, obviously, the new bamboo block. So let's go find ourselves a bamboo forest. I know there's one around here somewhere. Okay, and here is... Yep, there's more of it. There's our bamboo. Let's just chop a lot of this down and see exactly what these new... Oh, see, look at this. We've already got an achievement for it. And let's just see what we can create from this. I have yet to see what these blocks look like in person. Okay, and I'm not quite sure why I had to decapitate half a bamboo forest just to make... Actually, I'm not even sure how to make them. <gasps> oh, that's how. <gasps> what? There's like different types? And there's doors and stuff? Oh my goodness. And then you can make mosaic slabs? What is this? Okay, and I'm not even sure what I just threw together right there, but there's a little bamboo shop. I actually really like those blocks, especially the mosaic ones right there. And being able to turn those into slabs is actually, that makes for a pretty decent looking floor. Okay, well, it looks like I'm going to have to set my A. That actually scared me. Looks like I'm gonna have to set myself up some sort of bamboo farm in order to get my hands on a whole bunch of bamboo. But that should be no problem. Okay, next up on the list now, what we need to do is we need to head back to the, we need to go back to the base. Back here at the base, one of the main things that I've always wanted to do in this is always store the books that these guys are selling when you get extra ones like above them or around them. And with the new bookshelves that we got, that is now possible and I am in love because no longer do you have to have, no longer is it going to be like this where it's just randomness. Now the real question is, how do you make chiseled bookshelves? How, what the? Why is that recipe not showing up in my inventory? I am so mad. What the heck? But it doesn't matter because finally, I can take this Power 3 book that has been sitting in that for so long, and I can store it right in there. And it's that easy to get it out. Oh my goodness, this is... I'm not even speaking English anymore. Okay, I have two Feather Falling books. Who is selling Feather Falling? You are, so are you. You're actually selling the Feather Falling 4. So these are going right in like that. And did you just see that? Placing the books in here is actually directional. There's little slots that are right there and you actually have to place it in there. Oh, and each slot gets a different thing. Look at how sick. Oh my God, that is something that I've always wanted in Minecraft and it is actually a thing now. I can store all my books there's fire aspect and I have a fire aspect book so you are getting a green one no a turquoise one and there's my fortune three guy okay we need to do a little bit more decorating with this and possibly set up um something a little more gigantic now what I can also do is this section over here right where these guys are is I originally wanted to set up a small little library right here I mean I started it to store all of the enchanted books that we get from when we go hunting and stuff like this. And I want to have them all in their own little row, like a real library with some signs in there. And that actually reminds me now, we can make hanging signs. So how do I, um, how do we do that? I'm assuming that we're going to need some chains because in the picture they have chains. I don't see no hanging sign. I still don't see no hanging sign. I still don't see no hanging sign. Oh my god, these stupid things are so expensive. Have you seen this? Have you seen this? Nope. That doesn't even do it. Oh my goodness, these are so expensive. I am offended. I don't even have enough logs in order to strip logs in order to make a sign. 
Oh my goodness, why are those so expensive? I don't need six of them. You can make them less expensive and just give me three. That's not even the whole. Those are so expensive, I forgot what I even needed the hanging sign for in the first place. Oh yeah, I was talking about my library. Look at that. We can now make hanging signs. I am going to make my own recipe and I am going to add it to the game where all I have to do is take an existing sign, add two chains to it, and then it is a hanging sign. I mean, that is what you would do in real life. You wouldn't even. You would take this chain and you would cut it in half and then you would just... Ah! I miss that so much. Okay, next up on the list, what we are going to need is, um, well, there's some new armor stuff, so we're gonna have to go hunting for some armor stuff. And there is patterned pots. I don't even, I don't even know. But before we get into any of that shenanigans, let's go see if we can find ourselves some new mobs. I don't know how far out I am gonna have to go because apparently there is new baby camels and I am all for that. So let's go see. I wonder how far I'm gonna have to fly out. Let's just take the portals. Okay, here's the furthest portal in the nether that I own. I am just gonna fly way out this direction. Okay, and there it is. The furthest portal. Let's go find ourselves some camels and a sniffer. Everything out here is incredibly laggy, which means that this is definitely new territory. Let's go find a desert. We need a desert. Oh my goodness, you guys are in danger. Oh my goodness, and I am in danger of probably finding an alley. I have not yet found one in Hardcore Minecraft. I found some, and I found some. Oh my goodness, these guys have been around forever, and I have just found four of them now. This is so sad. All of you guys are gonna die. I don't know why it's so laggy, and I don't care. Oh, you guys are done for. You guys are done for. Why is the other iron golem not getting out of his thing? That's why. Freedom! Attack everybody. Murder everybody in his Mortal Kombat time. That was perfect, my friends. And you know what? I even have... I have heals for you. Look at me, I am a perfect medic. Okay, but I found some alleys. I have not... It has been... Oh my god, it has been since the last update. <laughs> and I finally found some. Now what I need, though, is we, we actually do... We need a desert. Look at all the trip wires. Look at these guys are all little tricksters. And oh my goodness, finally. I was looking back there trying to find pandas, and I look forward, and I have found a desert, I think. Yeah, I found a desert. Oh, apparently I'm looking for desert villages. I'm not even looking for biomes. I need to find myself a new desert village. Okay, okay. There's one right there, but look at this coral reef. Everybody, look at this. It's disgusting how cool that coral reef is. It's literally disgusting. Okay, but here's our desert village. There's even another one way over there. I just seen it. But let's go check and see, because there should be a camel in here somewhere. Hopefully, stop lagging. And I was going to say I already see one, but it was just this guy's face. Oh! Oh! And there's our camel. And I am riding the camel. Oh, jeez. Oh, Excuse me. Oh, the camel is now taking me for a ride. Look at this. Victory is mine. Oh, look at it. And it's sitting. It's... Oh, I knew these guys were going to be great. Okay, now I wonder, because there was actually a saddle inside that desert temple, but there's another one right here. Let's go see what happens if we grab a saddle and we try to ride this guy. None, but we got a fortune one. Don't need it. Ooh, armor. Can these guys take armor? <gasps> and what are these? Dune armor trim? What? Okay. A golden apple. Okay. A saddle. That is exactly what we need. And I don't even know what I just got, but I got something very, I think, I hope. But let's go see what happens when we add this saddle to the camel right here. If it's even possible. And it is. Are we now able to? And we can. What the heck? And what does he do? I'm trying to get him to jump, but apparently he's not jumping. He's doing... What is he doing? I don't understand that, but you, sir, are absolutely cool. Do you take bamboo by any chance? No. What do you feed a camel? Is it hay? No, nope, it's not even hay. Is it bread? No, it's not bread. Is it bush? No, nope, apparently it's not bush either. What about cacti? 
It is cacti. What? I would say that's strange, but that's not strange at all. I actually, I really enjoy that behavior. Okay, we need to go and find another camel or two camels. Look at that. Because I had one mission and that mission was baby camel. But there seems to be only one camel over here, which is not when I, I was expecting to. Okay, well, I'm going to chalk this up to camels only spawn one inside a village. And we're going to take this guy for the long run. Ride, good sir. Look at his face. Okay, we're back at the village. Now, if you will, please, camels. Oh, I don't know. You're getting in position. Oh, and there it is. We've got ourselves a baby camel. Almost thought I wasn't recording there for a second. But look at how cute he is. This is amazing. So cute. All right. Well, with him now on the inventory, we're definitely going to have to set them up a nice big giant biome over at the zoo. But now for the next guy, we are going to need, we're going to need one thing. And that is a couple pieces of copper. Okay. And there's our copper. Now what we need to do is go back to this. Where is it? And I was going to say we need to go back to here and get ourselves the string that was down here, but doesn't look like we're going to be doing that. So let's grab the string from this one and let's do so quickly because I'm sure a creeper is just about to fall on me. Oh boy, I'm going to die. And the last thing that we are going to need for this, apparently, is a feather. And with all of that, we can go back to wherever I had my crafting table. Oh, and I'm an idiot. It's not even, it's not even string I need. It is sticks, apparently. And there it is. We've got ourselves an archaeology brush. What do we do here? Oh, look at it sweeping. What am I supposed to sweep, though? I don't know, but somebody on Discord said to look for warm oceans, so I'm at a warm ocean right now. And apparently I am looking for some ruins. And around the ruins, there is going to be some sort of sand that I am looking for. Okay, and it took a minute, but there's one right there, it looks like. Let's go down and see. There is a specific type of sand that I am supposed to be looking for, but apparently it is not here. So I'm just going to chalk that up to not the spot. But apparently this sand can be found around the desert temples too, so let's go search around this one right here. I just want to get an idea of what the sand looks like. Okay, and I think that's it right there. It has a little bit of a darker texture to it or whatever than the regular sand. And it gave me an emerald. I'm just going to clear this section out right here and see what we get from this. And then I'm going to go find another ocean. Okay, I found a structure, but I'm being attacked. Look at them, there's two of them. And that guy just murdered a fish. And from my experiments over at the pyramid, this is the sand we're looking for right here. Cross your fingers. I'm dying. Okay, that is not what we wanted. That doesn't look like what we want either, which is an emerald, which is kind of lame. But what is that? Did it just give me a hoe? It did, it just gave me a wooden hoe. That's disgusting. Okay, one last piece, what is this? Oh, I don't even want it to come out as a fig of his wheat. What is this nonsense? Oh, oh, oh. And after like nine oceans? Just joking, I'm still on the second one, but I have found so many ocean thingamabobbers, but we finally have one, a sniffer egg. Okay, how the heck do I hatch this thing? Actually, hang on. I'm going to look for more just in case. And are we getting another one? No, more sherds. That looks like a hoe. That's a gold nugget. And another gold nugget. Okay, whatever. Okay, but let's go. Because now what I need to do is I need to... How do we hatch this thing? And apparently all I need to do is... That right there. And now I just need to wait. Oh, oh, 
But he's looking for- Oh, that don't steal- Hey! What the- How dare- That- Hey! Don't you sniff me. How dare you sniff me. Okay, well, two hours and twenty- <laughs> Two hours, twenty minutes later, we finally have- our sniffer. I think this is just a little one, though. This is like the little snifflet thing. I mean, I don't know what's going on with his hair, but uh, <laughs> I like it. Now what we got to do is we got to wait 20 minutes for this guy to grow up. And then, <laughs> don't ask me why. I have no idea. But why didn't I spawn this guy back at the base? Why did I do this 14,000? I'm 14. I'm 13,397 blocks away from home. Why didn't I? Why didn't I? Why? I'm an idiot. Okay, and all of this took way too long, but he is officially a big sniffer. And now all I'm waiting for is I'm just waiting to see if this is going to be enough for him in order to sniff out a flower. Nope. Okay, my guy is finding absolutely nothing here. So we are taking him over to the trees. Okay, and let's go, you chunky monkey. Search this area. Okay, this guy is nuts. We have crossed the three hour mark. And we still have no flower. I don't even know. Two hours to find him. 20 minutes to hatch him. 20 minutes for him to grow up. And now it's taken over three hours. And I still have no flower. I originally liked this guy. But, um... Oh, you're lucky. Get out of my face. Okay, well, no torch flower seeds. I'm not even upset about that. <laughs> it is off to the nether we go. Because I need to hunt some bastion stone and we need to get our hands on some more of those little things in order for us to upgrade our weapons. Because yeah, we need this and we need that upgraded. I also need to put enchantments on it. So it is nether time. That guy over there, whatever his name is, I'm just gonna... Honestly, he's not even getting a spot in the zoo. He is on his own. You are not welcome, sir. Oh no, and this is my punishment. They put me inside the netherrack. I'm inside a netherrack maze. I lied. I have found my exit. Okay, now for the nether items, what I need to do is I need to fly out to where my furthest portal is. Here it is. And what I'm going to do is I am going to go through this portal right here. And I'm going to keep flying east until I get so far away that I'm guaranteed to get in some new nether. I mean, right now I am 16,000 blocks out and counting. 17,500 blocks and counting. 18,000 blocks and counting. And I am going to put my portal right up here. And oh my goodness, it's a black bunny. Let's go see. This should put us hopefully in uncharted nether territory. We want to see lava falling from the roof. And the lava is dropping from the ceilings out here. Okay, I think I see a bastion already. Yes, the lava is definitely dropping out here. Okay, I see a bastion and we're going right in. And look at, there's a chest right there. That might be the one that we're looking for. That's another bastion right beside us. Okay, but I'm going in. I gotta be careful. This is one of the most dangerous things that I do and I am so reckless with it. But I need that chest. Wish me luck. <laughs> And there is no template. There's a golden apple, but no template, and I don't even know why. Okay, let's go look for some other chests then, since that one does not have a template in it. I found another chest. And there is a template! A snow template! That is the one that we are going for. And okay, that wasn't that hard. Now what we need to do is, I think you can duplicate these. I'm not quite sure. Just to be sure, I'm going to see if I can just try and find another one because, I don't know, I'm probably going to end up wasting it. Okay, and it is combat time. None. Oh my goodness, look at my HP and I'm doing this. I found nether right up out of here. Okay, I'm sure there's going to be a couple more chests on this side. You, sir, just get away from me. Oh, and I found one. And what is that? A banner? I found a snout banner pattern. Are these the chests that I already looted? Those are the chests that I already looted. Okay. On to the next bastion. Let's go see if we can just find one. I hate trying to scramble around and try to find chests in those places. It's just a nightmare. Okay, let's see what this one has. Why is there no holes? Sounds pretty quiet. I don't understand why. Why is this bastion empty? Oh, it's not. They're all just hanging around one area. Okay. Now, where are the chests? Because I need some, and this place is just enormous. Oh, it's got a slow. Oh, no. I'm probably dead here. Somebody drops down on me. Now, I just need to get down to the bottom here. 
Because for one, I need to get rid of that thing. Thank you. And then I need to chop this guy in half and literally decapitate him. And then we're in business. Why does this thing have like a little protective thing around it? I like it. And there we go. We have... Well, we got the main two that we need from the Bastions. Now what we need to do is we need to go on and we need to find ourselves some new fortresses. Because apparently there's one hidden inside a fortress. Okay, well, time to get out of here. There's my target hole right there. I've got both my smithing templates that I need from here. The only ones that I need now are from the fortress. So let's go. Oh, and I missed it. I just want to check down here. But there's nothing. And there is another one. I don't even need the iron. I have so much iron. I'm going to take the apples, though. And there's another right and pig step. Oh my goodness. Do you remember how long it took us to get pig step before? And then it was literally just sitting right there in that chest. Okay, well, we got them. We've got two of them. Even though I know these ones can be duplicated. We've got the snout one. We managed to pick up a snout banner. Some ancient debris. We got the piglin brute's head because we're just savages. And pig step. What a successful run. Honestly, what a successful run. That is crazy. We need to go find a fortress now. Oh, I think I saw one through the fire and flames and we have found one now we need to go and find some chests um they're usually down and inside okay and is the first chest gonna bless me no is the second chest gonna bless me no is the third chest gonna bless me no what the heck oh we got a diamond in another chest uh and another chest what the heck and another chest! What the heck? Oh my goodness, we got more diamonds. Okay, that was unique, but still no. Nothing that we're looking for. How the heck did I get so many chests in this one? I don't even understand it. Oh, <gasps> and there it is. Rib armor trim. That's what it looks like when it's on the armor? Okay. I didn't look at what the other ones looked like when they were on the armor, but it doesn't matter because look at we've got it. All right. What a successful run so far. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of here because I only came for the tool one. The other ones are just a bonus, but the rest of these things are going to take literally like six hours to find. So I am out of here. We got other things to find. Now, if I remember correctly, everything with netherite is basically remains the same. So we have our netherite and how to make it. The only difference is now we need these in order to upgrade these to netherite but to duplicate these ones is actually very simple i just need some netherrack in order to duplicate these all we need to do is that and we're gonna do this just so many times and there just like that i have eight more than what i am going to need for most tools I'm going to need a place in the storage for these items. And I'm pretty sure to duplicate this one, I think it is actually the exact same. So if we just do that, yes, we are going to be able to duplicate the rib armor. And then for snout, I'm pretty sure it is blackstone. So we're down here. Snout, blackstone, diamonds, and there we go. Okay, that is actually not too bad. It is going to be an entire mission, though, to get the other ones because, I mean... Ugh. That was already too long just to get those three. But now, let's take these pants off right here. Oh, oh. Let's head on up to our smithing table, and let's see what these pants look like when I'm done. Oh, do I want that color? Or do I just want to do black trim? I don't know. I'm going to do that for now. Oh, I got crafting a new look. I got a new advancement. I'm going to slap those on, and do they look any different? I don't know. Do they look any different? They do look different. It looks like I've got a Santa Claus belt that's just all blacked out. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Can I re-dye those? Oh my God, those are sick. I'm definitely doing that color. Um, Now let's see what the boots look like. Much better. And honestly, the snout helmet, that's like nothing fancy. What's going on there? Hmm. Oh, well, that's what we're going with. And that is subtle. Okay, on to the next thing. I need to finally, once and for all, upgrade Chop Chop here. And I need to make myself a new netherite shovel. Okay, shovel, mending, silk touch, efficiency five, and unbreaking. Okay, now we take the shovel. And there, all of my enchantments are from shortest to longest. Next, what I need is I need one of these for each tool. And then I'm pretty sure this is how it goes. Now, the new method is that, plus your tool, plus that, 
And we've got our netherite shovel. I forgot to name it. I'm an idiot. Now we just need to repeat that. And finally, after 2,800, almost 2,900 days, I have a netherite axe. <laughs> All right, and now before we go on and try to find ourselves a cherry grove, there's one thing that I want to try and do. I have no idea how to do it. I have no idea how to do it, but I have all of these things right here. This one has five, so we're gonna start with this. Oh, we've got that. Okay. Oh, and is that how easy it is? <laughs> I just took a guess at that and I actually got that right. Okay, so all of the sides are in this thing and we can basically, oh, we don't even need a brick. What did I smelt the bricks for then? I don't know, but what does that, oh, I got an achievement careful restoration that's exciting but what does this look like i have no idea can you put stuff in this too i have so many questions oh my god it's massive it's huge okay well where do we put this thing now but all right i made my pots there they are now what we need to do is we need to get out of here and we need to go find ourselves a cherry grove i have gone way out and we have gone way far away and i have flown thousands of blocks and i have not found one these things seem to be very elusive Oh, let's see if we get lucky. I read that new templates can spawn in one of these things. And honestly, I'm just going right in. I'm not even going to try and just find me the secrets. Thank you. Ow. Okay, that's what I get. I deserve that. Oh, I, hey. 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 What the heck is going on right now? What the hey? Hey, stop it. Everything just leave me alone. Both of you just leave me alone. What the heck? Oh my goodness, and I found the wild. Oh, I almost want that. I found two of them in one. That's how fortunate I am. I got fortune too. What the? <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna take it. Not bad, not bad. What's in? There's nothing even in the secret chest. It's just bull crap. Well, that's a success. I just wish I kind of looked at what it looked like when I got the thing, because I didn't. But oh my goodness, still no cherry biome. But look at this jungle biome. This is extreme. Oh my goodness, I was wondering what the heck that sound was, and I wasn't paying attention. I flew right over it. I flew right over a cherry blossom forest. Look at this place. Oh my god, there's another one over there. It is just raining down beautifulness on me. Oh, we got some new wood. Okay, well, what is this place about? Because this is just tiny. I thought these biomes were actually kind of going to be like huge but apparently they are just little what is that what is that what is this and can it be replanted it can be replanted i need all of this you need to just get away back up sir because i need all of this okay well is this all this place is about is these nice looking trees right here and this flower i mean it is beautiful but why is it I was just about to say, why is the biome so small? But then there's this giant one. I wouldn't really call that giant, but there's another one here. What the heck? Did I just find Noah's Ark? What the heck is this thing doing way up here? I was just about to ask if these trees are farmable, and then I found this. But what the heck is this? Is this... Look at there's trees growing through it. Oh, Minecraft farted again, everybody. And there is nothing specific that I need. But okay, looking good. I actually like a lot that these things are just kind of like... I don't know. I just like that they have particles. I'm going to bring a whole bunch of these back to the base. Actually, you know what? I don't know if the base needs any more leg. So we're just going to leave these here. But what I do want to do... Where are you? Oh, we're getting closer. We're getting a lot closer. And I flew over it. There it is. And we have diamonds. We'll take them water breathing potion okay i'm gonna take that heart of the sea definitely and everything else can say i have absolutely no need for any of that but okay we found the cherry blossom thing it was beautiful but now let's head back to the base let's recap a bunch of the stuff that we got and then i am going on a hunt i'm going on a mission a wild mission too because i need to find the rest of these things and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a set of netherite armor for absolutely all of them so that i can pick my favorite but that's it i just need to know if we are able to farm this wood because look at how beautiful oh my goodness look at that boat because a lot of this stuff is just straight lovely look at that that actually i don't know if that's gonna go with anything in here but that's it i gotta go and 
add this boat to the collection of boats over here. And I'm also going to plant a few of these things. Oh, they're like candles. You can add to it. I like this block even more now. But I think that's going to do it for this episode. I've got myself some new armor. Look at me. I'm so fancy. I've got new blocks. We've discovered some of the smithing templates that we are supposed to have. We have met Mr. Camel. We've also met that other stupid little sniffer who straight up violated me and my time. And we went on a little bit of an archaeology spree. And honestly, I know it's simple. I know it's simple. But I think my favorite thing out of this whole new update is the bookshelves. The fact that I can buy multiple Efficiency 5 books like this and now store them efficiently right above the villager that is selling them. That has got to be my newest and most favorite thing out of all of it. And one thing I just realized when doing this is that you can place normal books inside the bookshelves. Can you store booking quills oh i lose so many booking quills i lose so many booking quills it's amazing it is amazing that i can now have a place to store all of my booking quills i used to have like five of them and i don't know where they are i have a locations book ah oh and what is what is that? Oh, I know what this is. This is one of those underground trail things. Oh my God, you guys, I'm just letting you know. Oh, I just smashed some, where's my brush? Okay, this is past chap telling future chap to tell everybody that I did find one of these things, but I'm literally 15,000 blocks away from home and there's no way I'm digging this up out here. I will find one that is closer to the base and I'm gonna make that its whole new episode because... Oh! And that is why, because we can find special things like this from it. Post armor trim. Okay, I've already done too much. Back to future chap. Where am I? Back to future chap. And I knew it. 1.20 is here, and I've got a whole bunch of broken farms, and my storage system is broken. But this is probably just me. But another thing, because I have upgraded, 1.120 has a whole bunch of new items, and we need to upgrade the storage now in order to store all of those items in here. And you guys were right. You guys were right. Okay, the sniffer, he was still a little baby. So in this episode, I'm going to redeem myself, and we're going to go out, and we're going to find some more sniffer eggs, and we're going to try this again. But I'm only doing this because sniffers have exclusive items, and I need them in order to put into the storage system so let's go grab your snacks and then let's get into this the greatest storage system is completely broken i have no idea why and look at this redstone it is it is just it is a nightmare okay everybody come with me on an adventure i'm eating cookies i'm drinking milk my storage system is broken and i got a hundred new blocks that i gotta put into the system and i have no idea what is going on right now so let's do this first thing up is i gotta figure out why the storage system down there is broken this one right here will take whatever i throw into it here we'll run it through the system with zero issues whatsoever i mean we're gonna see all of the lights turn on here in just a second there they are and that is our scaffolding going across it should stop right here in one of these probably this one yep and there it is right there so what i need to do is i need to figure out why this one down here has stopped because when all of the items come down and pass through there and then come down they all go through all of these hoppers underground here but for some reason look at this they're all bundling up and i don't quite understand why and then on top of it the filler hopper right here is just completely staying full and the minecart is also staying full and not sending out so maybe that is the issue this minecart right here is supposed to send out when it is full but for some reason it is just staying the way it is and it's kind of annoying and i can't figure out why i think it might be because this block right here is glass but i'm gonna have to go and see what the upper one is doing can i make this let's see Okay, and looking at this one back here, there's some redstone right here that is powering all of it. And I think it has to do with that. So let's go down and check and see what's going on. Okay, well, uh, all of this redstone is here. I'm wondering if the whole system maybe just needs restarted. I'm going to go grab my fishing rod. And we're going to use the fishing rod to send this out. And we're going to see if that fixes the system. Because uh, I have no idea what's going on back there. There is so much redstone and all of it is so crazy. You guys could just, I'll link his channel because this thing here is nuts and he has an updated version to it. And now he has one that loads shulker boxes, which is kind of crazy. Okay, let's go pull this and let's just see if this fixes everything. Oh, that did nothing. Oh, that did nothing either. Go. 
Okay, here comes the minecart. I think. Oh, here it is. Okay, let's see if it sends out now. Okay, and it did. So maybe I must have like logged out or something when that thing was probably doing what it needed to do and then I wrecked. I don't know, I probably just delayed the system. Because normally this system right here is flawless, but let's just go, look at, I've got all of this to sort. Let's just go and see, we'll see how long it takes for that to do this while I do some of this other stuff. Because next what I need to do is, there is wood variants that we need to deal with now. Um, the bamboo one is good, probably right where it is, we'll just add it in there. Because I'm pretty sure the only thing that I have going into that filter system is... It should just be bamboo and sticks. Oh no, it's all of the desert stuff. Okay, well, we'll figure all of this out. Now, if you guys are wondering what you're looking at here, this is all just signal strength that is going into the filters that are above this. And basically, if I want to sort something into that chest right there, all I have to do is just replace one item like this. And then when that minecart goes by, it is going to detect if that item is in there. It is going to pull it down and then it will put that prismarine shard in that chest with all of these other items it is a crazy system i mean and the guy just keeps making it crazier and crazier and everything was working flawless for me until i decided to screw it up but look at that was our mangrove planks that just went in right there let's just see what this thing is going to load up next and then i gotta figure out where we're gonna put the other wood variants oh we're loading up oak trap doors right now sweet okay so to start We've got bamboo blocks, and on top of bamboo blocks, we now also have... How do I make these? Bamboo planks, and from bamboo planks, we can make... What the heck is that? Oh my god! I didn't even know there was a bamboo raft in the game! What? Oh my god! It's not even a boat! It is a raft! Wow! I didn't even know that thing existed. This needs to get added to the pile right there i am never using any other boat in minecraft <laughs> i'm sitting on top of it and we also have slabs on top of slabs we have these things that are called mosaic bamboo which is also kind of crazy and needs to go in there but on top of that once we make those we now have a mosaic slab too look at this is just crazy and then on top of that we have the normal blocks we've got your stairs trap doors pressure plate door and what else was there? I seen it. Oh, just a button. Either way, I need to add all of this stuff in to the storage system, along with all of the cherry variants that we have. I don't even know if I grabbed enough of it. No, I didn't. But to give you a perfect example of why this system is so awesome and how it works, look at this. I'm gonna put all of my bamboo in. Where's the bamboo one? right here in with the bamboo so i'm just going to track this up and now in order to sort all of my bamboo into this one chest i'm just going to put this right here and with that right there now as long as i put all of these bamboo inside any one of these chests any one of the filler chests right here they should end up inside that chest that is marked with the bamboo we're just gonna put these in here and let it run because while we wait for those things to load up what i need to do is i need to get some more cherry but i need to go back out to the cherry grove and get some more stems and some logs or whatever they are because look at i only brought back this so next what we need to do is we need to find a location in order to put all of these templates right here and i think down here at the end is going to be perfect and I only say that because it's empty. There is nothing in there. So what we got to go do now is grab all of the templates that we do have. And I need to duplicate the snout one some more times because I only got two left or one left anyways. So I need to grab some blackstone. And now all I need to do is I need to take these to the back back here. And we are going to load these up. And just like that, any one of the templates that come through the sorting system now are going to end up in the chest at the end. So if I take all of these right here, and then I go and I dump them in this chest over here. I know I could just walk over there and do it now, but I want to make sure that the system works. I'm going to load those up, and the light is flashing. The system and everything here is going to do its thing. And let's just see if they end up in the last chest over there. Okay, I heard the minecart go. And there goes our item. It's going to come all the way across. And let's see. It should end up right down here in the chest. And it did. We got the smithing template. 
Okay, let's see the next one that comes. It should be coming any minute right now. Yep, here it is. And it looks like this one has two or three of them with it. You can usually tell by how long the chain is. And let's just see what comes. Okay, and it was the rib armor trim. So this is good. Everything is coming across. We have another one coming already. That is how fast the system actually works before I can even stop talking. We have another one coming in. Now what we need is we need a spot for all of these shards. I mean, we need an entire archaeology thing. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add them into the rare chest right here with all of this items. I mean, that should be easy enough. How many items is that? What is coming across right now? Oh, I should have known. The dune armor. I have so many of them. Okay, but let's go add in these archaeology shards. I imagine there's probably going to be a few more coming, but you know what? These ones right now, good enough. The only question is, do these stack to 64? Because if they don't, it's going to mess up all of the redstone that I have configured here. And I think we should be good. Is the comparator light on? Ow, I seen it. It was on. Okay, and now if I put the shards or the whatever I have left of the shards in here, all of them should end up down in that chest right there. We should see this almost right away. Are the shards coming? Yep, there they go. They should stop right at the first light. Okay, and winner, we got our shirts. Everything is organized. The only thing that we need a spot for now is the new cherry tree. Okay, and now, even though that this thing is still loading items, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unload all of the clay and the moss that we have here in order to make room for the cherry trees. And I'm going to move them all down here. Okay, and with that, I just need to see what is in the back here. Oh my goodness, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 items so i'm gonna grab one two three four five six seven eight nine ten from there and now we gotta replace these okay down to this chest here and just like that we have room for any of the cherry tree stuff and i only got 33 but let's see what we can make with just the 33 that we have i made doors even though i had doors and that's it. I think the only thing I'm missing now is the actual log. No, I lied. We need stripped and... Oh yeah, there's going to be all of that stuff too. Okay, I'm going to load this stuff up and then we are headed out and I'm going to get myself a tree. Okay, and with all the lights off, everything has been sorted and we've got a spot for the new tree. Now we got to go out and we got to get the rest of it. Apparently there is everything. So there's these logs and of course we can make the signs and there's saplings too. So we got to go and grab those. Only problem is, is that it's like 16,000 blocks away. So we need the portals. Okay, and if I remember collectory. What? Collectory. Collectory. Pineapples. I don't, I don't want to do it. This portal was, oh no. It's the nemesis. Do I, I don't have a bed. Okay, but if I remember correctly, I was actually very close to where that portal was. And it was, I was right. As if this thing was right here the whole time and I literally flew thousands of blocks just to find it. Actually, I'm not even mad. We're back here at Noah's Ark. I don't know what this creeper's doing, but I need everything, including these too. Right, I forgot to put these into the flower section. Okay, and I just need to turn this to daytime so that I can decimate this entire area. Okay, daytime, we got some freedom. Now it's just time for me to decimate everything around here. Okay, and I didn't decimate too much because I found out that these trees are actually farmable. So I'm just waiting for all of this stuff right here to drop because I've got plenty and the farm actually looks really easy. So this is just going to be so stupid simple. But now I just want to make sure that I'm making all of the logs that I can. Okay, and after seven hours, I can finally make six hanging signs. See how fast I made regular signs? Oh my goodness. Okay, and that's it. We can take all of this stuff now back to the storage system. I think the only thing that we need now is... That's like the second time that I've seen that. Where are these guys coming from? I've never had a zombie problem inside my base. Hold on a second. Oh, there's some torches missing. But I think the only thing that we need now is a spot for the sniffer egg in here with the turtle egg. And then I've got to give that guy another go because apparently I didn't let him grow up enough. I swear it was like 40 minutes. I, I don't even know. I waited forever. So how long does it take for him to grow up? I have no idea. But I've got to give that little guy another go because apparently I did him dirty. But look at this. 
I'm having a problem. I gotta go check my villagers up top. I think I've got a horde of zombies just coming after me right now. Hello there. I am. I knew I heard you. Okay, and they're not quite organized the same way as the other stuff, but I think I got it all. Hang on. Okay, there. Now I think I got it all. It's nicely organized. I've already added these into the flowers too, so I can make sure that I drop those down into the flower box. And okay, all of the cherry is in place and going to be sorted properly too. And now with that, other than the sniffer egg, I got to go around right now and I got to see what's going on. I need some lighting. And actually, I think I figured it out. Okay, zombie problem solved. Everything has been updated with the storage. Now what I'm going to do is, oh my God, that poor sniffer, that poor sniffer. I'm going, we're going to give that guy a second chance. All I know is that I waited so long. I must have just got a little bit too impatient. Okay, and I was just about to say, no warm ocean. And look at all these ocean monuments. Oh, and I see drowned. And look at this guy. He's double fisting over here. Hey. And he dropped two... What the heck just happened there? I'm so confused about the events that just occurred, but I don't care because you know what? I've got my brush and look at this. We've got a cluster of them and I already see the sand that we are looking for. This is what it looks like compared to regular sand when light is on it. It is nice and easy to find. Are we going to get an egg? That looks like an egg. No, it's not. I thought we were going to get lucky on the first one. And what is that? Coal. And oh my goodness, I think I may have found him. I did a sniffer egg. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get a few. Can it please tell me I can pick that up? Oh my goodness, okay. I accidentally put it down. But let's see if we can get another one. That is wheat. We don't want that. That looks like a gold nugget. We don't really care for that either. Oh, here's another piece right here. And every time the coal comes out, I get a little confused. I think it is an egg, but a oh, gold nugget. That looks like an emerald. Oh, I think I found one. I did too. Okay, there's egg number two. And honestly, I'm on such a lucky streak right now as I pull out a hoe. I'm just going to keep going and seeing how many I can get. Okay, and so far, I am on a roll. It took so many... Whoa! Easy there, bud. Last time, it took so long to get just one that I'm not even... I pretty much wrote this guy off, but honestly, I think I was just looking in all the wrong places. Because I'm not even done this cluster, and I've already got my fourth egg. And I'm starting to get a lot more sherds, too, which is nice. And all right, I'm tired of dying and drowning to death. We are out of here with our four sniffer eggs. Okay, and back here at the base, apparently for these guys, all we need to do is, is grab a couple pieces of moss. And apparently for these guys, all I need is a seven by seven area. One, two, three, and four pieces of moss with one, two, three, four sniffer eggs on top. And I don't know, I'm putting this one in your guys' hands now. You guys say this thing's supposed to hatch in 10 minutes? It's 1226. Oh, and it looks like you guys were right. This is why I never tell you. Oh, this is why I never tell you guys. Look at him getting sniffed right in the face. Uh oh, where's the fourth one? Do we have a dud? There he is. Okay, this is why I never tell you guys. But I'm confused. How long is it going to take for this guy to grow up? I don't know. But okay, I'm going to wait and see how long now these guys take to grow up. Hopefully, it's not very long. I swear I waited at least 20 minutes before I murdered him. Okay, time check. It's been 21, now 22 minutes since these guys hatched and they're still, they're still not, they're still not grown adults. What is going on here? Okay, we are, we are slowly approaching the... 30 minute mark. Okay, we're over 30 minutes now. 
I'm looking up mob launchers, everybody. I'm going to Google and I'm looking up Minecraft mob launchers. We're gonna yeet these guys. You're getting yeeted. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Oh, you guys are so lucky because I was literally seconds away from launching you up and into oblivion. 40 friggin' minutes from them to go from hatched to adults, from snifflets to adult sniff whatever sniffers. Okay, honestly, I'm still mad. I'm extremely mad, but whatever. As long as one of these guys gives me a flower so I can put it inside the dang thing. <gasps> And he did. Just like that, he caught me a torch flower seed. Okay, I'll spare all of you. Okay, and with this one flower. Now, wait a second. This is a seed. What does a seed grow? Okay, and let's see. I'm putting these right here by the base. One. Oh. Planting the past. What the heck? And two. Okay, I've got a pod and I've got flowers. Now what I need is, somewhere around here, I have an exuberant or an exorbitant. I don't even know what the word is. And if I remember collectively, because my English, I have a lot of bone. And that bone is good for bone meal. And bone meal always works on flowers. Let's see what this thing looks like. Oh my goodness. See, that is what I wanted to capture last episode. But no, Mr. 30, 40 minutes just to turn into adults, get chap all mad, and then commit a complete felony. And there is the second one. Okay, I'm glad that I put those there because those are the first ones of their kind. Let's go see if these suckers here dropped any more pods. Apparently, the pod is a rare thing that they drop, so I'm kind of lucky to get that thing right away. Oh, we got one already. Okay, and now, because these guys can also sniff their flowers from mud, apparently, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under here. And with that all done, now for the time being, all I have to do is just come back here and check this chest. And hopefully this works. <laughs> I have no idea. But I trust you guys because you guys were right about the whole growing them up faster trick. I completely missed my bed when I jumped in it there. Okay, and so far, no extra flowers. This is not looking good. But I don't care because check this out. It is so beautiful. Absolutely so beautiful. And now I just need some more flower pots and everything. We are looking good in here. Everything is upgraded. We have reimbursed ourselves for the absolute mess that has happened last episode with these guys. I mean, we came pretty close to eating these guys way, but let's just forget about that. I just need to give this and the pod a home when I do get a second one. And then with those guys and now having the pods and the seeds. Oh, okay, it is working. Other than all of the smithing templates, I'm pretty sure, other than the new armor sets, that I have recollected every item in Minecraft again. Again, but that's not what this episode is about. It was just a little micro mini episode upgrading and getting my storage system all back to running and perfect again. Look at this. We got all of them running at once. The system is literally flawless. Okay, let's go. Before we do this, though, I've got to make a list. We've got such a pile of stuff to do today, and it's going to take so long that I have to make a list. So I need a feather. I need an ink sack, and I need a book. Okay, first up on the list, we need to go and get all of the rest of the templates that are in the game. I mean, the first ones we have found just kind of by luck and by going around. These ones I found deliberately, and they took like three hours. And these ones here I got just by kind of playing the game. But what I need to do is I need to make a list of all of the templates that I have. And this list right here, this is the list of all of the templates that I already... Oh, no. I didn't save them. 
Now what I need to do is I need to go for the rest of them. And let me tell you, the first ones that we are going to go for is Ward and the Silence. These ones are both from the ancient city. And I know you're thinking, no, we're not bringing Chuck back any more friends. He doesn't need any more. But these ones seem like they're going to be the hardest ones to find. The one has a 1.2% chance of spawning in a chest. So that's where we're going right now. We're going for an ancient city. The only problem is, is we need to go so far out for all of this. Because I am refusing to reset any part of my world right now. But before we start this, it is so dark and so nasty down there that I need some night vision potions. Okay, night vision is that plus redstone. Okay, there is set one of night vision. And there is another set. Now that I think should be enough. That is like 48 minutes right there. 8, 12, 16, 24. That's where my math stops. And another thing that we are going to need before I go is a brand new bow because I broke the last one. And honestly, rather than just try to fix them, I just use them up because, I mean, you get like 3,000 shots per bow. And there, we are back in business. My sword can just kind of go on the back burner now. And now let's go. I bet you all of this is probably going to take like 100 days. I guarantee it. We're doing full netherite sets of trim. And we'll do the math on that later because it is insane. But right now, we need whoop, our furthest portal in the game right now. I need to put all of these portals underneath the bedrock because this is just, it's boring. I need to redo all my portals. Oh my goodness, and okay, this portal took us out 24,600 blocks and 2,300, okay. We are way out here. That little piece of swamp right there looks incredible. What are those trees doing? I have no idea. Okay, let's find an ancient city. We need high ground. This is high ground. I mean, we've got more high ground here. I wonder, I'm going to check this one. This is a massive piece of high ground, and let's go down and see if we can get in boy here we go we're gonna die we're gonna die we're gonna die we're gonna die we're not dying we're not dying we're not dying we're still alive but i do not see any ancient cities what is going on here okay let's try this way hello everybody goodbye everybody we're gonna fly down here oh i see skulk okay we found skulk and you know what i'm gonna drink a potion just so I <gasps> okay and we found an ancient city! Look at this! Oh, I need to crawl. I need to be careful. You know what else we need? Bethany! Bethany, where are you? I need you. I need you, Bethany. Okay, Bethany needs a little bit of mending. And we are going in. First thing we need to do is look for some chests. And we need to be careful of all of the skulks and all of the catalysts. I'm just going to go down right here. Oh! And I'm down. These things are absolutely massive okay there's a the chest i'm sure there's gonna be a chest over here because this is like a little build out i'm gonna drop down and we're gonna see okay and there is a chest our first chest oh two chests we've got so much around us right now though that we're just gonna go one two three you guys all be quiet okay open the chest and we have a gapple okay that is good enough but what is in the second one nothing experience and that is about it i'm gonna bring the coal i'm gonna take absolutely everything chest three has just a bunch of books and swift sneak and some of this oh no i might be under attack oh, i see one and there's nothing just some books and efficiency three not bad okay and i found another chest and it has nothing in it oh my goodness these are gonna be so hard to find one percent chance a one percent chance Oh, and still no I lied there it's right there okay I want to make sure that there's nothing else in here but oh my goodness I am terrified right now because there is a warden behind me and he is right behind me oh whoop 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 I should be cleaning and clearing as I'm going but I found another chest and inside it has another ward template okay so far we're doing pretty good I just have way too much stuff in my inventory. But now, what's the other one that is left that we're looking for? Is it silence? I think it's silence. I see a chest over there. We have a warden coming after us, but I don't care. We're going to spawn a warden right here, too. And we have nothing but um, death coming for us. Okay, chest seven has nothing again but some shards. 
Chest 8 has... Mm, still nothing. Okay, chest 10. Oh, some pretty dirty diamond leggings. Okay, next chest. Still no silence. This one is gonna be so hard to find. 13, still nothing. Next chest, still nothing. Oh my goodness. And still nothing, just some experience bottles. Okay, and I'm not sure how many more chests there could be in this area because I farmed so many. Oh, but I see one up here. And it has nothing in it that I need. Okay, low key, we might be out of here. I think I've already checked these chests over here, and I have. But I cannot seem to find any more chests. And this is the area that we came in. I see a chest right here. And it has nothing, so I'm gonna break it. And yep, so far flying around, I see nothing. So it looks like for the next one, unless that has something in it. No! Okay, so it looks like for silence, we need to go and find another... Oh boy, I just flew up somewhere I don't know where. But we gotta go find another ancient city. And for that, I'm gonna have to find my way out of here. Oh no, I just used up all my fireworks. Oh, and I found diamonds. Look, I've been lost down here for so long that I have lost... Oh, what is this? Is this the same one I was just at, though? I can't tell if this is the same one that I was just at or if this is a new one. I see chests, so I'm assuming it's a new one. Only one way to find out. Okay, we need to get rid of that. And... Oh, no, get out of here. Oh, no, he's not gonna die. I'm running. And I need a chest. Where is one? Okay, let's see. Any silence? No silence yet. Okay, I got two chests right here. Let's see. Still no silence, though. And still no silence. Okay, can I take all of these books? I can. Okay, it looks like we're finding a third ancient city. Everything has been looted except for maybe one chest. I know he is right there. I do not care. I need this item. Okay, well, it looks like we are off to find. Yep, ancient city number three because I see no chests. I've checked all of the secret rooms. There is no chest back here. None up there. Oh, did I just see a chest? Nope. I did. I did. And there's nothing. And there's nothing. And everybody is after me. I hear the pitter-patter of his toe steps. Okay, well, nothing. I'm gonna fly my way, or try to fly my way out of here. And I'm actually just gonna follow the skulk and see what we can find. Because that's what I just did, and I managed to find another ancient city. So we're gonna do the same thing. Okay. Okay. And I think I found one. See, following the skulk just always seems to work no matter what. But it doesn't help with trying to find this stupid 1% thing. This thing is taking forever. Oh, let's cross our fingers. Look at how full this chest is and they couldn't even give it to me. Okay, well, looks like I've cleared out all of the chests from this place here. I've got wardens mad at me and still no silence. It's time for us to go back to the base. I've got to re-up on all of my night vision potions. And then we'll come back afterwards and find the other one because this is insane. What the heck? Trying to ambush me as I come out of the ground? Come on, no. Okay, I need to find my way back to the portal. Oh my goodness, where am I? It is so beautiful. Ooh, and I am trying to find my way back to the portal. And look at what I just found. Hopefully, everybody cross your fingers. Oh! Okay, we got two sentries. Ooh, and an achievement from inside of this thing. Okay, so we can actually check that one off of the list too. But we still need to find the silence from the ancient city. I just need me. You guys get away from me. I just need some more potions. Okay, back at the base here, we're gonna brew up some more potions. We can also take these and add them into the storage system. And while I'm here, another thing that I need to do is I need to make a cartography table, and I need to bring a whole bunch of ender eyes with me. And hopefully 32 is gonna be enough. Actually, you know what? 
We're gonna bring 48 along with us. And that way, after we get our hands on the silence one, we can go out and we can find ourselves a mansion and burn it straight to the ground. And then a stronghold, find the one that is in there, and then the end city. And after that, all we gotta do is go on a netherite hunt and find the three that we're missing from the trails. And then we are in business. Okay, and let's go. Round two for the ancient city. It took two and a half hours to find those four ancient cities. Let's see how long it takes us to find the next one. Okay. Oh, I found something. I found something. Water is still flowing, so this is all brand new. But I see nothing, and that is because it is pitch black. Okay, follow the skulk. The skulk never lies. Oh! Oh my goodness, I was just getting scared because I was flying towards lava, and look at what I found! An ancient city! Okay, this one is nice and wide open, and I can already see one, two, three, four. And this one actually didn't take too long to find. I just picked the biggest mountain that I could find in new territory and went for it, and 20 minutes later, here I am. I should stick with that strategy every single time. Let's go! Ah! Oh, I thought that was the new one. That's Ward. We don't want Ward. I also don't want company. Leave me alone. Okay. Nothing that we need. Where was the other chest? It was somewhere over here. Ow. I don't care. I just want the chests. Oh. I'm stuck in here. I'm stuck in here. Get me out of here. I'm swimming. Ow. No, I'm not. I'm flying. Okay, I didn't get to check that chest. I want to check that chest. Let me check that chest. No, I don't want to check that chest! Ooh, ooh. That dude just blasted me into oblivion. Okay, but instead of going back over there, I found two more chests. I'm going for it! Nothing. Experience. Oh my goodness, another ward one. Give me the new one, please. Okay, I'm going for this chest down here. Even though there's a guy right near us. Nothing. Experience. I'm gonna take all this gold. I'm stuck. I'm stuck again. Okay, I'm going for this chest. And there it is! Finally! Silence! We got it. Silence and war. Do I even dare try to find another one? We're talking about three hours just to find these. I just want to check this one chest that this guy is scaring me away from because I guarantee it. Look at he's right here, but I don't care. It's not in there, okay. But all right. Victory is officially ours. I have both the templates that we need from this. I also have the template that we need from the pillager outpost. Oh, oh my, ow. Stop it. And you know what? After that, I think we're just gonna call it a quits because I don't know why that guy won't leave that chest, but he is just lingering. And my night vision is wearing off and I am out of here. I think what I'm gonna do from here is I am just gonna literally dig my way to the surface. Cause it'll honestly be faster to do that than just try to find my way out. Oh my goodness, grass. Grass! Hello there. And creepers. Oh. Okay, well, now that we're all the way out here, what I need to do is I need to find a village and we need to make ourselves a cartographer. Okay, I think I found a village. Yep, I found a village. Okay, and now let's make this guy here a cartographer. Get me out of your bed, please. Thank you. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to level this guy up by using paper. So let's get a crafting table going. And now, mister, what do you give us first? I can't remember. I think it is the oceans book. No, but now we can use all of the compasses that we brought and we can buy enough of these in order to level this guy up. And hopefully on the next one, this is what is going to give us the Woodland Mansion. And it is. We got it. Okay, let's see if this is a new one. Hopefully it is. And it's brand new, but look at how small my dot is. Okay, it looks like we're going for a little bit of a fly. I'm bringing everything along with us because there is a chance that we might not even get the thing at this Woodland Mansion. So cross your fingers. And actually, look at how fast we're running across the map already. We're not that far away from it. Oh, we just got bigger. We're getting closer. Uh-oh. Okay, these are the trees we're looking for, and that is the building we are looking for. The Woodland Mansion. Okay, this is our third one. I'm gonna clear this map. 
Okay, map is cleared. And there is only one way that I like to take out these woodland mansions. I've done two of them already. And that is by burning them down. I don't care what any of these guys have to offer. What the heck is this doing in here? What the heck is a spawner doing in a woodland mansion? I don't know, but I took it out. Yeah, try it, creeper. Okay, we're going in the front door. Why have I not seen any Woodland Mansion people except for creepers? Where is everybody? I'm oh, there you are. Hello, Johnny. Oh god, get out of my way. And okay. Not good. Little low on HP. Everything's starting to burn down fast. Whoop! Snake my way through. Ow! Almost died there. But okay, mission almost successful. Just need to burn this roof here a little bit. Nice farm. Oh, and I see a chest. But I'm about to be in danger, so I'm just gonna run. Okay, and everything is looking wonderful. I can already see one chest that I can loot right away. And let's, oh, I just jumped over another one. Let's just jump up here and see what this chest has. And there it is. Right in the first chest, we've got Vex. We've got the Vex armor trim. I wonder if this one here is gonna have another one. Let's just see. No, but we do got melon seeds. And all right, is there any more chests? It's hard to tell with all these flames, but that has gotta be the easiest and safest way to loot a woodland mansion. I see a chest there, another one over there. I see another one down here. This one is loaded with chests. Dark oak saplings. I don't know what we would need those for. Let's check this chest. And it's got another Vex armor in it and a golden apple. And now what about this one? Diamond chest plate. All right. Oh, there's another chest here with just a diamond hoe in it. We've got another chest over here with some more saplings. Oh my goodness. A stray chest right here with gold inside of it. I don't know why we need the gold. And I was just about to ask, does anybody see a giant lapis block? And there it is right there. So that is what is inside of the wool. And oh, I found two more chests. One with nothing. And another one with a third Vex armor trim. Okay, um, I was not expecting there to be three in one mansion. Okay, now what we need to do since we have that and the whole mansion is cleared. We're going that direction. Okay, we're still going that way. Still going that way. And uh oh, I passed it. And okay, I think it went down. It did right there. Okay, we are going in. I am all the way down to minus 10. Look at how far down I am. Where the heck is this place? Oh, I spoke too soon. I found it. And I already see death below me. Oh, and I literally came right down at the portal. But I don't even need the portal yet. I don't want the portal yet because we're supposed to find something here too. Okay, we need to get rid of that spawner because that is just annoying. We also need to light this place up because the last thing I want to do is die. But what the heck? That has never happened to me before. And there's already three eyes inside it. Okay, but I got to try and remember my way to this thing. Because first, I need to find like a library or more of these things here. Because there is also supposed to be one inside this stronghold here. I think it's called Eye. <gasps> okay, we're at a library. I need my sword. And there it is right there on the first chest. I am incredibly lucky or these things just really aren't that hard to find. I say that after a four hour adventure just trying to get the one from the ancient city. Okay, these were the stairs. Let's throw some eyes inside the portal frame here. And there we go. My second end portal. Oh, hello, Mr. Snowman. I forgot that you had survived this entire time. Okay, fireworks stock up so we don't die. And we are off. I'm gonna follow this all the way out. And we need to find new end territory now. So we're looking for ships that have the skull still on them. And look at how weird everything looks with night vision on. Okay, we got another city. 
There's no block underneath where the dragon skull is supposed to be. Can we grab this? Please? Okay, they gave it to us. Now let's go down and see if there is anything down here. Leave me alone. Get out of here. I didn't mean literally. I thought I just meant maybe you could die. And there's nothing except for one of the craziest diamond axes. What? And still nothing. But an unbreaking diamond sword. Bro, what are you talking about, man? I don't need that. Another dragon skull. Oh, I missed my landing. And let's just see. Excuse me, sir. Nope. I don't need you around here. Could you please go? Diamonds. Some emeralds. And there it is. Spire armor trim. We officially have all of them. We're only missing three now that we need from the entire set. We just need to look for some trails, but now what we're going to do is we're going to go on a long mission. We got to find ourselves some ocean templates because this next one, Tide, we can't get this one from any chests. But apparently we can get it from absolutely destroying a guardian. Uh, apparently it is very rare though, and I have no idea if this is even true. Okay, so out to the furthest portal. There was lots. There was tons of ocean monuments out here. Okay, we are way out into the new territory. I just need an ocean. Okay, where are all the ocean monuments? Okay, we're going straight in. Oh, you just had to. I don't even care though, I'm not afraid. I'm going through. Oh, sponge. Okay, and I found a room with a big guy in it. All of you, come here. And you, you're the one that we are looking for. Ow. I'm out of there. I'm down. I'm eating. I'm killing. And did he drop it? I don't know if he dropped it. There's so much there right now. Okay, we need another monument because I don't see anybody here. Okay, I think I found monument number two. Let's go down and give this one a go. And did we get it this time? No, still none. That was close. Okay, but any template? No, is this thing even a thing? Okay, I see another one. And this guy's number five, let's see. Are you gonna drop one? No, still no template. Okay, we're out of here. Still alive. And still no template. Okay, this is an extreme amount of ocean monuments that I am rating for a 20% chance at a drop. And there it is, finally. Okay. Oh my goodness, my brain. But there it is. Tide armor. Oh, kiss my butt goodbye. It's about time. That took an hour. That took an hour just for that. Okay, now I just gotta fly my way back to wherever my portal is, and I am out of absolutely everything, so hang on. Okay, we're in new territory here, so I'm gonna wanna keep my eye open for... Okay, and I was flying over, looking for pandas. Look at what I just spotted. All of this is brand new generation. And I was like, what the heck is that? And then I remembered oh, that this is how you spot where these things are. You look for the terracotta that is sticking out of the ground. And then you slowly go digging. And right there, we have some suspicious gravel. I need to get my tools out. Okay, and after all of that, I mean, look at this place. It just goes on. Hold on, let me get into a better spot. But it just goes on. It goes down. And then it goes over that way and down. Over this way and down. Over this way and down. But look it. And then it goes down here. And we've got all of these rooms. We've got even more rooms down here where I found, like, coal and stuff like that. 
another room down here even more rooms down at the end i mean this place is just insane and this don't even get me started on this there's ladders that go down and then you're down in like a secret room down here and then when you climb up from the secret room you've got like these blast furnaces i mean all of this is just crazy Ugh. And I only came up with the two types of templates. I already have hosts, but I did come up with wayfinders. So I don't know what the heck I'm going to do. What the heck? And did I just find another one? So I've got one here. And another one right over there. These things are apparently not that hard to find. All you gotta do is just get in a jungle area and start looking for pandas, and then you'll find one. Oh, and we might have the last one. I think we do. I don't have a Z yet in my inventory. And we do. Shaper. We finally have all four of them. Okay, I haven't even finished looting this thing yet. And look it, we get another one right out of the one next to it. Okay, and I don't know why, but I decided to commit myself to basically undigging this entire thing. Because they are just enormous, and I don't even think I've scratched the surface of this thing yet. I mean, I'm pretty sure it goes farther back that way. But these things are huge, and I'm not gonna lie, I kinda actually like doing it this way. Okay, and I'm not even gonna bother digging anymore. We've got the two that we need from here. We've also got, we can't forget them, the tide one, which I almost forgot, but we are looking good. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this beacon, and then we're heading back to the base. And is that another one? Oh my goodness, I thought I almost found another one. Okay, and back at the base, look at, I've already duplicated this one so that we have four of them, and there's one in the storage system. But look at this. It is insane. 17 templates and an upgrade. All of them ready to go. But now what I need to do is we're going on a netherite hunt. I need to go out and I need to get all of the ancient debris. I mean, I don't have very much. I've got three scraps right now and then I have enough for... That's like three sets of armor. So I need all of the TNT. I need all of the beds. I need pretty much absolutely everything. Victory. And a couple episodes ago, I started draining my double ocean monuments that I have in Minecraft. And then I got a little bit distracted because 1.120 came and yeah, but we're back. And I'm not sure what I want to build in the double ocean monument, but I came back here to try and give my pal Chuck a little bit of a pet. Oh, shut your face. Oh, 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 what the, oh. And then I seen this what and I that? got to think it. I got to think it. Leave me alone. I'm gonna build a mountain. I'm gonna build a mountain. Now, this one here still needs completed. I mean, around the lava it needs a lot more detail. And I never finished the backside. I completely just left it the way it was. But I'm gonna try something here. And I am a horrible builder. I've said that since day one. But I wanna try something here. The only problem is, is we're gonna need a lot of materials for this. I mean, a lot. And when it comes to cobblestone, I have enough cobblestone. But when it comes to the stone, I have absolutely, I have no stone whatsoever. So you know what? Ooh, and we're down in the mines. I haven't been down here in a while. Okay, I need pretty much absolutely everything here that we see. What is that? What the heck is that? What are you doing all the way down here dressed up like this? Oh my god, I want to actually kind of save you, but... Hang on. Ow. Hold on. Stop it. Get in there. Get... Get in there. There we go. Okay, well, I don't know where you came from, mister, but you're gonna be here for a long, long time. Okay, and hopefully eight shulker boxes of stone and cobble is gonna be enough. Look at all of the emeralds. I mean, just look at all of the ore. It's not quite a lot, but whatever. Okay, mister, you stay here. I'll be back for you because I've got to head back to the double ocean monument. And back here at the double monument, what I need to do is you can see I've got a ring around that one right there. And I've also got a wall of water and I've got to remember how to do this. But what I need to do is I need to put this ring 
around this monument right here. The only problem is I don't think I have enough prismarine for it. So let's go in and see. No, this is not going to be enough. So I'm going to have to run the farm for a little bit. But that's no problem because this one is actually quite satisfying. And then we need to decide where we're going to put the mountain or whatever we're going to do around here. And possibly add in a few more of these guys. But let's go. And let's see. This farm should run a lot faster now that we've got all of that water out of there. And I'm not going to lie, it does look a little bit faster and a little more insane. I'm just probably going to have to do this like 30, maybe 40, probably 50 times. I'll probably be here for another hour. <laughs> oh, and yeah, I was there so long. The storage backed up, so I decided to upgrade to a double speed storage system. Nice. And then, uh... oh no. Oh no, what have I done? What have I done? Oh no. Oh, it happened again. Everybody get off my platform. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna die. No, run. run. Yeah. It's okay, I can fix this. Get off. Everybody get off. Just go. Okay, I don't know what I did, but that was a terrible execution of whatever it was. But that's a lot better. Okay, and I got my prismarine. Now what I need to do is I need to put the ring around this entire circle right here. And I gotta be careful doing this because if I screw this up and do this wrong, I have no idea. But somebody told me I could fill this whole place in. I'm terrified. This wall of water seemed to work though. So you know what? We're going for it. I just need my lanterns. And I think this is what I did was this right here. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I already screwed up. Okay, everything is fine. Okay, first part of the second ring is already done. I just need to get rid of that water over there because I've changed the location for where I'm going to put my mountain. So I need sponge. Okay, water is clear and it is official. I have now drained two full ocean monuments in hardcore Minecraft. Look at this. This is insane. Okay, but with that done, now I need to work on the water wall that goes around the entire ring here. So I need to put a layer of prismarine in front of all of these lanterns. And then we need to pull all of the sand down and just get it out of the way. But all right, I gotta put a ring in front of this entire thing here. Okay, in the inner prismarine ring is now complete. I just need to repeat that one more time while we're on the lower half and then we can make the water wall. And what are you guys doing here? Listen, I don't want any of your crap, okay? Can you just go, all of you? Now, where's the dude with the flag? See ya. the heck what the heck stop it okay and now the lower ring is done it is officially time for us to start tearing down these walls and making our water wall i am terrified though because i do not want this entire place to start filling in okay now how did i do this before i know i can't do these with torches because it's all underwater so what do i do do i go gather 150,000 sea lanterns or do i just make Oh, this is going to be expensive. A million lanterns. Okay, I just made a bunch of lanterns. But it's water wall time. I need to get rid of all of this sand. I need to drop it. And I have to do it in a specific way in order for it to look like this wall right here. So I've got to try to remember how I did this. And I honestly don't want to deal with those guys right there. So I'm just going to turn it to daytime. And then I am going to despawn everybody. And oh my goodness, I just checked everybody. We just crossed 3,000 days in Minecraft. Not only do I have a double ocean monument drained, but we just crossed 3,000 days. This is insane. 3,000 days on one hardcore Minecraft world. I'm catching up to all the big boys. All right, and let's see. That's one. That's two. Let's see what happens when we do the third one. And that's what it's supposed to do. Did you see how the way the water like crept and crawled its way up? That is exactly what is supposed to happen.
Okay, and double water wall is officially done. Look at this place. I gotta get way up for this. Way up. Look at this. It's crazy. But it's done. We had a couple of tricky spots, like over here, where the water was just being a pain in the butt. And on the other side, look at this spot. Oh, this was a tricky one. The only thing I need to do now is put the decor around the rim. But I'm not sure what I want to do. I'm not sure if I want to do this like I have here and cover the lights. Or if I want to do something completely different. I have no idea. But hold on. We've got to see something here. Okay, shaders are on. Look at how bright and colorful it is. Oh, that looks so good. This is going to look amazing. Yep, yeah, this is going to look so amazing. What it is done. Okay, now it is time for me. I've got to put the ring around here in order to build the base of the mountain. I'm not sure how big I want this thing to be, but all I know is that that guy right there, him, 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 he might have to move. Okay, and I think that might actually do for a good mountain size right there. But now it's time for me to enter builder mode because I haven't been here in quite a while. And honestly, I suck so much, but I gotta enter builder mode because there are so many mountains around Minecraft. I mean, Minecraft even makes its own mountains. Look at this beauty thing. I wish I could just copy and paste that thing right here, but it's time. Everybody, wish me luck. Okay, mountain is looking good so far. I just need to put in a little bit of texture and everything around this and start to add in a whole bunch of the prismarine features. And another thing I've got to do, the back. Look at this mountain is completely wide open. We're just not going to talk about that for now. But I need more stone features like one right here. Okay, and the mountain is done. And I'm not gonna lie, it looks absolutely beautiful. It's missing a couple of things though, like some more guardians. And I'm thinking a waterfall right here. Okay, one of the final steps, I just gotta put this ring around the entire thing right here in order to finish this. Okay, and the ring is done. Now both sides should look the exact same when you look at it. And they do. This is amazing. Look at how amazing that looks. <laughs> it looks like a chicken face. Anyways. The only thing left now to do is to put some sort of waterfall in this area right here. So what I need to do is I need to get rid of this guy. Actually, I have no idea where I kind of want to put this guy. So I think we're just going to leave him right here for now. Okay, but now what I need to do is I need to work on the two waterfalls. So I want to have one waterfall kind of coming down this way and then another one coming over that way. The only problem is, is I'm terrified. I'm terrified. I'm terrified because I don't want the water to creep any further than it already is. But let's see. I know I just put these up here. I do not care because I basically just want to remove these and then these lanterns. And let's see, I've got to remove these front ones. And then I've got to remove these back ones and cross your fingers that it doesn't start creeping. And I'm just realizing now that I have a shader on because that water is not what Minecraft water is supposed to look like. Oh, that is terrifying. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to redo this. I'm restarting because that is just terrifying. Okay. We're trying again from this side. All is well. Everything's good. Okay, nothing pushed forwards. Let's do it even further. Ah! Okay, and so far, everything has worked out. We didn't have any creeping whatsoever. I just need to put some rocks and boulders around the side of the waterfall, but let's see what that looks like. 
Okay, it looks like crap. We need a lot more detailing to go into this. Okay, and that's not quite a lot, but it was enough to actually kind of make it look all right. Now we need to do the opposite side over here. Okay, and now the waterfalls are carved out. I'm a little terrified to try and push them forward. I'm scared to do anything with the water. I don't want to do anything with that in case it decides that it's going to like creep and crawl and work its way out. But there, waterfalls are done. Okay, not bad, not bad. Now let's just get rid of this guy. And actually, I've decided <laughs> he can stay right there. But I am going to build another one right here. Okay, and I'm all cleaned up and just like that. Oh, this guy's missing a piece of acacia. Hold on, he looks like trash. Okay, and so far, the place is looking fantastic. And actually, that guy can stay right there for now because that is phase one. That is phase one of completely transforming this double ocean monument. Complete and finished. This has taken me an entire week to get here. And I know this might be a short one, but I am four and a half hours alone into just the grinding and gathering for the materials just to build that right there. And look at all of my materials are stuffed. We go up. And then we go down ah, inside here. They're all still in here. Problem is, is I have almost none left. Empty. Almost empty. And this one had to get refilled. That is just andesite in empty. But look at this right now. You guys are, you're literally, you're inside a volcano that is spewing out. Oh, I missed. Big old giant prismarine blocks and they're coming straight towards me. But that's it. I need to turn it to daytime again because I am literally, <laughs> I spent so much time flapping my jaw just for these outros. But that's only because I can never get enough of you guys. And I just spent the last 30 Minecraft days searching for all of the new templates in my hardcore Minecraft world. And in this video, I'm probably going to spend the remaining 100 days or more trying to gather all of the resources needed to build every netherite armor set in hardcore Minecraft. And let me tell you, in this no! environment, I'm about to be so suffering for the next two to three days. <laughs> so in this video, I'm going to push myself and my sanity to the limit, and I'm going to see if I can complete this challenge because I need it for the base. It's going to be sick. Now, this is a bed. That's a bed. And this, this is the nether. And when I try to sleep in this bed in the nether, whoa, things get exciting really quick. So for the next 24 to 48 hours, I'm going to be stuck here trying to farm 96 stacks of ancient debris and i have I, honestly i have no idea i have no idea how long this is gonna take but i need more beds and a totem okay i got my beds and my totem and phase one for this mission is going to be oh my God. bed mining i've already been on this mission i've already gone a little bit and i have managed to collect this much netherite 15 whole ingots but let me tell you we're gonna need so much more because this is only enough for three but i have a feeling that i am gonna have to switch over to some sort of big giant netherite mining machine because i don't know if this is going to be efficient enough to get this done we might have to do some redstoning okay now i need a new place in order to mine because i have already destroyed this whole area we've blown some pretty massive oh tunnels down here so what i need to do is i need to get away from this location we need to find somewhere new so i'm going way out Okay, we got what we need, and I found the area where I am going to begin. And look it, I found two ancient debris. Now I just gotta make some beds and let phase one begin. Dig myself a little hole, bed, and oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Just kidding, I'm still alive and I've got fire resistance. Ah, oh, but no ancient debris. That just disgusts me. Never mind, I see one. What time is it? Holy. And okay, after about half an hour, I have a half a stack of ancient debris. This is lame. This is extremely lame. Because at this rate, it is going to take me 95, 95 hours in order to collect all of this ancient debris. And that... These rates are abysmal, they are terrible. That is my mood right now, I am So we're finding another method. I'm gonna have to put together some sort of TNT nether destroying machine, and we're gonna have to delete everything around here. 
Stop it. Leave me alone. Okay, well, plan one, mission one, phase one was a fail. We need to move on to the redstone now because look at how much ancient debris I have. So we should be able to make a pretty sweet TNT nether destroyer. Okay, and I think I remember how to build this thing. I, it's just where am I going to put it? Okay, and for phase two, this is what we're starting with. A big empty space in the nether. And the plan here is simple. Using a very classic redstone design, we are going to absolutely delete all of the nether. Okay, and phase two boomer is almost done. I just need to get some coral fans. That's what I need to go and grab. And then I need to prime all of this TNT and then we can say goodbye to the nether. Okay, and the system is primed. Everything is ready to go. The nether can kiss its butt goodbye. The only problem is, is I have no idea. I haven't tested these out on 1.20 yet. So, um, everybody cross your fingers. And what the heck? This guy took one of my TNT out of the machines. What the heck is this, bud? You're literally here to sabotage everything that I've put like the last two hours into? What is going on here? Okay, I need to get rid of that. That. I'm just going to get rid of that too because I'm terrified. And we're going to put that there. Coral. And what the heck is that? Okay, we need to pay attention to that for sure. I mean, that's just annoying. But okay, before another jerk shows up and steals some TNT, let's run this thing. All I need to do is literally just touch one note block and let's see what happens. Okay, nothing happened. Oh, oh, oh! And would you look at that? We've got lava already, but I also see... Oh, 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 ancient debris! Okay, well, the machine works. The only problem is, yes, the gravel. But we, look at, we have already got an ancient debris. Okay, test fire number two. Oh, oh. More lava, no ancient debris though. Boom number three. Oh, I don't know why that one down there is firing early, but I do not care. Okay, and other than the fact that it looks like down there, I'm coming into a little bit out of a lava lake, which is annoying. Everything is going pretty smooth. Um, I'm just gonna press on and see how much we get in the next hour. Let's see what we get, phase two versus phase one. Okay, and so far phase two is going over pretty well. But it looks like I'm coming into some basalt here, so I might have to actually replace this entire thing and start going the other direction. And because of all of these lava spots with all of the lava lakes above us, I'm not actually sure if this is faster or slower than the bed method. But right now it looks like I'm doing about a stack an hour, which is just horrible. But I think I'm gonna have to switch directions because farming through basalt is just terrible. Okay, and it's time to switch up strategies. I'll show you guys the tunnel in a little bit. This thing is disgusting. I have also been here for a disgusting amount of time, and this is all of the ancient debris that I have collected so far, which is so sad. So I'm switching up strategies. I've got all of the gunpowder that I pretty much have in my possession. I'm gonna bring more of it. And I've also gotta go get some sand, and this, this is gonna take forever. This is gonna take forever. I might have to do a little filler episode for you guys. This is insane. Okay, I'm going, I gotta get... I need sand because phase two is going pretty fast, but honestly, the lava, it's just so annoying. And at times, it slows us down to less than a stack per hour, which is um, just unacceptable. Okay, and I've got my sand, so now it's on to phase three, but look what I just found. Ancient debris! Okay, and phase three is very simple. I'm just gonna dig a two high hole all the way as deep as I can until I hit lava. 
And then I'm gonna run all of my TNT back to the beginning of this hole. And then I'm gonna light it. Run! And then when I see ancient debris, I'm just gonna collect it. And testing this in a creative world, if I just go two chunks at a time, I can pull out, oh, well over a stack an hour, which is actually kind of insane. I just saw like five pieces of ancient debris. This is gonna take no time. Okay, and let me tell you something. I've been here for over a hundred Minecraft days I've been down here, and that's not including the mountain that I just built. But look at this, everybody. Look at this. Look at this. I've gone through so much TNT. All the gunpowder from the EOL farm is gone. The beach has been completely decimated. Nobody can build a sand castle. Oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't even bring all of it with me. Doesn't matter that. Look at, look at that alone. Look at how much ancient debris that is alone. I don't even know how many stacks I have in total. The crazy thing is I have been talking this entire time so i don't know if i'm gonna edit those into time lapses or if i'm gonna try and edit all that footage i have no idea but look at this everybody this is by far the most effort i have ever put into a video game i don't even care And I've got like 4,000 hours logged into Dota, 2,000 plus hours logged into Call of Duty. I don't even know how many hours logged in Subnautica, but this, this is by far the most effort I've ever put in. Okay, I want to make sure that I've got everything because I've got to go back to the base and I've got to see how much netherite we actually have. I might have more than what I need. I might have less than what I need for this, but phase three of mining had me pulling in. I got a stack of ancient debris in 28 minutes. If you've got the gunpowder and you've got the sand, digging a big line and then blowing it up little by little is by far the fastest way to find your ancient debris. 28 minutes, 64 pieces of ancient debris. That's literally insane. Okay, but are you guys ready for this? Are you guys ready for this? Because this is intense. Let me get these pieces out. Hold on, TNT, you go there. We need what? We need 40 stacks? Okay, here we go. Oh, I know! Look at all this, it is insane. Okay, and let's do some counting. You guys know me and my math. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, plus 41. Okay, I need three. I only need three. How many do I need? Hold on, I gotta go check. Ah, I do! I only need three more stacks of ancient debris in order to get this done. Not bad. That should take about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. I'm gonna go collect all of that right now. <laughs> We're almost there. I cannot actually believe it. Okay, but let's go. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this done with this much TNT and idiot me forgot to bring... I forgot to bring more gunpowder. Okay, but let's see. I've got my TNT. I've got my fire resistance. Let's go mine it. I need three whole... Oh, I've got lava already. Not good. Oh my god, why did that have to just happen? Oh boy, here we go. Oh no, John, 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 John. Oh, my English. Okay, and, and, that's two full stacks, officially. Okay, now I'm gonna fly both of these stacks back to the main base because I need to just calculate how much I have in total. And I need more sand for TNT anyways. Oh, but I forgot. I forgot all my shulker boxes. Oh well. Okay, but let's see. Let's see how rich I am. I'm not the richest, 
But so far I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38. Oh my god, I still need a lot more. No! I'm gonna be going mined for- Okay, I need another two hours. But wait, that much netherite ingots, how much is that worth? Okay, that is worth 60 right there on its own. I actually only need another stack plus whatever, and I should be able to get this. Okay, I just need to go get some sand, and then I can start making up some armor trims. Oh, I'm gonna need gold and diamonds. Okay, we've got our sand, and we've got the gravel, and we're only a half stack away. But I've prepared myself. I've prepared myself to be there for the long run, because sometimes ancient debris comes quick, and sometimes ancient debris comes slowly. Oh, but we're so close. And then I gotta decide where I'm gonna put all of the netherite trims. Or am I gonna put them in here? Or am I gonna build a museum for it? I have no idea. All I know is that TNT crafted in Houston, that is absolutely... That is insane. How many shulker boxes is that? And oh my goodness, that is a lot of sand. And it's official, I have a stack, and we have more in front of us, and look at all the TNT I have. Honestly, this method is so fast. Just dig your line and then blow up about two chunks at a time, and honestly, the netherite just comes so fast. Look at I still have potion left, and I only brought, what, four or five with me? You guys can do the math. This netherite came fast. Okay, where did that one piece just disappear to? Okay, got it. This is amazing. Okay, I've got to fly all the way down to the other end down here in order to collect some stuff. And actually, all of these shulker boxes can stay here. I am just taking this and that. But let's go back to the base. All right, and let's see. Add those two in. Okay, and this 15 plus 4, that is a stack. And let's count. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 35, 40, plus 39. I've got extra netherite from all of my efforts, but this is... But this is insane. All of that took over 100 days to collect all of it in the nether, so you know I wasn't sleeping. And, and, check this out. Actually, we've got a goal. Hang on, I know you guys want me to start cooking this. Okay, over to the raid farm. All of the gunpowder from the raid farm has been absolutely depleted. All of it. And all of the extra... Ah! But all of the extra shulker boxes that I had with gunpowder are gone too as well. Look at all the emeralds. Look at all of the emeralds. It just doesn't stop. And if we fly back this direction and go over to the EOL farm, do you guys remember how many gunpowder boxes I had? Because <laughs> it was a lot. But it's all gone. Absolutely all of my gunpowder is gone except for two shulker boxes. I have none left down here as well. Out of over 60 shulker boxes full of gunpowder, I actually only have two left. Not even two left. This is so sad. This is so sad. Okay, but I did it. But now what? Now what do I need to do? Oh no. I need to cook all of this. I need to set up a furnace array. Okay, my little 18 furnace array is set. It's time for me to start smelting. And okay, first batch of ancient debris is going into the smelter. And let's turn it on and let's see. Oh, that is terribly slow, but that's all right. It doesn't matter. It seems like it's working and we've already got our scraps coming through. We have 18 already. Look at, oh, this is gonna take no time. Okay, and there's our first barrel of netherite scrap already. All right, and I think that's all of it. Let's just fly up here and take a quick peek. Okay, and that is a lot of scraps. I just need to craft myself 40 stacks of gold. Okay, and let's do this. It's time for me to start crafting some netherite armor. This is probably gonna take like 10 minutes. Okay, and there's our first stack of netherite ingots. There's our second stack. There's our third stack. And oh baby, I am getting rich. Look at how rich I am getting. And oh, okay. That's all of them. We have one scrap left over. And right now I am sitting on a whopping 10 stacks plus 10 netherite ingot and a single extra netherite scrap. This is crazy. This is an insane amount of materials and an insane amount of time in order to get all of this right here. And I am just throwing it around. Hold on. 
Okay, but I've done it. Now it's time for me. I need diamonds. And wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. I'm literally one of the richest players in Hardcore Minecraft. I have so many emeralds. I have so many emeralds. I mean, even right here. I can just take all of these guys' pay that I brought back to them, and I can just use this in order to buy diamonds. And then I don't actually have to use up any diamonds whatsoever. Okay. I need to take a few of these over, because I'm pretty sure I've got diamond guys just sitting in here. I do! Buddy, sell me some diamond leggings, and then give me a diamond shirt, please. Actually, I'm gonna have to speed this up. I think I need 160 pieces each, which is kind of crazy. All right, and an hour later, and 12 shulker boxes full of emeralds. I am officially broke, but I am also super rich because look it, we have 180 sets of diamond armor all ready to go, and I didn't have to sacrifice a single diamond. And look at this, I was prepared. I took down the diamond beacon. I was prepared to use every single diamond I had, but we did it. Now what I need to do is I need to convert all of these over into netherite, and I need to get them over into the skull base. All right, and I'm set up and ready to go. The only problem is, is I think I'm gonna have to do a little bit of diamond mining because, <laughs> because getting the extra upgrade templates that I needed, this took up 17 stacks of diamonds, and this was another four, and that's only a quarter of what I need. So it looks like we're going diamond mining, everybody. It's time for me to delete the overworld. Love you guys, see you on the next one. Peace.